Hey, what's going on everybody? How y'all doing tonight? It's good to be back once again. How is everybody doing? It's good to see y'all. Uh, hey, I'm Caffeine Daydream. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to come by the uh, Twitch channel. Come check us out. Twitch.tv slash Caffeine Daydream. Come, uh, come hang out. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing some OG Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I hope y'all are ready. I love this game, man. I haven't played this game in a while. And... I've been doing a lot of the Nintendo retro stuff. Not that this isn't retro. I consider Final Fantasy VII to be retro. So uh, I just been playing a lot of the Nintendo stuff and this is a little change of pace. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? What's up, Ellie J? Good to see you. Welcome on in. Congrats being first. What's up, Shambles? Good to see you as well. How you doing, King Swamp Pasta? AKA uh, Pasta Water. Good to see you back again. What's going on, everybody? It's great to have you all here tonight. I've got your OG right here. Ooh, woo, ooh, 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 hell yeah. Howdy gamers. Oh my gosh, Aniv is back. Aniv just pants grabbed us all. Um, all right, let's put a screenshot of that into the Discord. Um, shameless plug time, I have a Discord. Um, it's a great place to hang out, share some some different things, um, come chat with us. You know, um, you know, just a great place to be. We got a lot of wonderful people in there who hang out every day. So uh, come, come hang out with us. So uh, there's the link, shameless plug time. So uh, yeah, come, come hop in there. We've got, uh, we've got wonderful, wonderful people in there. King Pasta Water shared some great artwork that they're doing. So uh, yeah. Let me see. Uh, all right, let me put that screenshot in there. I want to throw that screenshot in the Discord for... We have a, a little channel that we put different bot-related things like ButtSpot, Aniv in there. So let me throw that in there. I need to do... I need to do my Twitter post. I didn't do that yet. Do, do, do. Boom, boom, boom. All right, uh, Twitter post, Twitter post. I need to uh, post on Twitter. <clears throat> Shambles, how's everything going with you, buddy? It's great to see you, man. See you in, uh, in Oats channel all the time. Um, always, always great to see you. Do, do, yeah, we thank, be sure to thank Aniv for that wonderful post. Let me see what I got here for Twitter. Yo, sick, man. Glad to hear you're doing well, bud. Excited for the stream? I, I appreciate that, man. That's really great. I'm excited as well, dude. Always, always a pleasure, man. I love doing this stuff, and I love getting to hang out with all you wonderful people, man. It's always a pleasure. Super great that you guys, uh, you know, take some time out of your day to come hang out with me, man. And uh, and the rest of the Cafe fam, y'all are so freaking heckin' wonderful. The biggest surprise I probably ever got was when... I sent Oats a, a, a invite to my Discord and he joined. That was that was one hell of a moment. Probably uh, second, probably it was probably second to the fact that he actually followed me and has rated me before. So uh, highlights, highlights of of the streaming, you know, highlights of streaming. Yo Tetsuo, how you doing, buddy? It's great to see you, man. Welcome on in, bud. Uh, much love, dude. How is everything going, man? Uh, great runs today, man. Great runs. You got, uh, got yourself a nice little PB today in, um, Act Razor 2. My dude Tetsuo speed run in Act Razor 2 right now, amongst many other things that he speed runs. But right now he's, uh, concentrating on Act Razor 2 and got himself a nice, very nice PB today. Uh, I believe that's true, Shambles. I believe that's, uh, how you, how you were introduced to my channel was through an Oats Raid. Yep. As far as I can remember, that makes the most sense because a lot of people come through on those raids from Oats and, you know, back when I was either speedrunning Super Metroid or Metroid um, Dread, 
Um, he, he would sometimes raid me. Great dude, man. Great dude. I owe him a lot. A debt of gratitude to him. Uh, let me see. I sent my mom a pic of the bag I was throwing away. Wait, so you said I had to go through my makeup drawer today and yikes. I sent my mom a pic of the bag I was throwing away and she said, WT WTF, that's like $6,000. <laughs> like, mom, it's been like seven years since I cleaned that thing out. Yikes. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure you had quite the haul that you were getting rid of there. <laughs> I, I, I want to call you KPW because uh, it was K King Pasta Water before, but now it's uh, KSP. <laughs> a lot, a lot of stuff in there, huh? Let me uh, tweet real quick. I'm doing it live, okay? I'm doing it live. Um... DH, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the bless you, man. Oh, I, I, I'm sure there's another one that's going to be coming up. <laughs> I like that KPW too, Sag. Is it gone? You were the only one who called me that? Oh, shoot. I should still call you KPW. Grenada! All right, let's jump on into it. We're going to play some Final Fantasy VII. Um, I just wanted to welcome everybody in, take this opportunity to give everybody a chance to get here, welcome everybody in, say hi to everybody, and see how y'all are doing. But if anybody else comes in, we can uh, we can see how they're doing as they get here. So um, I'm good. I jumped up to 10th in AR2 now. Dude, that's quite the leap you did there. I know you completely skipped uh, 43, was it? Something like that. So freaking dope, man. LDH, how's everything going, buddy? Okay, uh, let me pause this. And then I'm going to hit this. Boom. Look at professional. Professional. Yep, professional. Doesn't it sound beautiful? So beautiful. God damn, I love this game. We had started it a while back, so I'm actually into the game a bit. I think I'm out of Midgar at this point. Yes, thank you for shouting out my dude Tetsuo, a lovely, lovely streamer, sexiest man on Twitch, absolute freaking gem. I love him a lot. He's he's one of the real ones on this platform, an all around good dude. Check him out. Skip forty three and forty two. Let's go. Yeah, like a year ago. Seriously, I haven't played it in forever, and I still have to play. Um... Okay. Not gonna work, not gonna work, not gonna work, not gonna work. Okay, hold on. I already did this once. We can try it again. Are you gonna work? Not gonna work? Oh. Okay, it works from... I don't want to use... Keyboard. Forgot how this works. 
I don't want to use keyboard. Why doesn't controller work? You worked before. How do you work with controller? Hold on. Let me try something else. Let me try to... Settings? Joystick? Saying like I don't have a joystick? Yes, I do. You shut your damn mouth, game. Okay. See? It's saying like I don't have... I bet you'd like that, you pervert. I w damn it, I would like that, okay? It's... See, it's not showing the joystick. Show the joystick! You son of a bitch! I need to blow my nose. What the hell? It made you use keyboard? What is going... Oh my gosh. Okay, is that that's Tetsuo. Um... I'm quite sure I've played this with, I'm quite sure. People, many, many people have donated a lot, but. Many. You know, I don't love you guys. You know what I'm saying? I talk to people because they give me money. I don't give money, you know? I don't talk to people because I love you. I talk to you guys because I love money. I love you. unconditional money. <coughs> unconditional money. Uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 okay, dude, what the frick? No, I, guides, discussions? Now you're not going to recognize my controller? Controller? Joystick. Joystick stopped working. Why does this have to happen? Okay, now it's showing joystick. That's a good sign. Let's try. Thank you, Tetsuo. <clears throat> okay. 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 It's working, I think. Yes. Oh, yes. It's working. Thank you, Tetsuo. Don't forget, announcements cannot be seen by those who use Android phones. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Dude, I've got a whole bunch more of like oats clips and stuff. Fuck you, Fuck you, what? Fuck this was all burnt down, wasn't it? I thought so. Oh, dude, it's really cut off on the top. What the hell? Okay, let's fix that. Okay. 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 Let's see if this fixes it. It does. Okay, it does fix it. But I will 
titties. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I think, I think I'm gonna fix this whole screen right now. I think. Actually, I don't think I can fix the cam. Oh gosh. Alright, I know what that is. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, because the way this is... Well, actually, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, here we go. We're going to do it. I think we're going to do it live. Watch. Watch. Say I won't. Say I won't, chat. Wow, there's 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 quite a lot of game there that was being We get it, you're basic. Yes, I am. Thank you. I am. I'm a little I'm basic. Game stack. Okay, 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 okay. Watch, watch. Look at look at how much. But why is there so much like Alright, I know why. Watch. Watch. Yeah. I died. Okay, now watch. All right, there's nothing there. Now you go like this, and then you go like this. Boom. Check it. Check it. Okay, maybe I didn't need to mess with the cam. How was the cam? Let me see. Maybe I don't need to mess with this. That just scared me? What the frick? <laughs> you frick <laughs> Alright. Now where's the, the cover art? It's right here. Where? Alright, game cover. Okay, okay. Okay, not terrible. Not terrible. What's up, Ready Row? Welcome on in. We're just, I'm just fixing this up a little bit. Great to have you here. How's everything going? Hold up, hold up. I'm just fixing this up a little bit. All right, bet. Clippy Jam. Boo! Dude, what are you booing me for? Boo! I'm a professional! Boo! I'm a professional! Boo. We do it live. We do it live. Wait. Hold up. Game cover? Like this, okay, boom. Now give me one of these. Emotional damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go Shinra. Okay, okay, bet, bet. All right. Oh, and there's the reward. Let's go Shinra. Yeah, I, I root for Shinra. When I play this game, I root for Shinra. Right? That's that's the underdog. The underdog is Shinra. I root for Sephiroth. You get it, you're basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LDH, have you missed? Have you missed uh voice commands? Have you missed voice effects? Uh Tetsuo! GG's catching that Charmeleon, brother. Dude, LDH, what the hell has been up, brother? You getting, are you getting, are you getting down and dirty tonight? I remember the intense heat of flames. I remember.
It's your day. What day is it? Wait, hold up. Hold up. Oh, you mean catching Pokemon's day. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. All right, okay. Okay, all right. Did anybody tell you Tetsuo's favorite movie is uh, Training Day? Let me switch this. The Black Cape received a luck source. Look at, he's even helping me out. Reunion. Reunion. Oh, yeah. Dude, why are you telling my bot to suck an egg for? What did he do to you? It's definitely top five. I haven't watched it in a long time. Not gonna lie. Must get it and bring it to Sephiroth. Then become one with Sephiroth. This guy's number five. Nah, he's not number five. Smilers, dude. What makes it top five, Tetsuo? He has a tattoo of the number 11. Receive Turbo Ether. Must go reunion. Tig plays my game tomorrow. Nail and tire. Hopefully get that fixed. Oh, shoot. Dude, nails and tires are not a good combination. In fact, I would argue they are a very bad combination. Where are you, great Sephiroth? It is Friday, though. TG freaking IF for that, brother. What's your game? What, what game is he playing that's your game? I'm sure you're going to be very excited for that. LDH is a big TIG fan. Big TIG fan. Periodic, periodic report to Professor Hojo. One, clone activity report. Unfortunately, no clones have left this town this quarter. As previously reported, the clones seem to be sensing something. But all they say is reunion or Sephiroth. Show no other signs of activity. I'm not telling. Fine then. Keep your secrets. All right, I didn't want to know anyway, okay? A total of eight people have visited this town this corner. Fortunately, none knew about the incident five years ago. Therefore, no one knows the town was restored. Exactly as it was five years ago. Our staff, disguised as town people, have improved their acting skills. We do not report any problems at this time. That is all. What, he's going to play more? He's going to play a randomizer of uh, Symphony of the Night? Because it sounds like you're quoting the What is a man? Is that your game? Do you like Symphony of the Night, LDH? I thought your game was I don't know Dark Souls or something But I definitely remember playing the piano then So why hasn't it burned down? Go for it. That's my jam. <laughs> That's my jam. That's my jam. Exclamation mark, Randy, Aniv, please, Aniv. Stop it, it's already dead. <laughs> Exclamation mark, Randy. Exclamation mark, Randy. Dude, I think we're like four follows away from the roundup to 1500. Just saying, just saying. Freaking amazing. Dude, that person's hand is like falling off. Does anybody else see that? Can you see that? That woman's hand, the left one, it's literally like off. What is that?
I lived in this house until I was 14. No, but this town was burned down. You're sick saying such things. Get out of here. Bish, I seen it burn. I was here. I felt the flames. This is my house. Yeah, big hype. Big hype. Oh my gosh. Tetsuo, I'm so excited, dude. There's so many cool things happening. Dude, charity stream coming up. <clears throat> charity stream. I've been well, thank you. I've been well. Um, doing my thing. Uh, absolutely enjoying what I'm doing. Having a lot of fun. I've been playing a lot of Nintendo games and beating those. We just beat Kid Icarus and Punch Out on Wednesday. And we've beaten just a whole bunch of them recently, man. It's been freaking been freaking dope dude we got a charity stream coming up on the 28th of this month uh two weeks from today i'm coming up with some stuff for that uh in the discord i've got a channel that i'm putting like ideas and stuff in check it out and maybe uh i'll be doing an early stream that day i think start early go all day type of thing um maybe have some bean boozled maybe even one of those hot Hockey chip thingies, one chip challenge. Uh, for if we double our goal from last year, we'll see. We'll see. There's a there's a whole lot we got in store, man, and I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be freaking hacking cool, dude. Tattoo of number six. He has something. Luck source. Must go to reunion. Thanks for asking, buddy. Temps have been going down. Um, I think the neighbor had somebody come look at the tree that they're going to be taking down. So that's pretty cool, man. Just life is going on. Do, do, do. What do we got here? Potions? Eh, uh, nothing good. Bum, 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 bum. Nice town, huh? We've been in business here for a long time. You're lying. Do you have anything to do with this town? How about being born and raised here? Smack him up, Cloud. Bitch slap him. I was here until I was 14, and I don't remember you. It's not nice to lie. Bunch of actors. He has something. Can you hear the voice? Sephiroth. All right, now that we got all those. Uh oh, chill. This thing's like super sensitive because I'm using. doesn't allow me to use like the actual d-pad it's like i'm using this thing instead which is kind of dumb where was the controls isn't it behind here Can i just like move this and, and it'll be there no no it's gone now all right never mind i've been watching a whole bunch of things lately man finished up uh what was it stranger things i watched game of thrones and stranger things and then i watched what are the two new shows right now house of the dragon i watched that and now i'm watching rings of power i'm on the last episode of rings of power which is really cool and just watch grandma's boy which was kind of an interesting movie that i never saw before probably should have watched that a long time ago any news on the home front? How so? What do you mean? What in particular? Uh, like my family? Oh, oh, like for homes. Okay. So we're probably not going to move because of home prices being too, uh, too, you know, high and stuff. So 
what we're doing instead is like we're probably gonna stay here and just renovate this place to make it bigger that's what we're thinking now that's kind of like the new plan um i want to move this whole stream space out of my bedroom i want to move it downstairs into a room we have down there i want to dedicate it as like kind of my office space slash stream space it's got like it'll have like a nice back and everything i want to like put some some lights whatnot this and that um i want to put some some hvac central air in here and build it out bedroom wise kitchen wise some stuff like yeah i've got some ideas but it's sort of slow process because we need to put in a brand new panel 200 amp panel um first and then i'm kind of like biting off little bits and pieces so the first thing i want to do is the panel upgrade to 200 amps then i want to um i want to like upgrade our house to gas instead of electric because our house is all electric so <clears throat> i want to upgrade it to gas uh because we have a line across the street they just have to basically port it over here for the most part uh which is not that bad and then i'll upgrade to like a waterless ta a tankless water heater and put in a gas furnace no brakes! No brakes! yeah no brakes um and then you know then we'll look at doing some other stuff but yeah i just got to take it slow a little bit take it slow a little bit a little bit what's the panel at now i think it's 100 i think it's 100 um pretty sure but yeah i want to put a whole new panel in there it is not necessary for you to participate if you don't want to seems to be another letter Move the dial on the safe carefully, but quickly. You have 20 seconds. You cannot go past the numbers while turning. The four hints for the numbers are... The lid of the box with the most oxygen. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely need 200. Definitely, definitely. Um, there was nothing in here, is there? I'm going to fight, end up fighting a lot of guys in here that I don't want to fight. Um, so yeah, definitely need to upgrade that. Yeah. Two, I don't know about two prong, three prong. I don't know all that stuff. I'll just let the, the electrician handle all that. But, um, it's definitely going to be top notch though it's definitely gonna be top notch i already talked to my electrician he was like he's like yeah i'm gonna put in a brand new panel 200 amps it's gonna be it's gonna be chock full like as much as as much as can go in there basically he said because it's once you get the panel in and you start to get you start to put in all of the switches and everything it's like you might as well just go full bore because there's no reason to like just just go like half or anything it's just Let's go nuts and put in everything in there. It's not a lot of cost to just make sure you get like all the switches and all the space and everything. It's the panel and everything that costs the most, really. This freaking button, dude. Dicks, bro. I, 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 I'm sure there'll be some that aren't being utilized at this point, but that's what I'm saying. Like, there's going to be, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just know it's going to be chock full of like a whole bunch of space. Yeah. I, that's all I really know. <laughs> I, I don't know a lot about this stuff to be honest, but. I just know it's going to be jacked full of like whatever I need. And at this point, what's in here is not going to utilize all that. I did not say that word. I did not say that.
I'm sure there'll be spare openings. <clears throat> My panel right now is full, but it's a smaller panel. I think I think the other one's going to be a bigger panel, I assume, right? With more slots and everything. So, uh, I don't know. That's what I figure. I just, I don't know quite a lot about that stuff, to be quite honest. I figure bigger, bigger panel, right? 100 amp panel, 200 amp panel. It's like double. If I'm only using enough for 100 amp right now, like, is that the way it works? Like, 200 amp's gonna give me double the amount of space? restore okay so that's i think right now i'm i'm only using basically what's in the 100 amp panel so upgrading to the 200 amp panel i'll have quite a lot more space but i won't be adding like a whole bunch of extra stuff yeah most modern homes are 200 yep i can definitely see that Right 36. Okay, right 36. Yeah, especially because I'm also modernizing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, we're going to be modernizing, man. A little bit. I mean, this house is not like completely old. This house is younger than me, but it still has some some of that old architecture to it, you know? Some, some stuff that was done in the 80s. So yeah, modernizing, it, it's still going to be modernized, but it's, uh, it's not like a... Not like a super old home or anything. <laughs> Luke is going to get a massive room. I don't think he will. I think he'll be with his brother, but... Uh, we'll see. I don't know exactly how everything's going to turn out yet. But because he's the youngest, like, he's probably more apt to not get a room if, you know, if space were limited still. But we'll see, man. We're going to make sure that he's taken care of as much as possible. <clears throat> but my, my older children, obviously, <laughs> take precedent. Especially my daughter. My daughter really needs her own room. She's the only girl. She needs to be separated. Oh, he just ended that man. That's great. All right, this life. He does a lot of damage. Dude, chill the frick out. All right, this button is like no freaking joke, dude. Chill the frick out. Get stuck in like double presses. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's that's great. Thanks a lot, Jack Off. I'm going to spank it. WD-40. Dude, will you freaking leave him alone, you jack off? What the frick is wrong with you, you douchebag? <laughs> leave him alone, he's a freaking beast. He's the only one who can cure, too. What the frick? Damn game. Lick my ball sack, dude. Yeah, I, I'm not going to go putting WD-40 on my controller. I think that's a bad look. Dude! What a doucher, eh? He is a douche, okay? I'm calling him out. I'm calling him out. I forget how you... Oh, it's right here. Right 59. All right. So it was right 36. 
left something, right 59. R36. Well, 50, no, R59. Right? <clears throat> That's what it looked like so far. What a douche, eh? Was there something over here? I forget. No. Was it up there to the right? I need to fight this dude. We fighting. Alright, can I just run? Can I run out of this? I just, I kind of want to run. Is that possible? Can we, can we do that? How do I run? Is this run? How do I run? Hello? Why is this pause? Wait. Wait. How do I run? Game? Which one's run? I don't know how to run. Okay, cool. Yeah, but it's 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 not working. I know it's L1 R1, but it's not working. It's like con the controls are different or something. So GG, GG's on that because it ain't working. Look at this is pause. Dude, this is pause. Not even the start button. Like, awesome. Boo. This is the PV PC version. I think there was a problem with the run. Other streamer had it. Yeah, this is the PC version. And I'm using a controller for it, but yes, Five you're right. Five dollars a month. Secus just resubscribed for Secus. 11 months. Sometimes I wonder why I've been sub this long. Like, is it because the streamer wears a two-faced colored shirt? Is it because he's attractive? It's neither. He's like a 60-year-old who's terrible at video games and constantly mods and I live for IT. Yo, set. Thanks so much for the uh, the resub, dude. Eleven month club. Let's go, buddy. Thank you so much, man. What the hell? Thanks for the kind words, man. I appreciate it a lot. It's great to have you here, dude. <laughs> it's because he molds, and I live for it. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that, man. I didn't know that there's an issue with the run. That's unfortunate. Quick hi. Uh, quick quick hi, Jimbo. Quick hi. Everybody say quick hi to, to, to Jimbo before he says quick bye. Everybody say quick hi. Hi, Jimbo. Date night? I love you, Jimbo. Why are you cheating on me? Okay, but also have fun. Um, be good, okay? Love you. Have fun. Be good. Be safe. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Sad, how you doing tonight, man? It's great to have you here, dude. I know I saw you earlier today, but uh how's how has everything been since then? How is the uh how's the how's the hands treating you? How's or, or the, the carpal? How's Moda bus? Wait, there's an emote for that. I have an emote for that. Yep. 
<clears throat> I ruined them. I ruined them. I, I timed them out. 69 seconds. I meme timed them. Where was the other one? I'm trying to... Th oh, is it the... Was it the piano? I think it's the piano. I think it's the piano. If I remember correctly. It's the room with the most oxygen. I think it's the piano and then the the step. Been so long. Normally, I would have just looked this up, but I'm trying to be good about, like, not cheating. I'm trying not to cheat, chat, okay? I'm doing this all natural with my pants off. He wears a toothpaste-colored shirt, Set said. Toothpaste-colored. That's because I'm minty goodness in your mouth, okay? I called him Nanaki this time. <clears throat> okay, I did say the thing, but I said his name, okay? I didn't call him Red 13. I call him his real name. All right? Don't, don't. Don't go doing the thing just because I called him his real name, okay? It's Nanaki, okay? Coming in hot with the Colgate fashion. That's damn right. Listen, I'm a trendsetter, okay? I'm a trendsetter, okay? This is... This is... You're gonna see this next year, okay? This is gonna be in fashion next year. I'm ahead of the trend. I set... Friends. I'm a trendsetter. I'm a playboy. Right, I should use magic first. Isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. <clears throat> right 36 left 10 isn't that what ldh place. said isn't that what ldh said earlier or he said oh he said l1 r1 okay no he was answering my thing he, he was answering my thing about uh the controller so it's r36 i thought it was 10 for some reason l10 r was it 56 hold on it's not it can't be 56 59 r36 l10 R59. Okay. <clears throat> Dude. I don't know what that means, Aniv, but go on. Go on with yourself. Jedant Buenas Buenesa. It's gotta be an emote. It's like a Spanish emote. Yeah, I can do sound effects too. You know what I'm saying? I can do sound effects. Alright? I could work in gaming. It's D's. Tiddies. These nuts got him. Oh, shoot. I fell right into it, dude. What? Bro. I can't believe I fell for that, man. Man. 
I was his plan all along. He wanted me to say it's D's. It's D's, and then he's gonna get me, okay? Literally, like, all the H out here playing 5D chess, and I'm just freaking three headed, okay? Okay, dude? Chill. Don't, don't call me out like that. Dude, it's Pepega Friday, you know that? LDH is just lost because Melo is not streaming anymore. He's completely freaking lost. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He's lost now. He's like wandering. Not all who wander are lost, dude. Um, all right, I need to go upstairs, right? Mello's an Aussie now. I found Tig. Yeah, he's got Tig now. He's got Tig. Yep. Yeah. I'm a bully. What? I'm not a bully, dude. What do you call me bully for? You hurt my feelings. I loved you, man. I gave you everything. Uh. <laughs> Open the safe. R36. Left 10. R59. Go! Boom. Easy clap. Wait. What the hell? There's four of them? I thought there was three. <laughs> It hurts. Okay. All right. Hold on. I remember. I remember. Hold up. Hold up. I remember. I remember. All right, chat. All right. See, that was just a test. That was just a test, chat. Okay. It was trying to see if you paying attention. I was just trying to see if you paying attention, chat. Okay. Shut up. Shut up, chat. All right. Y'all don't even know. That was just a test. Emotional damage. Yo, set. One tooth works. Yo, Dom. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> First thing Dom says is fail. Set. Hi. Hi, set. Wow, and if he got a niv to pay me. What the hell is going on in butt? Set, you want to grab that butt spot comment? Also, one tooth. One tooth. <laughs> FF7 does have the best soundtrack. You are so right, dude. <clears throat> Set one tooth, man. I gave it to you. Now you don't even. All right. Don't use it. I don't care. Yeah, LDH is, is a big FF9 fan. Big FF9. I'm. <laughs> Oh, wait. Eight? Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Dude, I don't know why. I just figured... I saw you put FFs, and I'm like, he must have said nine. Literally, bro. Okay. Listen. Listen, okay? Listen. You freaking love nine, okay? So anytime I see you talk about, like, your favorite... Final Fantasies, I just expect you're thinking you're talking about nine. I just expect it now. I don't even, I, it's like he's talking about Final Fantasy nine. I do like FF eight sound. I like FF sevens, eights, frick nine, uh, and tens. <laughs> I still have to play them all. Once I finish, when I finish seven, I'll go on to eight and then I'll go on, I'll go on to nine. 
and then I'll go on to 10. I'll, I'm going to do all of them, LDH. I'm going to do them all, okay? Are you going to be here for nine? Are you going to come visit me when I play nine? I bet you won't. I bet you won't. In 2025? I don't know. Yeah, it's true. It'll be like 2030. <clears throat> <laughs> Dude, okay, I didn't say I was going to do it tomorrow. I just said I was going to do it someday. 8 does have a good soundtrack. I agree, Dom. 8 has a good soundtrack. I agree, LDH. I like I like all the FF8, the FF8s. I love all the Final Fantasies under 10 and after 3. <laughs> yeah, what's going on in here? I have no idea, Dom. I'm not playing an NES game, so I think chat's going to be a little different tonight. I'm doing something differently than what is right 97 than what I normally do. So I think, I think chat's going to be a little different tonight. <clears throat> Unfortunately, but we'll see. I won't be here for 10 2 and after smilers. Yeah. Dude, I won't even be here for 10 2. Actually, I think I do. I do have 10 2, I think. I'm pretty sure because when you buy 10, you have to buy. You get both of them. So I think I have the package, but I don't plan on playing 10 2. Maybe I'll play 10 2 if somebody, like. I don't know. If somebody pays me enough money to actually do it. Otherwise, nah. What's that thing that Mello had where she was like burning 10 2? Remember that? You could have Tig play 10 2? Yeah, but why? Why bother, right? Can you just connect on like one of those, dude? Please? Hades. Nettie, what's going on, buddy? Welcome on in, dude. It's great to have you here. How's everything going today for, for you, bud? Are you very happy to see FF7? Thank you, Dom. I appreciate you, bro. You didn't like uh, Ten Two, yeah. I I didn't either. I think I had started it at one point, like very very long time ago, and I never got anywhere with it, and I never cared to really continue it because screw that. Hi everyone, working on more schoolwork. Have a test tomorrow, so I'll mostly be lurking. No worries, Goomba Gal. Take care of your stuff. Much love, Goomba. Glad to have you here. Just lurking, hanging out, chilling, um, sharing your time with us. But uh, good luck with your your schoolwork and your your studying and everything. We, we got your back. We know you can do it, okay? Yeah, and Niv sent love to Goomba Gal. Uh, Nettie says, hey, 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 what's going on, Nettie? Nettie. Oh, LDH got the got the, the death by mutton mash love, though. Okay, I see you, LDH. I see you. All right, where's my, where's my thing? Okay, here it is. <clears throat> Calf, you started it and you were already 70. Shh. It was, okay? It's not my... It's, not, I, I, it's, it's okay. Uh, R36L10. Oh. R59... R97. Fail! Let me go! 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 Let me go!
I think it's because it jumped. I saw it jump past and then back because I'm using, I'm using not the D-pad, but the, 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 the joystick thingy, whatever. I saw it jump past. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Anatomical language tissues and microscopes. Yo, sick Goomba. Good luck. Good luck, sweetie. All right, here we go. Let's fight the man. Ooh, he just he just hurt me. Dude, I can't even change my. Okay, I can change my attack. Never mind. Okay, what? Okay, whatever. Hopefully, I forget which one heals him. There's one of them that I think that heals him. You gotta hit this man with the death blow when he's when he's uh, cross slashed. You can you can hit him a bunch of times. You got this. You got this, El uh, Goomba Gal. Sorry, I was looking at where she said at link. Uh, you got this, Goomba Gal. I, you got, I, I swear, we got your back. We know you can do this. Okay, I did not get that man. Poisana? No, Poisana is not what I want. Ramu? Flamethrower, Monster Magic? Laser? Isn't Flamethrower really good? Man's about to get shrecked by loss number. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I feel like Titan's the one that's not good. Alright, hold up. No! That was so unlucky, dude! What? Dude, it's not my fault. You get it, you're basic. Bro! Job. Real good job. Lucas couldn't do it. I'm telling you, I'm better. Lucas isn't here, okay? Or else I'd call him in. Shut up, okay? Dude, I got this. Should I steal? Why is he doing so much damage? This man hitting like a Mack truck. He's got 54 left. I swear this is my, my first, first time I've Fought this man. Whoa, he.
What the hell is this? This man never beats me. Never. Stream with one viewers. Stop it. Yeah, I'm gonna beat this whole Good game obsessive. <clears throat> Set, it didn't happen, okay? The game glitched. It glitched, okay? It glitched. Thanks. Thanks, obsessive. Thanks, man. At least you got my back. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Stop making a Niv hay me, dude. Yo, Risky. What's up, buddy? Um, I don't think so. Like, you can't the thing is is that um he's got two sides to him he's got a magic side and then he's got a like a, a physical side so if you attack with magic attacks i think he becomes like magic based and then will only attack you with magic and if you if you hit him with um like physical attacks he becomes physical I'm a little under leveled. I probably might be. I don't like grinding levels while like, I don't know, streaming. I should probably just do that though. Dude, my, oh my gosh. Are you going to fight the weapons? I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, I, I could beat... I've beaten an Emerald Weapon. I've never beaten Ruby. I can't chat normal. I'm cooking and you are on a CRT. And he's like level 77. He's got to be able to. Grind off stream if you have to. JRPs be grinding. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I... I don't play off stream is the thing. I never play games off stream, dude. Ever. Like, never. So if, you, if I'm going to, like, actually get levels, I'm going to do it on stream, I guess, because I never play off stream. I've got other things that I'm always doing off stream. Um, I don't think there was a guy here. Can we check this man's Colgate mint toothpaste shirt? You love my shirt. Stop. You love it. You wouldn't stop talking about it. So I'm the opposite of Emmett? Yeah, I'm the opposite of Emmett. It's all content. Yep. Exactly. <clears throat> you were able to beat the weapons. You had a cheesy strat. Jor Grill. Yeah, there's, um, there's some strats you can do for sure. And I watched somebody do it before and I was like wilding out the strats. There's one that you can use where you can actually do Knights of the Round, but it doesn't do the whole entire animation. It just hits and does the damage like real quick. And that's crazy. Yeah, frick you set off stream like having kids. Yeah, like 
like my 97 kids content dome for real though let me check this one <laughs> just wonder if there's a way to break emerald first time you see it i don't know i had to really beat emeralds emerald was something I was able to do it though. You loved five and six. Five and six are good games. I really love four and six. And then five I played like last year, which was really good. And then I love like seven through 10. I basically love four through 10 for the most part. You gotta get the thing that kicks the timer yes yeah you get the um i forget i forget what it's called um that uh stops the timer but you're right risky you do gotta get that that's essential Let me save out here. No. I hate that they put that there. 30 minutes to beat Emerald. I don't know if you have enough time, but I'm sure speedrunners can do it probably. I think you're probably right, Jorgrill. I think you probably are right with that, that they could probably do it. Your average Joe, not so much. You played five, uh, FF6 back when it was FF3 in the, in the US? Yeah, I played it back when it was FF3 as well. All right, where's my, where's my thing? It's R36, L10, 5976 or something like that. Where is it? 97, it's 97. It's 36, 10, 59, 97. The job system in five is the best. I think you are probably right on that. Um, cause there's no real wrong way to do it. Like the way I did it had, um, one of my viewers saying that, like I was doing it a completely different way than he had ever done it. And he was so surprised to see that it actually worked and you could actually beat the, beat the boss in that way, you know, so. You beat five again a few weeks ago, gotta try the after years. That's the one I didn't play was the, was the after years. Oh, you never heard of after years? Somebody had mentioned to me to play it. It was probably risky and maybe some other people, but yeah, I never, never played um, after years. If it wasn't the OG game, it wasn't for me, you know? You thought it only had after years? That's because you're light years ahead of us all, man. Light years ahead of us, dude. LDH is living in freaking 2040 right now, okay? That's dope, though, that you beat uh, five couple weeks ago man it's a good game good um good soundtrack cool soundtrack great gameplay uh who was playing it recently oh rig retro island gaming was playing it for the first time rig and in 2040 toyota still doesn't have an electric car damn dude Tell him to get on that. Right? Okay. Right to Toyota. Be like, bruh.
Some ROM, some ROM hacks are good. Some some fan made remakes are really good. But I think there's, you know, for every one that's like really good, there might be a lot more that aren't good. I mean, Super Metroid has tons of ROM hacks, and not all of them are great. But there are some some gems that are in there. This dude is, like, kind of dying right now. They have to start, he start thinking because Lexus is making one. Is Lexus making it for real, though? Yo, electric cars are, are, are it, man. Electric cars are dope. I want to get myself one of them Teslas. <clears throat> But I ain't buying no damn car right now. I got house stuff to worry about. I ain't buying no damn car, but maybe someday. Maybe someday we will. Someday I will ride in a Tesla. I can't wait. Lexus RZ 450E. Sounds dope. Can we sleep in the haunted house? Hundreds of trash ones to sift through. Exactly. Thank God for the five orb system on Metroid construction. No joke, dude. No joke. Shambles. No joke. For real, though. All right. I don't even know how I, like, changed this view right now. How did I do that? How did... How? How, Sway? How? Okay. Thank you. There's that Game Boy Advance version of Celeste. What do you mean Game Boy Advance version of Celeste? Did they, is there like some sort of a port or something? What do you mean? A little bit bigger than a Subaru Forester? A Lexus's? Wow. That's kind of small, isn't it? it? Must be like a, it must be a sedan Lexus then, not like a SUV style. Or anything like that. <clears throat> it's like a little fan thing. I I've played the um the Cele nice. I played the Celeste thing that's in the Celeste game, right? You find the computer that's in the game, and then you can like play the little game where you're like jumping up the mountain. It's like pretty cool. It's a dope little game that they got inside the game. That little Easter egg. Yo, Dark, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in, man. Great to have you here. FF7, hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Hell yeah. You thought the E meant Euros? Common mistake. Common mistake. <laughs> no common mistake. It's quite all right. I wish it was 450 Euros. I'd buy me one. I'd just be like, okay, 450. Yep. Old school, yep. I wanted to play something different, man. The NES games have been, like, kind of weighing me down a little bit. Although I've been having a hell of a time playing them. I've been loving it. But, man, I just felt like I needed a little bit, a little something different. I felt like I needed a change in pace, you know? So I was like, okay, let's do this. Let's do Final Fantasy 7. You know what? Because I freaking love this game to death. And I've been... I kind of had like a... I had it. I had a, a, a deep desire. And I put it in the Discord. And I said, everybody, I have a deep desire to play Final Fantasy 7. And everybody was like, you know what, Calf? You should play Final Fantasy 7. You know, I'd watch you play Final Fantasy 7. Because you're the freaking best streamer that I watch, man. And I was like, thanks, fam. Thanks, fam. Like, you right. I get that 100%, especially with how many decades of games we've had since. Yep. It's all good, though. 
I'll get back to playing more uh more NES games soon enough. I just wanted to play something different tonight. Uh we actually we should make a poll for like what we're gonna play next for like our next NES game or whatever. I just don't know which choices I would put on it. Also, we could put Super Punch Out on there. Put Super Punch Out, we could put like. I, sh I should just go back and do Double Dragon 2. Um, the the actual Supreme Master thing. I only did the Warrior level. I didn't do Supreme Master. I should actually do Supreme Master and try to beat the final boss. Uh, yes. This is still disc one, Jorgrill. Yep. You're correct. you collect games at all i never was much of a collector especially with how easy it is to find stuff online i don't i don't um i i don't have any sort of collection i've got <clears throat> with with the my family size and everything going on like i don't i don't collect any games and whatnot um i usually have to different i have different things i gotta buy for the family and whatnot and um I've been trying to like put on an addition to our house and stuff, so <clears throat> it's it's um, collecting has not been something that I've really pursued at all. Plus, with the prices, a lot of the prices for stuff were really jacked up, and people were really really pissed about it. So collecting can get crazy. I mean, some stuff you can you can get, you can find, but. Yeah, there's other stuff. They just jack the prices on that stuff like crazy, man. It's wild. Ever played the Tales games? Destiny is a good start. Or Randy, if you're looking for RPGs. Dragon Quest, of course. But there's also Breath of Fire, Sweet in that kind of stuff. I've played Tales of Destiny, yeah. Um, I think that's what you said there was, was Destiny is a good start. So I've played Tales of Destiny on PS2, I think it is. Um, cool game. Really great game. I, I enjoyed it back when I played it. I thought it was dope. Like it was fun. Like it's it's just it's like a cool story. The the way it looks is cool and then when you're fighting it's like it's fun and addictive. Like it's really neat. I, I enjoyed it. That was years ago though. I actually got my friend into it too. He saw it and then he like took to it real quick. Uh he's played Suikoden and, and that type of stuff. I never played Suikoden. Um, and some other RPGs, but he took to it real quick and he was like, yeah, I really like this. And I let him borrow it and he, he ended up like beating it, I think too, cause I beat it. Um, fun game though. Yeah. Really cool. I played Alundra. I never played Grandia. Uh, I haven't never really played much Dragon Quest. I played Breath of Fire one, two and part of three. Like I didn't really finish them. I think Breath of Fire one and two, I played the most. I played some of Breath of Fire three. Uh, I didn't finish any of them. Um, but yeah, there's some cool games out there. I just never, I don't know. I like, like RPGs, but then again, I've never played like a ton of them besides like Final Fantasies for the most part. Like I tried to get into some of them. I played Wild Arms. Like I just never really finished them. <clears throat> Take care of yourself and your family first, my dude. Yeah, I, I definitely try to try to do that, man. Try to make sure we're in a good spot because we're, honestly, we're kind of not like with our space. The, the size of our family and how much space we have is is a, is a real big problem. So I've definitely been trying to remedy that. Um, but it's it's a process and it, it's not easy. It's not quick either. It's very slow. So um, hopefully we'll get there. Hopefully we'll get there. And I mean, we've we've always been survivors and, and just kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, we try to make the most of like the little that we have. I mean, we lived in an apartment for, for years before we finally got our place. And then even in here, it's only two bedrooms. So it's like, we try to make the most out of what we got and then we stretch it real thin. And then we end up catching up later on. <laughs> so yeah. So we good in rules. Do you really like it, Ken? I know my dude, um, 
uh, Dark September really likes Suikoden and a lot of RPGs. He's a big, big RPG dude. <clears throat> Not enough space for a collection for me. Same, Jorgrill. That's another issue that I didn't really speak about was like just the space of all that stuff, right? Not only the cost, but then where are you going to put all this stuff? Like we have a hard enough time as it is with our setup and how many bedrooms, you know, only having two bedrooms, but a uh six members of our family here so we've got like four kids or three kids in one bedroom so yeah it's it's tough real tough tight on space we're real tight on space like our house doesn't look bad but the the amount of space is is the real issue so um we really uh yeah risky gets it he's like yeah living beneath your means and and uh you know stretching yourself as far as you can go with what you've got, like trying to make the most of it, you know. I respect anybody who's who's got it, who's got to do that, you know. It's not easy, man. Um, props to all my people who who really grind and trying to do their thing. I know Risky's put in some hard times. He fixes a lot of things, man. He's 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 got a lot of know-how, and you know, he's got that mentality to freaking do it. If he sets his mind to it, most of the time he can make it happen is dope you like destiny you absolutely need to play dragon quest eight is pretty much the best experience wild arms is weird man no shame there that game is weird <laughs> it was kind of unique I, I not that i didn't like it it's just like i just never ended up finishing it like i played it for a while and it was kind of cool and then i don't know i was younger i was i forget when i played it if i was a teen or early 20s and then i just never continue it never finished it and just it just got lost in time <laughs> 14 yeah 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 i i exaggerated i i actually have 14 kids my bad dude my bad yep my bad uh you're right thanks set thanks for setting me setting me straight dude you always got my back i appreciate you man <clears throat> so i hope the uh hope the carpal tunnels um like not not flaring up or anything you know hope you're feeling all right dude you take any uh you take any uh any meds any meds for that man you take any take any meds for that you know what i'm saying you take any meds <laughs> dude set i see set the other night he's like dude um what do you, what do you say in cfb's chord you were like i'm <laughs> it was like kind of the same thing you said to me one night when i was streaming you're like i'm blazed and i'm half in the bag or something i forget it was funny <clears throat> no, nah, it was when you were like, you were getting down and getting tipsy and stuff. It was funny as hell. You think guns in the desert can only go so many ways? <laughs> yeah, it's a unique game. Not that it's a bad game. It's just unique, you know? RPGs were like that, dude. They're so... We talked about this before, though, but like RPGs on the PS1, they just went rampant, bro. Like, they just... All of a sudden, you saw a couple RPGs on the SNES... You know, you had your like Final Fantasies and like, um, like what else? You had your Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore. You had your, you know, um, what was it like? Seven Saga. You had, you had like a small selection of like unique, you know, fairly good RPGs. But then PS1 RPGs just exploded, bro. And it was just like, they were a dime a dozen. And there was a lot of them that just were like mediocre. <laughs> but there's some gems in there. There's some gems in there. <clears throat> uh, Alundra was cool from what I can remember. I, I remember uh, thinking that was a, a unique, cool game. Shin Megami Tensei? I, what does that translate to? I know that name. I just don't know what it translates to. Or, or like which series it is like off the top of my head I, I don't think I played that one do 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 oh I just took a picture because why not right <clears throat> series the, the the series is shin megami tensei not persona like the og one okay so it's 
similar to persona but like different like uh, a little different maybe like i've seen persona like you know some of it um which is unique never played any of them which i know some people have recommended me to play like persona 5 and stuff Do, do, do. Let me check something real quick. Uh, what do we got here? Viewer request mode on guest star, which includes safety features that help you select which viewers to bring on your stream. Click here to give it a try. Wait, what? I don't have access to. Wait, are they saying I have access to guest star now? Guest star makes it easy to invite prep and go live with guests on your stream. Invite your community to guest star. Bro, I have access to guest star now. Wait, what? Since when? It's kind of interesting. How do I access that? Hold up. Hold up. Is that somewhere in creator dashboard? I don't think it is, right? It's not in here. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm not going to mess with that right now. Dude, why are you a funny color? Wait, what do you mean? Wait, why am I a funny color? What the frick? Bro, I think it's because of the... F oh, no. Wait, hold up. Bro, I'm funky, dude. That's not cool. Yeah, I figured. I figured it happened because of the guest star thing. Hold up. Damn, now I got to see if maybe I can fix it through the guest star thing. I don't think it likes that I was live when I opened that up. I don't think it likes that I opened that up at the same time as being live. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I, I don't think it like that. But I don't know how to. F I don't know how to fix it now. Oh, shoot. Can I go like this? It doesn't fix it. What the frick, dude? <laughs> bro it's an improvement says set hi by the way hi dj what i can't it won't let me choose my cam link i think if i could choose the cam link i think this happened before with me oh no This is something that happened before. How did I do it when I was on Ash's stream? I think if I could choose. Oh no. You fool, you have upset the natural order. Oh frick, why did they give it to me right now? Oh no. Oh no. Wow. 
Well, Brit pepperonis. Uh, let me see. The only thing I that wouldn't I don't think this would work though if I mess around with the cam in here. Dude, it's so freaking wrecked, bro. I think this just might be like a cool effect I'm going to have on the stream for the rest of the for the rest of the stream now. Rip me. Oh. Oh. Get hacked. Get hacked. Get hacked. <laughs> We back. We back, bitches. Yo, Ferial, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, DJ? Sorry, guys. Uh, I got a little off my game there. How y'all doing? It's great to have you both here. <clears throat> no, it's it's the guest star thing. So guest star is like this new thing where you can have somebody on your stream. I actually did it recently with Ash Said Hi, where she had me on her stream. And we she was interviewing me, which was really cool. Um... But when I was setting it up, like to be on her stream, I had to choose my cam and it wouldn't allow me to choose my cam link for some reason, which is which is my cam. So my camera goes through my cam link into my PC and it was it was funky. I ended up figuring it out very easily, but I, I just don't remember what I did. But I don't know. It, I was having the same sort of issue this time. I thought I remember I refreshed the page and then I tried again and it worked or something, but... But yeah, I basically went back in and I just messed with my cam and it fixed it. So that was kind of a cool cam effect, though, like as like a, ho a, a Halloween type thing. Like that was kind of neat. <clears throat> You're good. Tired as usual. Damn, dude. Yeah, it's Friday, man. I feel that because, you know, Fridays are big, are big um, tired hour, you know? I'm always like that when it comes to Fridays, which is why I took some Fridays off coming up. And I might do some early streams, but in two weeks, I have the charity stream as well, which is going to be an early stream. Um, it's going to be an all day type thing. So if anybody's around, come hang out, come chill, support the channel during that time. We're going to be raising money for cancer research uh, during that stream, which I'm, I'm very much looking forward to. And I'm probably going to have like, I don't know, some incentives, some bean boozled, maybe a pocky chip, one chip challenge type thing. Or if I get all the way up to like double our, uh, the, the goal, uh, the amount that we reached last year, but we'll see how it goes. Just say you coached 108 kids. Jeez. Golly, dude. That's a lot of, that's a lot of kids, man. That's a lot of kids, bro. When is the charity stream? Two weeks. Oh, I, you're right. I should actually set up a command, dude. It's two weeks. It's uh, October 28th. It's Friday, October 28th. Going to be... I don't know when I'm going to start exactly. I don't have a solid start time, but it's going to be an earlier than usual stream. Normally on Fridays, I start at like 7 p.m., but I'm planning on starting like way in the morning at some point or like around noon, some something. But like way early. And then I'm going to go like all day and we're going to have some incentives and different things, but I just I haven't quite worked it out yet. Um, DJ, actually funny thing. Um, I don't know if you want to get in on any of that type of stuff, but we've got like a charity channel in the discord. I don't if you've got ideas or anything that you want to pass along, but also LCG and Nova Charter are like, I, I don't want to say like in your area because I don't quite know where your area is, but they're in... I think they're in England right now. Um, FYI. <clears throat> I don't know if they would have time to meet up or if you would be able to meet up with them, but... Throwing it out there. I think uh, we actually tagged you a couple times in Discord. Um... We were, I was like, dude, go meet up with them. Yeah, they're they're doing a trip right now, and they're in um, they were in they were in Ireland. Now they're in England. Um, yeah, they're 
You've been sightseeing and stuff, like... You're having fun. Shoot, Cloud's gonna die if I don't kill these guys. that looks like an egg roll but it's actually got apples inside dude this thing has apples inside it's yummy Why does Set always know that I'm under level? He's like, dude, Cap's under level. Like, bro, how did you know that? You didn't know that. He just always says I'm under leveled. He's picking on me again. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. <clears throat> Lost number is close to 30. Wait, do you remember that off the top of your head? That you're supposed to be around level 30 for lost? Or are you saying... Right? Is that what, that's what you're saying? That you, sh that you were closer to level 30 when you battled him? Like you, you, so what you're saying is like the the player should be level 35 when facing. Stop it! Get some help. Missing no. Lost is level 35. Wait, what the hell did I just do? Why did he go? Woo! The hell? Did he just use this thing? <clears throat> yeah, speedrunners can definitely deal with low level bosses. So, what am I? Dude, I'm only twenty three. I'm only level 23 and I've actually gained like several levels by freaking that by by being out here and actually leveling up a little bit. Damn. I told you, dog. I told you set had my back the whole time. Yeah, let's 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 use that for now, DJ, and then we can update it how we see fit. I think that's a good start. I think that's a good start, but yeah, I think we can definitely get it like like maybe better. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do with it. That's a good start though. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I, I sincerely appreciate your, your high level of mod work you got going on here. You know how to do the, uh, the Twitch shout outs, right? That's another thing I love when people know how to do. But actually, I'm trying to get it. Once Twitch updates their API, we're going to be able to do that right through just the the one shout out command. It just doesn't work right now. But once you do like exclamation mark shout out and you put in the name, I want to have it so that it'll do both of them, which if I have it correct, it already is set up, but it doesn't work. Unfortunately. Shout out Caffeine Daydream. Let's go. Follow that dude. He's only like four follows away from the round up to 1,500, man. 1,500 followers on this freaking platform. I'm so heckin' excited. Ah, 
follow that man. <clears throat> Thank you, Shambles. Yeah, man, I'm I'm super excited, bro, to, to hit that roundup. One and a half K. I mean, I think people are starting like I <laughs> like finally starting to take notice that like I'm I'm sort of like taking this seriously for like the long term, you know, like. <laughs> Like, I really want to, like, make this a thing. Like, I've been trying. <laughs> Some streamers just get so many viewers. It, it's true, though, man. Like, like I'm not saying for any, any particular reason. Like, I'm not, you know, pointing fingers. Nothing, nothing for this or that. But, yeah, some people just... I don't know. Viewers gravitate to some streamers for whatever reason, man. And, damn, I don't know. I wish I had that, uh that you know attractiveness you know that level of enjoyability or whatever it is that that brings in the people i just try to be me man that's all i can be and i i do i do pretty good so i'm happy with with what i've been doing but certainly i mean so some people don't want the viewers some people really like a chill cool spot which i i uh i can completely understand man i love a chill cool spot but like I've always wanted to to grow on this platform and, and and make it make it a home, make it a place for people to come hang out, make it a community, make it a family. Like people will come and like be friends in the in the you know in the stream and the chat and everything, and like just make it like a home for people and stuff, man. Like I thought that's that's really dope. I think that's a really great social aspect of this platform, and that's why that's part of the reason why I started on it was basically like COVID was on and everything and. You know staying home and everything it's like psh, getting that social socialness even online was was big and um and uh very important i think <clears throat> some streamers just get yeah I, I already read that actually uh you can't shout out the person who's streaming with the twitch version no that's right you can't do that yeah you'd have to do it in somebody else's chat thank you though shambles i appreciate that man that's what you love about streaming? For sure, man. I love the social aspect. I was talking with somebody today in another stream who is a streamer, and they basically were saying that for them, they find it really awkward to socialize with people, so they don't really say anything during their streams. And they, they're a speedrunner, so they're like, I basically kind of like keep my head down and speedrun, and that's why people watch me, is they just watch me to like see the speedrun and stuff. And I was like, I was like, that's cool. Like, I, I, I didn't really say anything against it or, you know, anything like that. But for me, it was like, that's cool. Like, if that's what you want to do. But for me, like, I, I love the social aspect of the platform. I love getting to meet new people. I love getting to, like, talk to people about, you know, different topics and whatnot. I love getting to socialize and, like, have fun and whatnot. And so, you know, everybody's different, I think, you know. Seen a chat room with a thousand viewer impossible to read the chat <clears throat> well we've i mean shambles and i are no no um stranger to that i mean we both watch oats we know how thousand viewer chats can be or sometimes more um he's had two three thousand i think when he was doing metroid dread back when that first came out he was like <sighs> He, he would have sometimes over three, three K. It was wild. Um, good times for him, man. I was so happy for him to like get more exposure, get all these like new people in and whatnot. Like freaking dope, man. But yeah, in those types of chats, it's it's tough. I mean, he's not responding to every chat message, obviously, because he just simply can't. It's it's an impossibility at that point. Um, so he's, he's very selective with who he's responding to. Um, and then... Gosh, don't die. <clears throat> he's, he's very selective with who he's responding to and stuff. And that's all you can do at that point, uh, unfortunately. Which is why some people get turned off from those type of chats. Uh, because of, they're so big that the streamer just can't read every message and you know some of your messages get lost in the in the mix and whatnot which is is it is what it is you know i still love his his streams i still love what he does i still love being there i i still love the community like it's it's all dope it's all dope man 
I still hang out there when I can. It, the only the only issue I think is like the stream time. Sometimes he streams when I do, and then other times when it's late at, later at night, I kind of like want to relax. And he's on, and I'm like, damn, like I want to hang out, but at the same time, I want to do something because I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow, and I like want to relax. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a sign of a healthy community when your chat is having side conversation in my opinion i kind of agree with that i kind of agree with like i i, I kind of like that aspect as well um like i i wouldn't say it's the be all type thing like it's not completely necessary but i, I do like when viewers become friends with viewers in the same community and stuff and people like you know, it just makes that extra level of camaraderie of like, you, you're you happy to be there to see the streamer, but then you're also happy to be there to see like the other viewers that you're friends with and stuff. So it just, it just really makes it all the better, uh, in my opinion. I watched Tetsuo for the raw sex appeal, to be honest. Actually, sexiest man on Twitch, to be honest. Uh, he's, he's, he's just dope. I, I, I love Tets a lot, man. He's he's super, super sweet, super honest guy, just all around good dude. <clears throat> um, sweetheart, man. He's, he's one of the good ones. Streams got to be different. Yeah, they are different. Everybody's different. I, I, don't, I don't understand the whole aspect of like not socializing and not talking to people, but if that's what people want to do, I mean, go for it. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to run your stream. You can do it how you want to do. That's perfectly fine. Oats chat can get kind of crazy, but there's like a core group of the main channels and then hella lurkers. True, true. There is like hella lurkers though, but you're right. You always see the same kind of faces. You're going to see um, a mixture of like, you know, different people like a lot. You see Marie, you see Dasser, you see like, um, like Rack here and just like a um, whole bunch of people. Zero, Zero Gates, I think his name is. Uh, people are using different names right now, so my, my mind's got a little blank because uh, the Halloween names and stuff in the Discord calls himself Zool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you see a lot of the core group of like the same people, you know, Tig's in there, like, um, and, and whatnot. But yeah, it, and it flows too. Like it's changed over time. When I used to be in there like a few years ago, is different than who who's in there now it's pretty funky weird the way it changes but um it's it's kind of like um a it's kind of like a revolving door uh let's see uh you got people like that in josh's too he has a good balance nobody can possibly expect to be heard all the time no you can't and yeah josh has been blowing up dude i'm like super happy for josh as well um i don't watch him a ton I think because of his time frame, but also, um, I don't know, like his games and stuff are not necessarily my type of thing, but, um, I think he, I think he might stream kind of like overnight or early morning or something. I, I don't know, but I just haven't watched him a lot, but I'm super happy for what he's doing, man. He's, um, he's had like tons of, tons of growth and just like, he's doing his thing. I'm sure he's enjoying himself and having fun, and, and I'm, it seems like his community's lo loving it. And um, I'm really happy for everything that he's doing and all of his success, man. I'm sure he deserves every bit of it. He's a freaking cool dude. I saw he changed his name just to just to Josh now, right? Or Yojo or something. Like he dropped the Arino. So it's like it's just like Yojo, Yojo or something. I forget. <clears throat> Yo, Raspy, how you doing, sweetie? Welcome on in. It's great to have you here. How's everything going tonight? I feel the retro community is very much like that. Like me and Raspy are always bumping into each other in lots of streams. For sure. For sure. There's a lot of overlap. There's a lot of overlap. There's tons of different people. And I see so many people in the same communities. Between Shulk, Mixer, Grunts, Sean. Um, geez, like it's it's all over the place. Uh, Goten, Zunati. Rat 707. Um, there's just tons of overlap, and you see the same people all the time everywhere. Retro Mike, Ridia, uh, Celestial Kind, like Pondagasa, Shrum. There's just there's so many, so many people, and so many like over overlapping. You see Knight, you see Ben, you see Tets, you see Telio. It's like they're all over the place. 
No, you just need to take a back seat and watch the world go by here. <clears throat> hey. Sometimes you watch the world go by and that's cool, man. You you stare out the window and you get a good glimpse. What, what else can you do, right? Hold on for the ride. There are days when I'm willing to be super active and other days where you just don't have it in you. I completely agree, Raspy. Sometimes I get this platform like I'm on it all the time, all the time. And there are just some days where I'm like, I have had enough. I, I, I'm always on here. Like I'm always in somebody's stream trying to like, just be there, just like hang out. And it just becomes overload at some point. And you're just like, man, <laughs> it's too much. That's why sometimes like, I'll just, uh, like, man, I got to get off this and just, like, do something else. Like, go watch a movie, do something. Like, because I just can't anymore. And and I stream three days a week, so it's, you know, I, I, I like, have to be on here three days a week. But the other two days, it's like, I don't want to do something else. And, I mean, even Oats, you know, you don't see him, like, around in a bunch of streams because... Uh, you know, he's got other things to do. <clears throat> Even in his Discord, you don't see him around a lot. He might post something once a day or whatnot. And that's about it. And it's usually a lot of other people that are hanging out, kind of conversating with each other and everything. I appreciate you, Raspy. Oh yeah, Emmett gets Emmett's had a, a lot of a lot of success recently. <clears throat> He's had um Oats ra has rated him a lot recently too, which is like wow. He's I think Oat he I think he really enjoys hanging out in Emmett's chat. So I think that's um one of the things is like he he actually likes to hang out with him after his streams. Like he sticks around and they have a lot in common. So I think there's there's kind of like a brotherhood there so he's been raiding him a lot and Emmett's had a lot of um a lot of success recently and just you know been riding that wave of, of sm and everything and there's a lot of sm runners that have been hanging out there between the both of them and then charles as well charles i mean charles is what, what applying for partner now um that's freaking awesome and amazing i'm really happy for charles to to be at that level <clears throat> A lot of people are, are coming up, getting their getting their dues now. That have been playing the that have been playing that game for a long time and been you know sort of grinding and working their way up. Keku Man Show used another one that man he deserves to get partnered and he just hasn't quite made it yet, unfortunately. He's one that's right on the cusp. He's right on the cusp, I think. Gonna happen one of these times. <clears throat> you always see him in there? Yeah. I think he really, really likes Emmett and, and, and what he's doing. They share the whole piano thing together and whatnot. It's like, um, yeah. I feel like Oats was more of like, for other people, he would be more of like a raid and run or like a raid and lurk type. But for him, it, he sticks around and he definitely hangs out with him. I think he has a lot of respect for him. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't change my limit break. You can get right on this, calf. Wow, dude. All right. Acting like I wasn't already on that. Okay, sure. Fine. Whatever, dude. Just, just act like last night didn't happen. All right. Okay. Just use me and then toss me to the side. I bet you'd like that, you pervert. <laughs> Perfect timing, DJ. <laughs> Perfect timing. I like it. That's good. That's good. See, that's what I like to see. I like the timing. That's good, man. You came with it. You brought it. Yes, well done. That was good. Very smart. I like when when people are smart with the 
with the memes. Anybody can throw a meme out there, but when you're smart with it, <clears throat> that makes it the best. <laughs> Yo, DJ, thanks for your contribution uh, to the Soul Blazer first playthrough challenge. I hope I didn't miss any of those. I don't think I missed any. I don't think anybody's contributed except for you at this, at this point. And happy birthday message slash unsub. Damn, Aniv, what I do to you, bro? Shoot, bro. Damn. What's wrong with you, dude? Aniv salty, bro. What I do to you, man? Ooh, damn. All right, Niv. See how it is. Rick off then. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? Oh, I need to change my limit break, which is going to break. There goes his limit. Um, okay. That's good. Yeah, we missed a, a Niv's birthday message. <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Yep. And they've wished me happy birthday and they've getting sassy and they've gone quiet now. Yeah, I know. Right. He said his piece and now he's, he's gone. I need to rest up. I think need to, need to get Nanaki some, uh, some MP. Happy belated birthday, Aniv. I'm going to do some game giveaways during that, uh, during that charity stream, I think too. Cause I owe, I owe like several game giveaways. So I think I might just do a whole bunch. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, sure, if you want. to it yeah man we're definitely gonna do some uh some game giveaways man we're gonna do some stuff whoa chill See what we got here. Sun's texting me. We're 
getting there. What are we at now? 25? Not bad. But I freaking do need some, uh... I need to rest somewhere. These guys do stone or whatever it is. They do, what do they do? Uh, stone, st yeah, stone stair, they do petrify. Yeah, I think I was definitely under leveled like pretty bad, which it is what it is. I try to like rush through these games. <clears throat> I don't want to take the time to really like level up and do what I should do. I'm bad. Because I'm bad. I'm bad. You know it. You know. Oosty. One tooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One tooth. Dude. <laughs> Set. <laughs> I just looked in the Discord. All I see is freaking my face with my tongue sticking out. Bro. That's actually freaking dope, but... Set never can make the the emotes like the small size so that I can put them somewhere. I could put them on BTTV if he would make the emotes small sized. Like the proper size. They have to be 114 by 114 or something like that. They have specific requirements. <clears throat> Where's where do we sleep here? Or where can we get? Is there anywhere? I don't remember where like the inn is in this place. Boomba. Cosmo Canyon music. F's. No, it's still the same. So there's two of them now. There's two of them now, DJ. So you can use the Keck W or you can use the, the one tooth. I added it for, for set. They do the same thing. All right, so I have four Steeler, which has double. <clears throat> Seraph comb. Oh, I should definitely have the seraph comb on him. What the hell? Bro, what are you even doing? Oh, and then I got the platinum fist, which I think I just got that. So I should definitely have that on there too. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm bad at this game. Sure, but what have you done for me lately? Um... I don't know. Colonel Angus. Added effect. Sense. I don't have a lot of materia, do I? Janet Jackson? Oh, okay. Janet Jackson. Uh, I don't remember Janet Jackson songs. So, hold up. If I go here... <clears throat> I 
Butterfly Edge. Tiger Fang. Prism Staff. <laughs> Unsub. Damn. Dude, everybody's unsubbing. Damn. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do it. Guys, don't leave. Any primers? Any primers? Jen's not even subbed to me because I don't have a dad bod, apparently. Yo, Dark September, thank you so much for your contribution. Primer, no priming. Any primers? Any primers? You bought a six monther during September? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See? Set coming through with the six monther. Let's go. Let's go. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. That's that's a man. That is a that is that is a long schlonged man right there, okay? He's packing heat. You purchase a six monther for caffeine daydream during September. Packing straight heat. Twelve inches of uncircumcised girth all right what were we saying schlong tekas <clears throat> you didn't sub during not a subathon <laughs> just 12 yeah just just 12 that's it catch kakuna close aniv close <laughs> Dude, I'm going to be like one of those, what do they call those streamers now? They're like, they, uh, they, they guilt trip people. I'm going to be like one of those guilt trip streamers. Like, dude, if you guys don't drop five gift subs right now, you're banned. You're like banned. Okay. I'm going to ban you right now. Five gift subs. Okay. You guys got five seconds to get five gift subs. Wait, this is it, isn't it? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you're all banned. You're all banned. Nobody moved. You're all banned. Yo, Jeffrey, what's going on, buddy? Welcome on in, man. It's good to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well today, friend. All the love, Jeff. All right, see, I, I did stay. Check check Discord again. All right, let me check. See, this is what I'm talking about. See? Look it. My man did it right here. DJ, see, dude. Dumb, check out dumb emote ideas. Dumb emote ideas is where Set always posts all the, all the stuff. Man. Throw it in there. Throw a bunch of them in there and I'll, I'll upload them to B BTTV. <clears throat> Yo, thanks for the shout out from my dude, Jeffrey, man. Appreciate you, dude. Do, 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 do. Boom, 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 boom. It's freaking dope, man. You can afford it. I can see my analytics. I know the medium income in your area. <laughs> Imagine somebody saying that, dude. Dude, I know where you come from. I know where you live. Yep. You live in a, a rich, prominent area. You can get five subs. Come on now. <laughs> can you imagine? Whoa. 
Shnikes. That'd be funny as hell, Shambles. Dude, you come from that town? Bro, you're easily good for 10. You're good for 10 gifted subs. Then that's per month, dude, okay? Guys, I'm gonna need you to give me your area code so then I can check out like I can check out, you know, what the medium income is for your area, and then I'll determine how many gift subs you're good for per month. And <laughs> we know you're eating good. We know it, man. You're eating top shelf, okay? You're eating filet mignon. Alright, we know. <laughs> You can drop 10. Lucas doesn't need to go on that field trip. Damn, dude. Dude, he's got he's got the luncheon coming up. He wants his dad to go to the luncheon. He's like, Dad, I choose you to go to the luncheon. I was like, my my heart. My heart. He's such a little sweetheart. What the hell? Love that kid, man. And if you and in in and hey, look. If you're in my Discord and you're subbed at the same time, Shambles, make sure to uh, make sure to um, accept the rules so you can get in completely. All right, and then you get the roll. If you if you don't, you're just sitting at the doorstep. Um, it's an extra wave of security, so I don't have trolls and stuff come in. There you go. There you go. So if you're subbed to me, I have a bot that shows when people are live. So if you're sub to me, you get access to that bot. So, I mean, five bucks a month, easy. Okay, easy clap. Then people can see when you're live. See? <clears throat> right there in the Discord, it shows you're live. Boom. Boom. Streamers who pay me money, as, as CFB would say. <laughs> <laughs> but you know some uh, people people do get gifted as well which is really nice and you get access as well easy clap but glad to have you there shambles be sure to check out uh, roles and social channel but otherwise just make yourself at home you know have fun enjoy it grab a drink grab some food you know hang out do what you will. I've got some roles that you can add and, and remove yourself and how you see fit. I never ping people. I never add everybody. Like I never do none of nothing like that. You're never gonna get the only way you're ever gonna get pinged from, from my server is if somebody directly pinged you. For whatever reason. Which I only usually do that the first time somebody enters, I'll say like, hey. Hey, so and so, and I at them, and I'm like, "Hey, welcome!" and and like, be sure to check out the roles and social channel. But otherwise, no, that's it. <clears throat> yeah, we used to do we used to do races on my channel, literally every Friday night. Shambles. We would have uh, ALTTP rando races between myself and uh, like several other different people, and it would kind of like. Um, it would kind of change who was like involved in it. Like it wasn't always like the same people sometimes, but yeah, we would do it. And, um, it was, it was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. I haven't done one in a long time, but I was thinking maybe to do an SMZ three rando or something. Maybe, maybe even a crowd control version on, uh, the charity stream potentially. But yeah, we've, um, I've got Sahasrala bot in there as well. And we just haven't done an actual race in a long time. But I know CFB was talking about doing a race. He wanted to do one. Like once a month. On like, I think a Wednesday. Like the last Wednesday of the month or something. And I told him I'd be down to like, you know, jump in and do one. Like one time a month or something. But we haven't done one yet. Yeah, crowd control. I did a crowd control, I think, during the charity stream last year. If I remember correctly, and I haven't done a crowd control for a long time, but people usually 
Usually people in my community like the crowd control to be more of like a, a free thing, but you know, when it comes to charity, it's more of like a, a donation type thing. So I don't know, like I worry about how it's going to go over, so, you know, with, with people. Um, cause I can add in channel points and stuff, but then people are going to really want to like depend upon the channel points and stuff versus actually, you know, donating towards the charity thing. So I, I don't know. We'll see. I always keep it open as definite possibility that I'll do that because I, I do like to do that stuff and it gives me something to do. Damn, I love that freaking music when you win a battle. It's so freaking good. So is does he have a thousand yet? I want to get Cloud up to a thousand. I want him to have like... I'll have a thousand at least. <clears throat> Last year was, was cool though because we actually did have a good motivator for, um, for donations. Um, one of the, cause it was, it was one of the teams that I'm on the sanctuary in conjunction with another team called Knights of the Round, which is, um, headed by MRR Knight. And he had this really great donation that was, that was like given to him to, to have for like everybody who was a part of the event could, could donate towards it, which was really cool. And it was, um, I forget what it was exactly. It was like a modded Game Boy Advance, if I remember correctly, which was really dope. Modded GBA that came from a, a company from one of Knight's viewers. And so people were donating for that. If you donated, I forget how much it was, maybe like a, Get how much if it was a 20 or a 40 dollar donation or something like that you would get like entered in i think you had to choose the incentive too as well because we wanted to make sure people were choosing the incentive to do that and actually wanted it so um i had a bunch of people that donated for that which is awesome <clears throat> Um, do this. What's the story on how you got involved with the charity? So the charity, um, the charity thing I'm doing is with, uh, another team that I'm on called the Pug Club. So the Pug Club is headed by a streamer called Bearboo, who's in the UK. And... She has worked with the uh, cancer research of uh, the UK before on like a charity event. So there was a couple of charities that were up for like consideration for this year's events. And that, uh, that charity research of UK got chosen again. So that's, that's basically how I got involved with, uh, with doing this this year. Um, my other team as is not doing a charity stream this year. As far as I know, I haven't heard anything about it. So I got involved with this one. And so, uh, but obviously this cancer research is definitely something that, you know, cancer affects all of us. I mean, my mom had breast cancer, skin cancer. My aunt died of, of cancer. Um, so, I mean, this, this affects everybody. I mean, this, this is, this is, a. uh, a, a cause that is near and dear, I think, to, to everybody's heart. Because uh, because most everybody is like affected by this in some some way or another. Yeah, big F cancer. Um, so it made complete sense that I wanted to be a part of this. And I, I like doing at least one charity stream a year, if possible. But I, I always try to like be a part of like one charity stream at least a year. So. It just turned out that this year, last year I did it for the Starlight Children's Foundation, which helped like, uh, I did it, it was around Christmas time. It was like towards the end of the year last year, it was for the Starlight Children's Foundation. It helped um, sick children in the hospitals and stuff and their families around the Christmas time. 
and you know help to raise funds for them and like their treatment and everything and help them out it was that it was a really dope um cause as well which i was really great and happy grateful and happy to be a part of and so that one was also good and then this year cancer research is just another really great one so <clears throat> yeah it's it, this will be my second time doing a charity stream if you look in my about section i actually have the date of when i did it plus a link to my twitter post that i put out about it we raised a thousand dollars on that first charity stream so i have a goal this year to do two thousand dollars uh, and if we hit that goal i was thinking to do the the one chip challenge and that is something i'm <laughs> not looking forward to doing <laughs> if, we, if we like i really I hope i really hope we we hit it but man i don't want to do that challenge i don't not want to <laughs> eat that chip bro that's something i've been kicking around is like is having that <laughs> Yo, Long, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in, dude. How's everything going today, man? It's great to have you here, buddy. Uh, check out the emotes. All right, DJ. I, I can't upload them at the moment, but I will definitely do that soon. But I'll let me let me give them a quick look. <clears throat> Holy frick, dude. Bro, what's the Dyson? Oh, shoot. I think the Dyson, I think I know. I think I know where that came from. I'm pretty sure I know who did that one. That's an older one. Bro. How many others? Wait, the calf ears in there as well. Oh my gosh. Bro, I love these. What the hell? The facial expressions? Are you kidding me? There's some good stuff there. Bro, DJ, what the hell, man? I had no idea you could like do this. They're so good. I really hope we make that goal, bro. No, no joke. I really hope we do. Oh, I know what happened. It broke. Okay. It broke. All right. I need to change this. I need to change this and this. So I broke my, my restore. Wait, no, I broke my, my fire and my restore because I changed. I was wondering what happened there. Oh, wait, no. All right, that's fine. Uh, just hanging out, doing some work I didn't finish earlier. Nice, bro. Also, bedtime routine for our three-year-old. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, three-year-old's getting ready for bed. Good night. Good night, little three-year-old long TV. I hope you have a good rest. <laughs> <clears throat> How much for you to boof the chip? Oh, my gosh. Two, 2,000. 2,000 for boofers. 2,000 for boofers. That one with the eyes. Wait, which one? Which one with the eyes? The 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 one. Yeah, okay. The one with the eyes. It, that's right above the the Dyson, right? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I just need some good captions for these. I need some good captions for like what what to put for the names. For some of these. Like, what do you guys think for some of these names? Come up with some good names, because I'm bad at it. Never done it before? Well, if it works, just check the requirements for emotes and did it on Photoshop. Let me... You want me to try one, DJ? I'll just try one right now, just to see. Like, we can actually do it right now, just for the hell of it, and see if it works. Um... Just to, just to see. You named the images already? Oh my gosh. This guy went out of his way to name the images. Hold up. Let's see. Here. I'm going to do one just for the hell of it, guys. Just let me, let me try one of these to see if it works for my dude. <clears throat> let me do this right only. So now you can see. See? This is my emotes on Better TTV. As you can see, I've got 145 out of 200 here. So I have another um, 55 that I can add here. Yo, Sidewalk Warrior. What's up, buddy? Welcome on in. Great to have you here, dude. Let us know how you're doing. Let me see here. So I'm going to grab one of these, one of these images here. <clears throat> 
So he named this one, say what? He named this one, say what? What is this one? Omega? I feel like, yeah, I guess this could be Omega. What is this one? This is fish face. <laughs> what is this one? Tongue. <laughs> we got to come up with some good, some good stuff. But yeah, I'm going to upload one of these. All right. I'm going to upload this one. I'm going to, I'm going to upload. Say what? Save image as. PNG. Is that what they want here? Is, you can use PNG, right? You looked up the requirements. So I'm just, uh, yeah. PNGs and GIFs. Emotes are displayed at 2828, but they have to be 112 by 112. I was off. I think I said 114 by 114. It's 112 by 112. So hopefully you did that. But you said you looked it up. So I'm trust. I'm trust. DJ rocks. He does rock. You rock too, buddy. Killing it. It's Friday weekend time. Let's freaking go, dude. Weekend TGIF. I'm freaking loving it, dude. I'm having a good time. Okay. So I'm going to emote code is going to be like, I don't know. I always put it as like caffeine and then I don't know. Say what? Something like that. I think I might have one that's like caffeine. What or something. But I forget. Uh, uh, <laughs> with a funny face. Yeah, I type good. Uh, upload. <clears throat> Auto approved. It's been added. I think it's up at the top. I think they put all these ones at the top. See, I have caffeine. What? That's what I have. Then I have a say what. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? I have so many emotes. It's got to be at the top. I'm just missing it. Bullied, that booty, Ghanis. Oh, it's right here. Blue. It's right here. But yeah, you. I have to refresh. I can refresh here. When you refresh, you should be able to see it. I think. How do you spell caffeine? I don't know how to spell caffeine. All right. I don't know. It's there, but I refreshed my chat, but I don't see it, but it's fine. You guys can probably see it. Cool. So yeah, it works. So yeah. Um, there you go, DJ. It's as simple as that. You resize them to 112, 112. Boom. We just need to come up with like good names for them. Funnier names, the better. Do, 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 boo, do, 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 Might need to ref, but. I mean, it's not wrong, you know, you might need to ref, but. You might. When you see calf went live, say what? <clears throat> I like to be expressive. <laughs> nice, bro. Yo, Jeffrey says hi to Raspy and then Buttsbot 
at but be do and says hi <laughs> bro it's too good <laughs> at at but p do yeah i think it was a was it a niv it was a niv before that called you out so you've been called out by a niv and now by butt spot nope <clears throat> How do I get out of this thing? Yeah, Niv got you here. Now Butt Scott has reeled you in. You owe my accursed presence to that program. That infernal program. Jeffrey's got a moment. Jeffrey's, Jeffrey's the man. He's been here. He's got his moment. He's a heckin' sweetie pie. That's dope, though. Um, DJ, thank you so much for doing that, man. It was quick and easy, right? All it takes is, like, getting good... Um, getting good expression images... And then you can even tweak them too. If like, if I'm making some sort of a goofy face, you can actually mess with it in Photoshop. It, you could like increase the eyes or something and make it like more cursed and more like freaking goofy looking. Like there's so much stuff that you can do. Just like, mm, just like freaking do it. You know what I mean? I can blame Tracker as well. I haven't seen Tracker in a bit. Well, I, I mean, I, I did see him like, I know he's been busy, so. Yeah, you can do that stuff easy peasy, brother. <clears throat> I was just saying, like, if you've got, if you've got any skills with, like, Photoshop at all, you could actually make little tweaks to make it even more cursed if you, if you were, wanted to, like, artistic-wise and stuff, because I know you got, like, you got that creative mind. If you're ever just messing around and you want to do something, like you could always freaking mess with that stuff and just freaking tweak it and make something funny, curse for the channel, man. That'd be dope. Yeah, it was Tracker that told you. Yep. Tracker's a freaking awesome, too. I know he's been busy, though. I seen him today, like, either in Grunt's chat or in Knight's chat or something. I forget, but. He's been around. But I know in the nighttime he's busy, and the nighttime's when I'm streaming, so. Understandable. That's why I think the nighttime is a, is a hard slot to fill for people. Like. But at the same time, I feel like there's people out there. It's just. It's, it's like you gotta, you gotta get them somehow. You gotta attract them. And that's, that's not the uh, easy part. Fortunately, that's the hard part. I know what we got is good. I know what we got is, uh, is worth, worth, you know? We just gotta get some wonderful people in here. <clears throat> Blade beam. I'm still four followers away from the roundup to one and a half K and I wasn't sure I was hoping tonight might be the stream but considering I'm playing this instead of like a NES game I don't I don't have uh, high hopes that I'm gonna hit that roundup tonight and I'm gonna get those four followers or whatever to push me over yeah he busy in the nighttime he busy. He big busy. A wild Porygon. Porygon is gone. Hmm. 
<clears throat> I think I'm almost ready to move this story forward. I'm going to try that lost numbers fight again. Set's going to laugh at me if I lose this time. me if I lose this time. Ooh, we got Blood Fang. Let me see. Limits. So this is L, I think. R is L. Because it cycles backwards through... Through the characters. It goes from... It goes from... Red 13 to Tifa the Cloud. So this must be R. Select is R. This is L and this is R. I figured it out. But does it work? Is Jorgil... I think I said that right. Jorgril? Was talking about how it's messed up for, for other people. I think it was uh, Jorgril. I should try to see if I can make that work. <clears throat> I'm curious. Figured it out. <laughs> it will. It will. It will. Oh, it works. See? Okay, I should be able to just run up here and go to lost number. So it's hey, right 36, listen. left 10. Right 59, right 97. R36, L10, R59, R97. I'm pretty sure this is what Stop it is. It. Get some help. Pretty sure. Stop it. Get some help. Give it a try. I hate these guys. You know why I hate these guys? Because they do... Because <clears throat> they do the thing. Just spin the dial and wherever it ends, that's the wiener. Correct, Ariakas. Correct. I agree. How you doing, Ariakas? Good to see you, buddy. Welcome on in, man. Great to have you here, dude. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Still like early evening your time. A little later my time, but that's okay. Hope you're feeling well and everything's going going good for you. Oh, it's nine? I thought it was actually okay, yeah, no, it is nine. Sorry. For some reason I was just I was subtracting like you were on the freaking Pacific coast or something. I was I was off. My my mind and my math was off. That was dumb. Yeah, it's it's a little you're only one hour behind me. Yo, Merig, how you doing? Welcome on in. Great to have you here. Uh how's everything going? You're just in time for me to fight uh fight this boss. Wait. Right 36? I went past it, shoot. I think it's yeah, it's right 36 left 10. I forget the name of the boss. What was the name of the boss? Do you set the lost lost whatever? I don't know. I'm bad. Right 36. Left 10. Right 56. No, 59. 
I went past it. Lost number. Yeah, that's the one. Bubba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely number four greatest game of all time for me. Hell yeah. I love this game. I haven't played it in a while, but hot damn, I love it. Right 59. Right 97. Boom. Easy clap. No, I agree. I think this game is definitely up there as, as like kind of a, a top tier game. Um, what should I do? do ramen. Yeah, I'm about to get my cheeks clapped again. It's true. <laughs> How's everything going, Merrick? Hope I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, let me know how it how you how to say it correctly. <clears throat> raid? That tune got me. That's Choke's raid music. Oh, true. That's true. I forgot about that. Secret of Mana, Super Metroid, Link to the Past, Final Fantasy VII, Super Mario RPG. Dude, great list, Merrick. Great freaking list, dude. I love all those games. SNES is like my favorite console. No, no freaking, no lie. SNES is, is, is my all-time favorite, and I love Link to the Past. Love Super Metroid. Final Fantasy VII, man. Love it. Um, Secret of Mana is really cool. I just, I always have a tough time with the end of Secret of Mana because you need to, like, really, um level up your magic and everything unless you know the strats to kind of like get around that i think sort of like speedrun strats but uh super mario rpg is one that i gotta replay again i haven't played it in a long time but i'm looking forward to um to playing that again soon Hold up. I'm in the middle of this battle, so let me let me give it a go. Secret of Evermore is very unique and interesting too. I like um I like Secret of Evermore as well. It's just different. People were looking for Secret of Mana 2 and they got something a little bit different and it was a little off-putting, but those that stuck with it and actually played it, I think were present pleasantly surprised by by how good it is. Ooh, that actually hit. Nice. Going well. I needed to find a new retro gamer to watch while I'm not playing. Sweet, man. Well, we're really great uh, to have you here and glad to have you aboard. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you do, be sure to uh, drop a follow. We'd love to have you back again. We're um, four away from hitting the round up to one and a half K. Easy clap, dude. Set. Let's go. Easy clap. Yeah, one and a, uh, we're four follows away from uh, the one and a half K roundup, which super, super excited and happy about. Cosmo memory. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We got the key to the basement. Dope. And we got Odin material. <clears throat> Make that three. Yo, Merrick, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it a lot, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. That's very, very kind, man. Glad to have you here, bro. Uh, you're doing a playthrough of Illusion of Gaia? Gonna play Soul Blazer and Terra Enigma? Yo, dude, I've actually got... If you look in my channel points, I actually have a channel point challenge going on right now to play Soul Blazer once the, the, the challenge gets met. I've never played Soul Blazer. It would be a first playthrough, and um, I'm looking forward to doing that. Yo, Ariakis, thank you so much for your, your uh, contribution, buddy. Appreciate that. So yeah, I played Illusion of Gaia many times. I played Terra Enigma for the first time like last year or earlier this year, I forget. My, my conception of time is absolutely freaking horrible. So I'm gonna play Soul Blazer once that gets met and I'm looking forward to doing it. You never played it either? Terra Enigma is cool, but yeah, Soul Blazer looks to be a good time as well and I'm looking forward to playing it, man. <clears throat> looking forward to playing it which i uh i think it's gonna be dope i think it's gonna be real dope 
I'm a big fan of Illusion of Guy. I've played through it many times um, throughout my life. But then Terra Enigma, I, I actually was very pleasantly surprised how how much fun that was. See, set, are you happy with with me, set? I beat it. Okay, I just needed to level up, dude. And then I whooped him. I needed to take a moment and like actually do something right. And once I did, I whooped him. These sets sets like big pog, big pog. All right, I'm going to I'm going to upload that emote for you DJ. I'm going to we're going to check out this emote that my buddy DJ uh resized and, and formulated for me. So let's we're going to give that a go real real quick here. Once I cure up and and then we've also got a materia that we got. I'm going to give it to shoot, I messed up. I'm going to give it to Tifa. You have a really good list of games there, Merrick. I agree that those games are freaking some of the best around, dude. Yo, TRR? Yo, dude, what's up, man? The big man, TRR in the house. Thank you so much for the follow, buddy. Appreciate that a whole heckin' lot, man. The man. <clears throat> the man, the myth, the legend. Let's go. Uh, Odin. Yeah, let's throw Odin on uh, Tifa. If you don't know TRR, what are you even doing with your life? <laughs> he's a he's a really great dude. Freaking super fantastic freaking uh, speedrunner, man. Doing big things right now um, with uh, SG&G, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Super Ghosts and Goblins. I always mess that name up, bro. <laughs> I don't know why they switched it from the nest to the snest because I butcher it every damn time. Um... <laughs> yeah, but uh freaking super awesome dude. Freaking world record holder in uh um uh Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Freaking awesome. Yo, TRR, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in, man. It's great to have you here, dude. I somehow thought I was already falling. Dude, don't worry about it, man. It <laughs> everybody, it always happens all the time, dude. Uh I love making connections though, man. You're freaking super dope, man. So so Freaking happy and excited to have you here, bud. I see Fun Tune. You stream SM2? Yes, I do, Merig. Yep. I I used to speedrun uh, Super Metroid for a time, and I also speedran uh, Metroid Dread for a time as well. Although I was a much better Dread speedrunner than I was Super Metroid. Um, Dread's so much fun. I love the movement. But I had a sub hour, sub some one hour thirty um, in um, Super uh, sorry Metroid Dread. Um, <laughs> yo, thank you so much for that follow as well. Damn, dude, I think we're like one follow away from the one 1.5k uh roundup. One follow away. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> you just started to learn uh SM Speed Tech. It's a fun game, and the tech in Super Metroid is is a good time. Uh, once you learn Mock Ball, once you learn like Moonfall, and you learn some of that tech, like. You can pick it up. I think the bosses are really what's what's tough and and stuff like that. Once uh, once you get it though, like I could do some stuff, but yeah, I had like a sub one hour. I had like a fifty seven twenty five or something. I have it in my about section. But damn, dude, how's everything going for you tonight, uh, TRR? How how are you doing? Uh, how's how's time doing? It's good to good to see you, man. Hope all's well with you. I think that's how you say it, say it right? <laughs> uh Oh my gosh, what what is this emote? <laughs> what is this emote? He calls it Uber Chad. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me see here. He calls it Uber Chad. Been a long time since I played this one, obviously a good one. Oh, I'm about um let me see. I'm, I'm 12 hours in according to this, but I'm at, um, uh, what is this? Nibelheim. So we're, we're basically, let me see. We're working our way up to the first reactor. Um, so we make our way through here. I just fought loss number. We're going to go down to the be basement and see like, where Sephiroth was reading all the books and everything. And then we're going to head up to the first reactor. 
And then where, where do we go after that? I think we go to Rocket Town, if I remember correctly. And then we get Sid, right? I think that's how it goes. It's been a while for me too. Um, this is just like a, a, a relive playthrough basically because I've played this many times throughout my life. Uh, even one time I played it when I was um, I was over a friend's house and I took some some uh, some acid and I drank beers all night playing it. I stayed up all night long just drinking beers and playing this after uh, dropping some acid and it was fun. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, you get Vincent in the basement too. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's that's one important part about the basement. Uh, all right. So DJ wants me to check out this emo. I'm just gonna give this a quick look. I'm gonna pull up uh, Better TTV, and he wants me to upload this emote. I think. Or did you just want me to look at it, DJ? Iconic cutscenes incoming for sure. There's some great stuff in this game, and I love it. DJ, let me see what you. And he wasn't even really running dread. Yes, I was. I swear I was. I swear it. Oh, you want to? Okay. You want me to upload? All right. I'll give it a quick upload. Apologies, everybody. Just let me get, uh, let me get this emote real quick and see. Um, save image. All right. I'll save that. I'm going to pull up better TTV and I'm going to do, uh, right. I'm going to see if this works for my dude real quick. <clears throat> Yo, Firelina, what's going on? Welcome on in. It's great to have you here. How's everything going tonight? Retro games are the best. Hell yeah, they are. You know it. Um, all right. Choose file. Emo Uber Chad, right? So I'm going to put caffeine. Should I put, I should put Giga Chad, right? Giga Chad. Nobody says Uber Chad. Everybody says Giga Chad. <clears throat> can you upload so you can see he was he was why he was walking dread. <laughs> nice, dude. Is an emote of calf uh as Giga Chad. I don't know. Something like that. Alright. You say Uber Chad? No. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe we're freaking one follow away from the one and a half roll up. All right, auto approved. It's it's there. You can give it a you can give it a try, bro. Look at this emo, bro. What? <laughs> All right, give it a go. See what you think. We still have lots more to go, man. We can still do fifty three more. So give it a go. See what you think. All right, I'm gonna get back here to the game. I agree though, retro games are the best. And I'm enjoying playing some FF7. Man, I, I do enjoy this game so heckin' much. All right, so we're gonna go down to the basement now. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Merrick. Honestly, that's freaking so, so nice of you, man. I, dude, I just try to be me on this platform and enjoy myself and uh, and make some new friends, man. I love the, socialize, the socializing aspect of, of Twitch. Everybody's got their own thing, like TRR is a speedrunner. I, I generally like to play games casually, although I have dabbled in speedrunning a little bit, but um, you know, uh, other people do things their own way. And man, I just freaking enjoy being on this platform so heckin' much and just like meeting new people and having great conversations. I think that's what it's all about, man. I love it. Thank you, thank you though, man. I appreciate the love and support and the, the kind words, dude, because it's, it's a roller coaster ride, man. Um, from day to day, stream to stream. Like, my last stream was such a freaking high, dude. I had so much fun. I beat two games. We finished Punch Out and we finished um, Kid Icarus all in one, like, eight and a half hour stream or something like that. It was so long. But I finished both of them. And then. I got raided by so many wonderful friends. It was just like a complete freaking sugar high that stream. And not every stream is that way. Like I haven't even gotten one raid this time, which is fine. Like it's, it's funny because sometimes it comes in droves like that where like your friends all raid you at the same time. And then other times it's kind of like a dry well. 
<clears throat> but it's freaking don't matter. It's um, as long as I got some cool people to hang out with, I freaking just enjoy being here and having fun with y'all. Yeah, set rated me. Yep, set rated me. Yep, that's right. Dude, thanks again for that raid, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks for bringing yourself over. <laughs> That is all you can be is yourself. I agree, Lord Malachite. I agree. I just try to be the best me I can be, dude, honestly. But this is kind of me in a nutshell. I'm, I'm a very positive person. Um, I generally like positivity from myself and from others. Although Set likes to troll me like a mother, um, I still love him and I know he loves me. I know he's just being a, an ass to me, but he's. Uh, I know he's got love in his heart even if he won't admit it but i do generally like positivity around me and i like to exude positivity for other people so that you know we can lift each other up especially for for people like you know that are going through it or whatever whatever like goomba gal is is doing schooling and i always tell her she can do it she can she can rise up to the task she can get it done i believe in her like i love that kind of positivity and inspiration for people honestly for that's, um, I like to lift people up, man. There's Brenda. enough freaking crap Brenda. in the world. And... I love to kind of like, Brenda. you know, have fun Brenda. And, and lift Brenda. people Brenda. up whenever Brenda. possible. Brenda. 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 I wonder which voice you got, Hyper. It definitely sounds like Slavic or something. It sounds like European Slavic or something. <coughs> Scammed! It saw... Look at A Niv sensed Hyper work was here and just said, Scammed! Either that or was the JP... The JP... Uh, JRP emote. It was Maxime. I knew it. I was like, it sounds like it's freaking Slavic. And it turns out it's Max. I, I should, that should say Maxime, I think, not Maxin. Uh, Russian. <laughs> yeah, that should be Maxime. I think, um, I think that got input incorrectly. It is, uh, Merig. This is the PC version. So, yeah, this is off of Steam. It's the, it's kind of like the Polis version. That's why it, the, the sprites look a little like better than they should. This is uh this is straight from Steam. This is the PC version. Panda, beer, panda, beer, beer, panda, frosty, panda, beer. Hey, Hyper, how's it going, buddy? Welcome on in, man. Great to have you here, dude. How's everything going, bud? I know you've been uh, doing your thing as well. You got schooling and everything, so uh, I hope you're doing excellent and. Uh, as always, I know you're a smart dude, so I know you can do it as well, man. But I always like to let everybody know that you, uh, you're capable and able. That's dope, dude. <clears throat> dude, Hyperwork was talking about, um, that's actually dope that Buttspot derped it. Um, <laughs> is this actual Buttware? <laughs> um, what was it? Um, Hyperworks actually pro might be going to, um, to your area. You might be going to your area, kind of, DJ. Hold up, my son's requesting something. <clears throat> All right. Oh, is it a long way for you? Damn, that sucks, dude. That's where LCG and Nova are headed, Southampton. Oh, is it really? Get me that Chloe Yossi. Hold on, let me... Alright. 
That sucks, dude. That sucks, man. To wake me from my nightmare. Who is it? I don't even think I got... I don't think I even got... Um, what's her name? I think I got Vincent now, but... I don't think I went and got Yuffie, but I usually don't get Yuffie in my playthroughs. I think I get Vincent and I, I skip Yuffie because <laughs> I don't like her forcing me to go to. I don't like the way the game forces you to go to. Um, What's it called? Wutai. I, I like when it forces you to go to Wutai. Oh, Risky, what did you say earlier? I saw your message and I missed it. Robin Williams said every person you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Always be kind to one another. Dude. Freaking dude. That is so spot on. Freaking so spot on. I actually freaking love that quote so hecking much, dude. Because it's true, bro. You don't know what the hell somebody else is going through, man. Everybody struggles differently and in different like in different ways it's like i kind of just said the same thing twice but it, you never know man like that's part of the reason that i just try to like be a positive and, and try to be an inspirational person to other people just you never know what the hell somebody's going through half the time <clears throat> don't don't take much i guess in my opinion, to, to try to be positive and lift somebody up and try to be a, you know, jack off and, you know, pu push people down and whatnot. I don't know. Don't seem worth it, in my opinion. I think Wu Tai does give you Leviathan. I think you're right. I don't know you. You must leave. You were having a nightmare. How bad was your dream? A nightmare? My long sleep has given me time to atone. What do you say? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out. This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. You can say that again. Do you know something? Wait, don't you like don't say a thing, right? I forget. I forget what the choice the, the correct choices are. I forget. Tell him about Sephiroth, is that what it is? <clears throat> I forget, dude. I literally haven't done this in forever. But that makes sense to do the second choice. I feel like down was correct. Like some part of me believes down was the correct choice. Streaming and Twitch in general has helped me through some of the toughest depression I fought. Dude, I'm like, I'm glad to hear that you know, it's been a help to you and like something that's helped keep you stable and keep you afloat because that's freaking awesome, dude. I'd rather see somebody stay afloat and like get through whatever, you know, pain and trouble that they're causing them than freaking fall into the abyss and the void of like life and, and freaking anxiety and depression and, and everything else, man. So freaking cheers to helping you get through that man seriously and if you ever need to to talk about it or anything like that seriously like you know my ears are open my door is open let me know happy to you know talk more about that with you either you know here in chat or or elsewhere like seriously man but really glad to hear that um you know hopefully you've you've sort of made your way through that and um you know hopefully you've come out of the other side a better man because hojo's punk ass right <clears throat> sephiroth has lost his mind he found the secrets hidden in this mansion sephiroth you know sephiroth Oh, Joe. Five dollars a month. Yuri, please just subscribe. Merrick, dude, what the hell? Thank you so heckin' much, dude. Um, obviously that's not ever ever needed, but thank you freaking so heckin' much for the brand new tier one subscription, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, buddy. Um, that is very very kind and generous of you, dude. Thank you so much for the support, man. What the hell? Um, much love, broski. Seriously. 
Zephyroth knows he was created five years ago about the Genova project. He was missing, but he just recently reappeared. He has taken many lives and is seeking the promised land. Um, if you at all use Discord and you want to hop in the Discord, feel free to use that that link directly above, dude. Um, we have a live bot in there. If you if you're sub to the channel, then you will show up as being live in the Discord. Um, and people can see it right there, man. So uh, feel free to hop in there if you if you want, man. Um, no pressure at all, but it's there for you if you if you want to utilize it. Plus, you get to use those emotes in 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 Discord in other areas and stuff if you if you use all that stuff. So uh, just throwing it out there, man. I'm disappointed. Hearing your stories is yet another sin for me. More nightmares shall come to me now than I previously had. Now please leave. Such a cool game, man. All right, so we have to go bother him again. From what I can remember. Then you say, who are you? Because it's like two downs. I, th this is how I feel like I remember it. It's down and then down again. Also known as the Turks. Love it. Vincent. We're keeping that name. Vincent. The Turks? Formerly of the Turks. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you? Formerly of Soldier. Yeah, they messed him up big time. They they really did a number on Vincent. Then do you know Lucretia? Lucretia, the woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. Gave birth? Wasn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong, but just a theory. You deserve it. Positive energy is needed everywhere. Dude, I freaking agree, bro. There's so much in the, in the you know, grand chasm of life that like drags us down that just being even, even a minute, you know, positive force out there in this world i think is definitely appreciated and needed for you know a lot of different a lot of individuals so you know even if i'm touching a small fraction of what's on twitch man if i can be just a, a positive force out there and uh and touch a few lives here or there man i'm all for it i'm all for it dude want to make people's lives a little bit lighter and a little bit easier man and and, and have a place to like come enjoy hang out have some entertainment and freaking get away from the, the cares and the worries of the world because, you know, we can all use that for sure. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucretia. She was an assistant to Professor Gas of the Genova Project. Beautiful Lucretia. A human experiment? There was no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I love, the one I respected most, face the worst. So the punishment was sleep? That's what <clears throat> so then I, I think yeah he just says let me sleep and then you have to like walk out and then as you, we can go this way I think and then as you're walking out that's when he's like wait oh these guys these guys these guys hit these guys really can do a number on you that's all I remember is these guys are real tough, bro. But thank you. Thank you again, Merig, man. Seriously. Seriously, really, really thank you so much, man. Wait, Fana gonna come and then join your party? I mean, that's what he should have done. Like, legit. I think we need to use... Uh-oh. He's doing the thing. Bolt 2. I should just run from this guy. I shouldn't even fight this guy. Well, that was good. <laughs> Dude, that's like if Albert was like in the casket. <laughs> Fine, I'm gonna come. I'm sorry, that just it kind of makes me want to laugh. <clears throat> I 
feel like we can use some magic on this guy and it's going to make this fight much easier. Did that do something? I kind of missed if that actually did damage. And now I'm probably going to get hecked as a result of it. Okay, I didn't get completely hacked. Vincent's whole thing is, I don't want to be wiener cousins with a science man that made psychotic L'Oreal models. <laughs> Ojo's a number, man. Ojo's wild. That man be out on the beach. I don't know why I'm fighting this thing. I should just... Yang's happy. Uh-oh. Sadistic attack? This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> Okay, I missed. Great. Oh no, I only killed one half. This man's neck is foreskin. <laughs> I never noticed it before, dude. His neck is foreskin. What the hell's going on? Uh oh, now he's doing bolt after like every single attack. That's not good. He's going to do the sadistic attack. I lived. I didn't even get much out of it either. I lived, but it didn't do nothing. I got 700 for that. Come on now. This man's neck is foreskin. <laughs> Only Set would have seen that. Only Set. Dude, I like the way you can go over here and it tells you C project specimen A code Z. That was Zach. A scratch left by a fingernail inside the breaker, the beaker, feeding time. That's our chance. <clears throat> C project specimen B code C. That's cloud. A scratch left by a fingernail inside the beaker. Let's get out of here. I love it. Only if you know to check that though. You're going to be playing Fall Guys for the charity stream? I don't know. I don't, to be honest, DJ, I don't have a set, like a set thing yet. I don't, I, like a set schedule or anything. I don't have like any, anything in particular that like I know what I'm doing at this point. You're just planting ideas. That's why I have in the in the Discord, I have that channel, uh, the Calf Charity Stream channel that I'm, because I haven't decided yet like what I'm doing at this point. I've thrown some ideas in there, but otherwise, yeah, I don't, I don't have like any, um, any solid ideas or anything or like any, any solid plans really. It's all kind of up in the air and I'm just sort of working out the details. You are so heckin' cute. I know, bot. I know. <clears throat> Being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? I don't even know what a reunion is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion, becoming a calamity from the sky. Genova, a calamity from the skies? You mean she wasn't an ancient? Reunite these nuts. Got them. <laughs> I see. I don't think you have the right to participate. I will go north past Mount Nibel. If you wish to know, then follow. He throws a... He throws a... um. Did my lights go off?
How my lights go off and I'm not quite sure what, what happened there. Um, yeah, DJ, check out that channel. I created it not too long ago. It's a, it's a brand new channel, but I created it for just my charity stuff and like throwing around ideas and whatnot. <clears throat> he throws a, a, this, this right here, this green materia at me. I never saw Advent Children. I think I did see it a long time ago. And I've been a, quite a while since I've watched it, if I did see it. It was Sephiroth that turned your lights off. Yeah, so I've got lights back here. If you look right here, you can see them like in here. They were flashing. Now people can do that with channel points and stuff, but I didn't see anybody use channel points. And the only other way would be like, if somebody like hosted or, but hosting is, not on Twitch anymore. If you raided, they go off. If you sub, they go off. If you follow, like if you do something, they go off, but nobody did anything. And I saw them flashing and I was like, not quite sure. It was a, it was a little odd. <clears throat> so when I have it on my game screen, you can sort of see it, but you see the color on this back wall right here. If somebody does something. Yeah. See? Thank you, Seth. Yeah, it was Sephiroth. Yep. That bastard. Playing with my lights again. <laughs> Choir daydream. Thanks, Seth. <laughs> oh, so this actually tells you the escapee reports, too. That's right. Dude, a Niv just frugy nopers. <laughs> That's dope. Yo, a Niv based? I forgot they tell you the escapee reports. A was shot for resisting. B escaped during A's resistance. So this tells you the whole backstory. If you pay attention to this right here, this tells you about Zach and Cloud basically being in the beakers. They were te they were test specimens. <clears throat> uh, Zach actually did make it into soldier, but Cloud like didn't really. He was just like a regular soldier. Um, but they were both tested on and he ended up escaping, but he escaped because Zach, um, they both helped each other escape. But then at the end, Zach ended up getting shot and killed while he took his sword and then just like found his way into Midgar. And then that's like the beginning of the game sort somewhat like he showed up there and then, uh, I think he, I think Tifa found him or something like that. And then, that's when they went on their quest. Something like that. I always sort of forget how this story goes. Even though I've played this a million times, it's like the story, for whatever reason, it's still like puzzle pieces in my head. Uh, have you played FF7R yet? So I actually have started it, Mirig. If, um, if you look here, I've got these two lists. One of them is a completed games list and another is an upcoming in progress games list. So if you look at the in progress one, it actually shows that I've started FF7R, but I like started it several months ago and then I put it on hold and I haven't gone back to it yet. Um, I was really enjoying it when I was playing it, but then I got on this huge retro Nintendo kick and I've been playing tons of Nintendo games recently and I haven't gone back to it yet but I made it I think I was about to be going up to um what is it um Shinra headquarters in that game so I've made it through a good portion of it so far it's time for big sleepers yo Take it easy, Set. Have a great rest of your night, man. Thanks for being here, dude. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks again for that uh, clip that you did as well in the resub earlier. I appreciate it, man. Um, much love, Broski. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, to be honest, Set. <clears throat> I know you usually work on Saturdays, but I'm really happy that like you were home today and you got to chill out with us. Um, it's always nice having you here, bud. Don't blame you. SNES is amazing. Yeah, I freaking love the SNES, dude. It's my favorite console. 
there's just so many good games on it that I just I just love it to death. SNES is awesome. But lately what I've been playing is 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 Nintendo, like straight up Nintendo. Like I played Mario Brothers recently. Kid Icarus. I mean Double Dragons, like freaking whole bunch of crap on the NES. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good game. I actually really like FF7R and I was waiting so long to play it that when I got it, I was so excited and I was just smiling so hard. The first stream that I played it, I was just smiling and so happy and I was like, I love this to death. And then it sort of like wore off a little bit as I played a few more streams and then I don't know. For whatever reason, I just kind of like put it on hold, but I, I do really like it genuinely. I just got to like go back and finish it up. I'm hoping to get moved to prep so I can work in the mornings, but I think they're going to slam me with some nice occasionally. Oh, it sucks, dude. But if you can work some mornings, I think that'd be that'd be great. Like a little bit of because I, I don't think you're completely happy being like on the grill and whatnot and doing the, the nighttime work and stuff. So I hope they're able to um hook you up with some mornings and just you know make your life a little easier but have a great rest of your night buddy have a have a wonderful sleep friend thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight again thanks for the resub and everything and for just chilling sharing your time with me man that's that's what's most important so uh have a great weekend dude i'm sure i'll see you around in discord and whatnot so you know um i'm sure i'll see you around but enjoy your sleep buddy I don't, uh, do, 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 currently waiting for my F FX pack pro and retro tink 5x chomping at the bit for them to come in. Dude, that's sick, dude. Those are freaking awesome. <clears throat> I don't have one myself. Like I don't have any consoles besides the switch, but man, if I did, I definitely get an FX pack pro and like retro tink and all that stuff. Cause I think those things are great and they definitely help and up your game. Uh, like, you know, quality and everything. I don't mind nights, but grill is complete ass. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's, that's, yeah, I know what you mean. You've, you've talked about the grill and everything and how they kind of slam you and they should have two people and they only have one and it's pretty, pretty, you know, crappy situation and stuff. You're a night shifter as well. Damn dude. I got to hand it to you night shifters, man. That stuff is rough, bro. I enjoy like a slutty, slutty, a steady sleep schedule. So having um having nighttime be the work time is oof that's rough i've never been one to like stay up all night or anything and i don't know unless i was on some psychedelics or something but uh yeah staying up all night has just never been something for me i, I have stayed up late but yeah staying up all night is uh, it's just rough you consume enough caffeine to probably kill an elephant. <laughs> hey, I consume a bit myself, but yeah, not. I try not to go too too rough on it. I, I enjoy my coffee though. No worries, Merrick. No worries, man. I'll, I'll see you when you get back. I do enjoy my coffee though, man. I only have a couple a day. I, I as much as I love coffee, and, and Set will give me crap because he'll say like he drinks chocolate milk. It's not coffee. Uh, <laughs> give me the old troll business. I, uh, I only usually drink like two a day, two espressos a day in like, I've been drinking them in cappuccino form actually recently. I think it's the colder weather. I've been really enjoying the, uh, the cappuccino buzz in instead of just straight up espresso, but I don't like the extra calories from the, the milk and whatnot, but it's just been nice to enjoy a, a cappuccino again. It's been a while. I've been drinking straight espresso for a long time. Getting back to cappuccinos has been real nice. They're fun to sip on. Yo, Dr. Butterfingers. What's up, buddy? Welcome on in, dude. It's great to see you, man. How's everything going? Great to have you here, bud. Always a pleasure. My dude. It's the doc. Bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> Dude, I was really tired after that stream on Wednesday. Can't believe I went uh, almost nine hours. 
It was great having like Grunt here though and so many people hanging out and freaking watching what I was doing. It was freaking so much fun, dude. I enjoyed myself a lot that night. <laughs> that was such a such a high stream. He did turn up, man, and I'll tell you, I, I freaking love when Grunt's here, man. I know he's got like a lot of different people that he can watch, so um, it was really like an honor, you know, to have him here. Always, always an honor to see like when people show up, you know, like TRR came up tonight, like it's so validating and so like it makes me so happy, dude. You you start getting noticed, you know? It feels like nice. It feels like a validation. Like, damn, you're, you're finally starting to, like, get noticed, like, for some of the stuff that you're doing. And just, you know, making a making a, an impact, making a positive impact. And just... Yeah, man. Like, feels good. Friend is fun. He is funny. He's got jokes, man. When we were watching, um, oh, oh, there's still one. Okay. I was like, I thought that was the second one. And I was just using this for nothing. When we were watching a uh, night of the living dead on his stream, he, he came with some jokes. Like he was, um, what, what do you call that? Midnight science theater 3000 or whatever. Like he came with some jokes. I forget what that's called. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. MST 3K, right? Oh, for sure, Dr. Butterfingers. It, it feels like so freaking hecking good, dude. Like, no joke. <clears throat> to get that note, like, to get noticed, to get, like, people see you. Feels good as hell. Like I've been on this platform for two years, you know, and I'm not speed running or anything. Usually I'm just more socializing, playing things from a, a casual standpoint, although I have dabbled a little bit, but still it's just like, you know, to see more and more people taking a notice, um, in the retro community and, and in other communities as well. There's, cause there's so many great ones. It's like, damn, it feels so good. <laughs> I usually do like at, at some point or another I've swung by like a lot of different friends that stream I think that's my problem is I kind of like I almost feel like pressured to overextend myself and and I oftentimes do that like because I, I I don't want people to be like damn I come to calf stream why you can't come to mine like you know and that's like Wait, oh, this is double. Okay, this is a great blade. I don't I like, and and that's kind of a bad thing to, to sort of like worry yourself about because everybody knows that like, you know, you, you know, everybody's busy and whatnot. But yeah, I definitely do try to. Um, wait, why is Choke Mog not on here? I should have been on there. <clears throat> but yeah, no, it's, it's definitely something that I always think about. And I, I try to like come out to people's streams and stuff because I would want the same and stuff, but obviously I don't expect support for support or follow for follow or anything like that. Like that's not the way this platform works. And I don't, I don't work that way, but at the same time, like I do definitely like try to take notice of other people you know oh, oh wait okay let me try that there's a lot of times where people don't even know you stream like i feel like i'm out there like i use my emotes and stuff and everything and and then people will be like i didn't even know you streamed and i'm like okay fair enough <laughs> Like, it's all good. I never came to your stream, DJ. 
Because I know people got a lot of things going on, so not everybody notices this or that, you know? And, and in due time, people will notice, I think, is the thing. So that's why I don't make a big deal about, like, if somebody has noticed me or, or not. Even if I even if I think about it and I know it, I'm just like, it doesn't matter. In the, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, they will at some point, so... Just keep doing your thing. Keep your head up. Keep your spirits up. Stay bright. Stay positive. And just do your thing. And it and uh, it'll come to you. Never pressure your viewers or yourself to watch other streamers. It's just the ones you think uh, you truly think your viewers would enjoy. That's that's good advice. Uh, wait. Why am I going up? I think I need to go this way. Did I miss something over there? Kind of like I don't think I did. Might be because I never streamed. Yeah, DJ, I was about to say like, I don't think you ever streamed, DJ, and then you're saying you never came to my stream. Like, I don't think that happened, buddy. <clears throat> like, I do talk up my friends. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know necessarily what somebody likes or doesn't like outside of my stream for them, you know? Like, because I like a variety of different things, to be honest. Like, you'll see me in a lot of retro streamers, but I like just chatting streams and stuff like that. So, I don't mind, like, lifting up some, some of my other friends that do things a little differently than me. Like, LEJ, I think, is, is an absolute sweetheart. But she does more of like a, a just chatting along with pinball. So she doesn't even do like retro. She mostly does pinball and then just chatting. But I still will like, you know, put in a good word for her and rep her stuff and rep her stuff and try to lift her up and whatnot because I believe in her. And I think she's excellent. And, uh, you know, she's a, she's a good friend of mine and everything. So I definitely want to like lift her up and, and, you know, help her out. But I don't know. I don't know what other people think. But you know, I, I I just put that, you know, onto other people. Like, hey, I'll say, hey, you know, Ellie's great. Go check her out. You know, she's got a cool stream. She does our pinball stuff and everything. She's got these cool pinball machines in her house and this and that. But then I, I leave it up to the people to decide. You know, if they want to like check her out, give her a follow and everything. Because you know, everybody's different. Dude, I just realized that like I said a little earlier that I didn't quite think I would maybe reach that one and a half roundup tonight because I was doing something a little different on my stream and here it is I got three more follows and one of them happened to be the retro runner as well so it's like I kind of I'm, I'm kind of like eating my words right now <laughs> I'm eating my words a little bit here and uh it actually might just happen <clears throat> One day, DJ. All right. When 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 that day happens, I'll be there. Okay. A small little detail, right, Doctor Butterfingers? A small little detail that he did. He had he left out the first time. Got the plus Barrett. Don't get clingy, bot. You're back. No work duty called. No worries, Merrick. No worries, man. I work, <laughs> I work during the day and I like, I hang out with like some different streamers and stuff. And I'm kind of like, I got to play a role in the background and stuff because my work comes first uh, as, as it should for anybody. Like this is more of a side gig hobby that I do. So my, what pays the bread and butter, I, I try to make sure that I'm like staying on top of and everything while still like trying to enjoy myself because I love the social aspect of, of Twitch. Um, so I definitely, you know, completely understand when we're calls, dude, you, you got to answer that. You know, what pays the bills for my wife and my four children is not Twitch. Unfortunately, I'm not a full-time streamer. I do this part-time. I do enjoy myself though. <clears throat> oh, it says uh, it says in my about section. I work in wealth management. Do 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 do. Ellie is a good egg and streamer, and I love her to death. Wait, let me see. I 
it's number four. Wait, no, you got to go down here first. I always look at the pipes first, but you know what you need to do is you need to come down here. This is how they get you. You got to come down here and you need to drop this first. I did something right because you're here. Hell yeah, man. I'm, I, I don't know. I just, I just go with the flow and try to be myself. Have some fun. But I, I think that's, I think that's contagious. I think people like that. So, and I'm glad to have you here, man. It's freaking dope, dude. So dope. Makes me feel good to know you're here, honestly. What do you mean? What do you do for... Oh, yeah, I already answered your question. You mean 40 children? Yes, I do mean 40 children. See, DJ has to hold it down for set. Set's gone to sleep, so DJ has to be the new set. But yeah, my 40 children, not my four. I, I apologize. I left the zero off the end. I'll try not to do that next time. There's another hard fight coming up right here. All right, so you need to hit this down. If you go over here, this leads you to... The reactor. You need to go to the reactor, I thought. <clears throat> oh, my bad. You need to go over the mountain. Mount Nibel, you don't... Trying to think. You need to go down number four, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> You're not even sure what wealth management is. Um, so basically, yeah, uh, the first part. Of, oh shoot, this guy. The first part of that. So, not. I don't work in insurance, but yeah, like I work in you know investment accounts and stuff. Oh, flamethrower. Wait, he didn't have flamethrower? I'm surprised he didn't have flamethrower. Yikes, this dude does a lot of damage because flamethrower is super, super OP. Uh, but yeah, in investment, retirement accounts, stuff like that. Oh, that's gonna kill. All right, I should just... You know what I need to do? I need to steal from this guy. I forgot. Frick. This guy gives you the, the armlet. The gold armlet. Wait, nothing to steal? You have to kill him? Let me pause real quick. I had no idea you were in wealth management. That's cool. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's it's actually pretty neat. Um it's something that I, I I believe in for people. If you know, if you're able to do it for yourself and for you know your significant other or your your children and stuff like that. I think it's really great, and it's something that's been able to help me to um, be able to support my family. So that's obviously a, a plus. <laughs> You know, surviving and keeping your head above water is is uh is tough, it's tough enough, tough enough, you know. Uh, let's see. I need to raise this dude from the dead. Phoenix down. Any bits of advice? Um, buy the dip. <laughs> Get in and stay in and buy the dip. It's just, it's really, it's, it's, it's just about getting in and, and then just, you know, staying in for the long haul. Like don't get spooked by, uh, you know, or scared by, uh, you know, market fluctuations. It's, it's, um, it's just buying opportunities, especially when you're younger, as you get older, like I can understand because that's your, that's your nest egg. That's suddenly getting attacked. But what goes down always comes up and always gets better over time. So at this point in time, when you're younger, doesn't doesn't matter. Just you just ride the wave and and keep keep uh, buying, <laughs> pretty much. Read my question again. All right. 
how many bits for advice oh how many bits for advice okay shoot man i just wasted my opportunity to get bits shoot and 42069 i don't know man i don't i'm not gonna beg <laughs> i'm not gonna beg for bits although i know you're just joking <laughs> buy low sell high exactly raspy invest in gamestop yep only if you're in um wall street bets uh reddit group <clears throat> my bad dr butterfingers i should have read that question even even better <laughs> i should have read it a little closer then dude i could have got some bits out of the deal i just missed it what goes down always comes up and gets better <laughs> ooh woo ooh woo I know I lost my chance damn shucks <laughs> that'll serve me right for my my reading comprehension Yeah, that's a freebie. You just got a freebie right there, brother. To Butterfingers 23 cheer decks 100. Nah, I'm not that mean Kathy 51 heart. Yo, thanks for the 100 bits, Dr. Butterfingers. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> course you you know not necessary but thank you so much for for that man i appreciate all the financial support everything that goes into the stream you know i i look to uh invest back into the stream so i'm just <clears throat> i'm currently waiting on you know who's gonna do my emotes because i my emote artist came back and now it seems like my emote artist kind of went back under again. I don't know where, where, what she's doing. I think she's working on some commission stuff, but I'm not sure. I don't know if she wants to do emotes anymore and she doesn't really say too much. So I'm kind of like in this limbo of like, can I get emotes <laughs> or do I need to find somebody else? But I, I just, I really love her art style that I like really want her to do it. But, but then again, uh, Kona chocolate, who's doing like gonna be doing an overlay for me i'm just waiting to um i'm just waiting for him to sort of learn some new 3d stuff that he's he's i guess learning at the moment and then once he does i think he's he's gonna be doing like a starting stream for me and some different stuff so i'm, I'm like super psyched to uh see what he's gonna do <clears throat> i want him to do some different things for me but i'd asked him first to do a starting screen for me my starting screen is just kind of like generic and stuff. Mary, that's that's a cool emo, man. I like the uh, the morph ball. Obviously, big S, uh, big big Metroid fan. I think Metroid might be like my favorite series. Although I do love Zelda, especially A Link to the Past. Um, I think. I'm gonna be careful. I don't touch this guy. <clears throat> I think you gotta actually walk up to him and then push the button for him to attack you. So I think I'm okay, but uh, I don't want to accidentally start this fight early. Um, let me check the this. Okay, so I can. Oh, but you lose a lot of strength. You go from normal to double. But you lose a lot of strength. I don't think I'm willing to do that at this point. Uh, did they do the emotes with your face or the coffee bean ones? The ones with my face, uh, Dr. Butterfinger. So like, yeah, the GG, the Caffey 51 heart that you were going to use, I think, right? Yeah, that's the heart one. Yep. All the sort of like, um, all the non-coffee coffee bean ones. So, and they're, they're all kind of done by different people. So if you look at my about section, I have a credits. Or no, it's a, I think it says shout outs or something like that. I think it's shout outs. Um, and underneath that, you'll see like who did my emotes and stuff. Some of them, like the caffeine hay was made by Zolshi, who's a, a friend of mine, which if you saw my Twitter post or in my Discord, um, you'll see Zolshi every once in a while. But you, you mostly you'll see Cosmic, who's her husband. 
Um, I met up with them IRL for sushi recently and we took a picture together. So there's a picture in my discord that was very recent that I met up with them, but she did my caffeine. Hey, emote. Um, the Yaranaika was done by, um, verb object. Who's who did like the, the, the oats thing on my channel. Um, pet the caffeine was, was made by Friday who made the I, 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 but he also did the, the pet, the caffeine, the love emote with the coffee bean with the heart was, uh, angel Rose star who did emotes for like Andy and Kelpsy and like a you know, bunch of other people, but she's, uh, she's pretty, pretty cool artist, famous, the kind of famous artist for a lot of different people. The link one was done by Friday. And then some of them are like screenshots that are just me. But then Friday did some of the other ones, like the, the farmer one and stuff. Some of them I kind of did. Like I took an emo and I just put some stuff on it and whatnot. But, oh, the raid one as well. That one was also done by um, Alyssa. Her name is Alyssa. Yeah, there's some some good emotes. But I really love her style of, of emote creation with the way she draws is absolutely fantastic if you see the big product like the the full res versions of those emotes it looks freaking amazing bro like i might be able to pull it up to be honest let me see i can probably i have it saved off i can pull it up like a full res version of that emote and show you it looks so redunk Here's the raid one. There's GG. It's got to be right here. <clears throat> oh, here's the heart full res. Bro, check this out. Oh, where's the top of it? Okay. Check this out. Look at how freaking awesome that looks. Like, bro. She makes stuff like this. And this just looks so out of this world, nuts, wild, artistic, crazy. That I freaking, I like, I want her to do more in this same style. But I want to get like you know, some, some other things like, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of other ideas of things that I wanted to get. This just blows my mind, this level of artistic ability. It just sucks that like having it as an emote crunches it down, shrinks it, you know, but this is what she does. Like this is above and beyond the, the, the look at the eyes, bro. Like look at the little, freaking cross twinkles in the eyes and the, the flaring and it, dude it just looks nuts. <laughs> DJs. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's not bad. That's, a, that's not bad. It's okay, man. I mean, yeah, it's all right. I mean, I'm just, you know, not, it's okay. <laughs> <clears throat> you're so, super proud of my morph ball. The morph ball is actually cool, dude. <laughs> like some, everybody has different emotes. And I think that's what makes Twitch great is like, I always wanted to like have these like really professional, great look. I'm like, dude, I'm going to have like these really great emotes and people are going to like my channel and they're going to love my emotes and all this stuff. And then some people just really go for the like funny meme, like homemade type stuff. And, and <laughs> a lot of the time that's more of the hit than like, all this professional style, like looking emotes and stuff. I just, I really go gaga over this, this type of artistry, you know? But then again, I love people's emotes that are just like some of the meme type stuff. I really enjoy some of that stuff as well. There's some really, really great emotes out there that people have on their channels. And, and I have some of that, like, like I have some of this, like this, this lewd emo is just a picture of me like, like, I love that kind of stuff too. But I sort of like 
I, I like to have sort of a little mixture of both. Like I like Cheebs, I think it is sort of a good example. She's got some some good emotes that are like drawn, and then she'll have like a couple of emotes that are like her face and stuff. But everybody's different. Everybody's got like their own tastes of what they think is like, you know, good emotes and their what they want for their vibe of their channel. Mixer's just got a whole bunch of like random different Ness stuff that like, you know, it's like Arthur and Zelda 2 and freaking Punch Out and just like Mario. It's like So everybody like got their own flavor. Yeah, I love Sushi Merig. And I hadn't gone for a long time and they were going to be in my area. And I was like, hey, we should meet up for sushi. And they were like, that sounds like a really good idea. And I was like, okay, let's do it. I agree, though, Butterfingers. I think they're they're my favorites as well. And I think they're gorgeous also. And that's why I'm kind of like waiting to work with her. And I really hope she'll do more for me. But yeah, it's just it's really it's been up in the air for a long time. She was away. Like I couldn't contact her. I've I've sent her I've sent her some uh some messages. She doesn't respond and it's like and then all of a sudden she'll pop back up and then she'll be like, "Hey, I might be able to do some stuff." And then it's like I don't hear from her again. And it's like and I just sort of wait. I wait and I wait. I'm kind of like on the hook. <laughs> Twitch emote size really doesn't do them justice and even then they look great. Yeah, I agree. Even at a small fraction, they still look good. But when you see them full res, it's like, whoa, you see all the detail. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's average. Yeah, it's average. <laughs> you should see some of the commissions she does too. They're just like that. They're like, but she does like these big commission things. And I think that's might be what she's working on at the moment. I'm not sure, but. <clears throat> I know a few channels who really went crazy with their emotes. So much so to create a new account, get it partnered, and get even more emotes in it. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, it was Nico Hart that really got me. He used her as an artist. And then I saw his emotes and I was like, whoa. I was like, I want those. Like, legit. Those are what I want. And then I sought her out and... Um, and that's when I started to, to use her as it as an artist, but too bad after after that, like she um I don't know, had had some issues or whatever and was was not responsive and stuff. We have the Pokemon game, by the way, so you can catch Pokemons and battle with them, etc. Yeah. Yeah, Mary, we have the, the Pokemon game here. So, like, we have different Pokemon that if you look down there, like, you'll see Pokemon pop up down where um, Cloud's feet are at the moment. And you can battle them and do all this different stuff. Um, DJ really likes it. A lot of other people really like it as well. Hopefully you guys get a chance to produce more emotes. I, I really hope so. I've been I've been holding off and waiting because I really want to like work with her again. And if I get the chance, I might just ask her to do like a whole bunch of them because I know I'm not gonna get to work with her again for like who knows when. So it's like if I if I get the opportunity, I might just have her do like a whole bunch of stuff. But I think they're like I think they're like 25 bucks a pop or something, so you know, I don't know. <laughs> kind of expensive. I mean, all emotes are kind of expensive. I mean, you know, you're going to pay if you want to get something decent, you're going to pay at least 20 bucks or something like that. Some people do them for, for cheaper and that's cool. Like I, I don't, um, I'm not trying to sell anybody short or anybody's artistry short. Everybody's got their price and everything and that's cool. Yeah, I think it's, I think she probably could charge more for them, but, you know, if that's, if that's what she wants, that's, you know, that's the asking price. That's cool with me. It's less than you would charge. DJ's actually a, a good artist as well. Like, 
He knows what he's doing. He's got some good, he's got some skills, uh, some artistry skills on, under his belt. Let me use a tent. And then I think I'm all set with like materia and everything. I mean, I could probably put this all materia on there for the heck of it. Gravity. I don't think I really use, I could use poison on this guy. He is susceptible to poison. I should probably put that. Um, do I have any other slots for material? I do have one. I don't know if it's worth putting a fire materia. Just put like an all. I don't know. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> I can't illustrate something like that for 25 bucks. Yeah, I I don't know how she does it, but yeah, her, her artwork is amazing. Her commissions are amazing. Everything she does is just like a, a next level of detail and how amazing it looks. It's wild. Wow, 745. Cool, dude. That was real quick damage. Um, can I steal from this guy? Let me do blade beam. What I want to do, he needs to do trine. I need to get this guy to do trine. Trine is a, a very good elemental magic. It does a lot of damage though, so you need to survive. But I think if you do chocomog. Damn, he's hitting, hitting like a Mack truck. Wait, what did I just do? I didn't do this. What the hell? That was by accident that that happened. Set, yeah, Set's like, I'm going to bed, dude. <laughs> Set's sitting in bed right now on his phone. Love you, Set. <clears throat> All right, he's back up and going again. Okay. All right. This. this is, you got to get him down. Is the thing. You got to get him down. I told you. I'm laying in bed on my mobile. Told you. On my mobile. My mobile. I'm laying in bed on my mobile. If I had the correct equipment hooked up to my PC, I would probably do emotes, etc. But I'm really out of practice at the moment with this. Stupidly drawn out move process. Oh, true. That's right. You're like going, you're kind of like, yeah. Um, it's, it's a long time coming, but yeah, you're doing this whole move thing. I'm so conditioned to react to this music is crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's moving. He's like doing this whole move out thing. I told you I nailed it, Dr. Butterfingers. This man, I'm laying in bed on my mobile. You should have moved months ago, but silly land registry details are taking age to sort. Yeah, and he's in the UK too, so it's like, I don't know what kind of other mess they deal with. I would like to think here in America we would have just had it sorted, but I don't know. I don't know. All my stuff either packed or messy and not usable. It sucks, dude. Your whole life's kind of like in an up shovel. Getting up, up shoveled and everything. I wanted to come back and support the homie. Dude, you are such a heckin' cutie. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, set, set. <clears throat> the whole process is just messy. That's what I'm... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like unnecessary messy. Like... For no, for no good reasons messy. <laughs> I still gotta... I still gotta prove my money is mine. What the hell is that? But the heat. Oh, oh, only two regular hits. I'm pissed. But the heat. 
Imagine the heat, Aniv. Yes, clearly DJ is money laundering. He's in up to his neck in all this mess. <clears throat> I wonder if this works. I think this works for him. I think this actually does damage. Like a decent amount of damage, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna tell LCG she can summon DJ if she goes to the nearest basketball court and lands three buckets in a row while chanting black DJ Hicks. <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually legit too. <laughs> Damn, DJ goes, I'm sure she'll never do it. Busted. Absolutely busted. Oh, he's hitting me hard right now. Oh, he took me out. Frick. You jack off. Oh, he cured himself. That means he's low. That could be really bad. Um, he might be in try. I think he might be in trying territory somewhere. Yeah, there it is. That will, will probably kill Cloud. It didn't. Nice. Um. All right. Heal up. Nice. 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 Okay. Dope. got flash bash so moving by moving from florida to tennessee i hope things get resolved quickly and as painless as possible yeah i agree man i hope it uh it doesn't have to drag on much longer because that's just trash dude like imagine boxing all of your stuff and being told to wait and just like oh we got to put this on hold sorry guys we need to wait we can't move forward it's like dude really we started putting our house on the market 11 months ago yeah it's taken way too long Imagine only having 10 Phoenix Downs, getting your cheeks clapped this hard. The trickiest thing about summoning me is actually finding a basketball court. Is that is it really hard to find a basketball court in, in the UK? Nice. We hit those. We hit those. Oh, nice. Let's go. Take that set. Take that set. Who's getting their butt checks? Butt checks. Butt checks. Butt cheeks clapped. Okay. Words are hard. Frick. Why can I never just insult somebody and do it the right way? And I got trying. She doesn't have one, but I got trying on the other two. <clears throat> Most of the courts in the UK are indoor at big sports centers and they charge a lot. Very rare do you find an outdoor court, which is free to use. Damn, that kind of sucks. Outdoor courts around here are like... Let me think. I mean... So there's not... I'll, I'll say there's not like a ton of them around here, but... The ones that are around, like, usually people know where to find them, I think, is the thing. So if we really wanted to get the one, but you'd either have to take a car or I know where there's one where I could, like, ride my bike and be there in, like, I don't know, five minutes-ish or something. But, but yeah, there's, there's not, like, a ton of them around. Me save. Uh, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come up to you and clap your cheeks. I know where you live, dude. All right. Say, uh, I don't know. Have a, I don't have a good comeback, but come do it then. Come do it then. You won't do it. I'll talk. All 
All right, let me do that. <laughs> You're going to sleep now? All right, dude. Hopefully, you can get to sleep. If not, come back and, and support the homie. Love you, Set Set. The stupidest thing in the, is in the house we are moving to is empty and has been for ages. And exactly. That's the thing. It's like, bro, just let me go. Just let me go in there. House is literally sitting there empty. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? Give me the house already. Like, bro, if I was going to launder a house, I'd, I'd buy a much better one, right? Like, I'm not buying a freaking McMansion, okay? <laughs> like, I'm buying a flat over here. I actually don't know what qualifies as a flat. I just decided to use a cool UK term that I know what what it means, like somewhat. Um, I, I don't have like, um, Merrick, I don't have, like I do have a schedule, but I don't have, that's kind of a good idea. Maybe I could make a, a command for schedule, but literally on my, if you go on my about section, if you go to my schedule, it should tell you like when my next streams are because I do have it put in there. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Usually Monday and Wednesdays, I start somewhere around like 530 to six o'clock. And then Fridays, I start around 7 p.m. I start a little later on Fridays, but I'm usually pretty consistent with my schedule of being Monday, Wednesday, Friday, unless for some reason I have to take the day off, which then I'll usually tell people in my Discord and on my Twitter profile that like I won't be streaming that night. But otherwise, yeah, I don't have um, a command set up. But DJ, do you want to set up a command for exclamation mark schedule and just put that like, you know, I don't know, calf streams or I stream, you know, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, Mondays and Wednesdays at, you know, approximately it's it's approximately like 5 30 eastern like i'm in eastern time zone um eastern for monday wednesdays it's like 5 30 i'm always late though is the thing is like but uh 5 30 eastern and then fridays are like seven eastern I always forget to change my schedule, so I set up a command. See, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very consistent with my schedule. I'm always, like, the same days. Oops, I just messed that up. Yeah, 5.30-ish. You're EST as well. Best time schedule, just saying. Um... Okay, I should be able to just hook around here and then I'm going to be in Rocket Town. Yeah, it should be like just right up here. The only time zone that matters, exactly. Yeah, sure, a flat, yep. See, I knew it, DJ, I knew it. A flat is like an apartment, you're not, you're not buying a flat, but I just felt like cool using a, a, a UK term. Yeah, just, just kind of like that, pretty much. Thank you, DJ. Yeah, something like that. If, I, if I'm ever in PA. All right, man, I'll keep that in mind. Sushi's dope, man. Love the sushi. I just don't go out for it a ton. But every once in a while, and I said this to Cosmic and Zolshi when we were actually out for sushi, I said... I don't go out for sushi a ton, but every once in a while, I will stop and think and go, you know what? I haven't had sushi in, a, in quite a while, and I need to get some. You never lived in a flat? Seems a bit weird. Are they, like, really small, or, or what What? Uh, what kind of characterizes a flat? Uh, wait. Okay, this. Do this. Do this. <clears throat> All right. Dope. Dope. Got it. 
I've been kicked out of an all you can eat sushi bar before? No way. D dude, no freaking way. <laughs> like, ex like, excuse me, sir. We understand this is an all you eat buffet, but uh, you've had your fill, thanks. <laughs> Like Homer Simpson style. But you said it was all you can eat. Sir, you've had all you can eat. No, but I want more. In the UK, houses are probably house half the size of, of on average than in the USA. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Are flats even worse than that? No outside space seems bad. So basically a flat is just like an apartment, right? You you don't have like any outside space to that. What did you do? Yeah, I was thinking of Homer as well. One set of sushi bar and twice at a Chinese bar. No way, Miri, my man. He's got uh, quite the appetite, huh? <clears throat> it's an apartment. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, most apartments really wouldn't have, like, you know, outside space and everything. Which, yeah, for me is also kind of, like, not the best. Uh, Alright, usually you can steal or win gold armlets from those dragons, but I didn't really do that this time. So, I'm just going to buy... I got one of them, and I'll buy the, the other two, and I'll just equip these. Where is it? Gold armlet. Here we go. Put that on. Boom. Wait. This? Alright. I need to do this the correct way. Oh. Nope. 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 Don't do that. Nope. Stop. Okay. Stupid controller. I like this controller too. And now the button's sticking. It's like, damn. <clears throat> Sushi bar I definitely ate at for profit. The Chinese... Restaurant was because I took the full steam tray of crab legs out of the table. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's freaking so hilarious. My my dude just walked up and was like, you know what? I'm just going to have the whole damn freaking, the whole like big, huge freaking thing of, of crab legs. Just let me have the whole damn thing. Hot damn, Merrick. He's got some cojones on him. He's like, yeah, just give me the whole damn thing, please. <laughs> That's freaking amazing. I would have loved to have seen that. Just walk up and just grab it. That's freaking hella dope, bro. <laughs> oh my God. First caffeine bot and then butt spot. Uh, Studio flat doesn't even have a separate bedroom. Wait, it doesn't? It's all just one. It's just one room. Is it generally a big room? Or is it like just, it's very small. A studio, yeah, a studio here in America would just be one room too. I, I, I think I should clarify that, that like a studio as we know it is like very small. I'm six foot, 230 pounds. I can eat a ton and not show it. Damn, Mary, you put it away, huh? Yeah, six foot. I mean, I'm only average five, seven, something like that. Five, eight, like average but i'm like probably around 200 or something probably over now the sitting all day the sitting from streaming takes its toll but the lady at the chinese restaurant said you can't do that i just went with why i'm gonna eat all of it i'm saving trips <laughs> i mean seriously it's like you can only fit so much on the plate so it's like <laughs> just funny that I'm going to eat all of it. I'm just saving trips. It's it's sound reasoning. I'm as tall as Cloud. Is, is Cloud literally supposed to be 5'7", five, 5'8"? Five, I mean, that's, that's pretty average for height, so I could see that. In London, some studio flats are smaller than a double bed. What? Do you guys have the beds that literally go up like into the wall, right? 
like it comes down and then it like goes back up into the wall type of thing it's in the original manual that's freaking hella cool i'll live in a double butt hell yeah why not live in a double butt <laughs> a murphy bed is that what they call it raspy is that that's that's the technical term for that a murphy bed I never knew what like the actual term for that is or if they had a term for that they would have that for a single bed no crap i've never actually i don't think i've ever actually really like seen one of those in real life isn't there something you can get here no no not bunk beds like this will literally be like a part of the wall and it just like it just swings down like and that's your bed and to save space in like a really really tiny apartment the bed will just go and it's like into the wall you might have seen them in like old movies or something like in an old movie it would be like you pull down the bed and it's just like Then they would have a, a mini fridge and a microwave stacked above the bed. Yeah, true. I mean, let's let's be honest. Like, I think Japanese. Um, <laughs> Tetsuo. Uh, I think like Japanese have like these really small like apartments. I think. But they're like super cool like they try to do it in like really cool ways right i think i mean i've never been there but i i think they have these like really great ways of doing apartments and stuff <clears throat> murphy beds are the ones that can fold up and look like a closet yeah i think that's what i'm thinking of i think uh also at a mom and pop owned bar i was told to come back into the kitchen and cook my own steak <laughs> Was there, did you have some sort of a special like request that they were like, you come cook your own steak or something <laughs> It's because of crazy prices? Mm hmm. Yeah. They've, they've got like, uh, yeah, the, the, the crazy prices of some of these places. I mean, it's the same, like, um, you know, in, in these metropolitan areas, I think these big cities and stuff where you, yeah, prices are just nuts. So people will, uh, People will, uh, you know, pay astronomical prices for, for very small living space, unfortunately. It doesn't retract in the wall, but it goes vertical up against the wall. Yeah, something like that. Something like that is what I meant. I didn't know exactly how it works, but yeah, something similar. Are you able to move somewhere else for crap like that is why I left Florida? What's going on here? We're chilling, Tetsuo. We're chilling, buddy. We're just having a good time, buddy. We're having a good conversation, actually. We're just uh, carrying on, doing our thing, you know? We always have fun and good conversations here, so that's what we're on about. Nearly got a place at the Royal College of Art after uni, which is in the most expensive part in London. Uh, I looked to rent a semi-detached small house, like two bed with a kitchen and lounge. It was 25,000 euros a month and prices are a lot higher now yeesh oof <clears throat> and in dollars that's even more right that's even more yeah i'm gonna assume you meant 2500 instead of 25,000. yeah probably 2500 Oh, pounds. My bad. Pounds, not euros. Pounds. You're right. 25,000 pounds? What? That's a lot. Calf learned it today. I did. I did raspy. You helped me to learn it. What is this again? What? Why did he do that? Oh, 
<laughs> Gosh. Bro. <laughs> Poor kid. <clears throat> My... Oh, play, play dumb games, I guess. Poor kid. <laughs> I'm a Pittsburgh Rare fan. A Pittsburgh Rare fan. If the cow was standing five minutes ago, all I have to do is pass it over a candle. So when I refused the steak for being overcooked, the owner came out and asked, who's the vampire? Come back and cook it yourself. Really, man? You like it that rare, huh? You, wow. Like... My, honestly, like my wife won't, won't eat anything under well done, but I like, I like, like, I usually will say like, however the chef likes it. Like if the chef likes to cook it a certain way, I'll say, cook it to what you envision like this to be cooked at basically. And I'll go with that type of thing. So especially if it's a really nice restaurant, like if I know the chef knows what he's doing type of thing and is like an expert in his field, I'll, <clears throat> when they ask like what, how I want it, I'll be like, you know, I'll leave that up to the chef to, you know, to determine how is best type of thing. Um, but yeah, I, if it was too rare for me, like that's really rare. <laughs> not euros, pounds, which is twice as much euros. No, 25,000. That's not a typo. A month, a month. The F? Is that a commercial building or something? No, it's a small house. What the hell, man? Moving to the U.S. is cheaper than a month worth of rent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Dr. Butterfingers. That's really expensive. How do you think I want it, big boy? Ooh, woo, daddy. Ooh, woo. Um, so, yeah, apparently my son's cousin squeezed a pod for laundry and got it in his eye, and he's crying now. He was squishing it, trying to break it. Apparently, yeah, played dumb games. I don't know what to say. That's really bad, but yikes. You, if you're, yeah, I, I, he succeeded, you know? He, I, I don't know what else to say. Otherwise, he succeeded. He wanted to squish it and break it, and he did. <clears throat> as horrible as it is, but it's like, congrats, you did it. To me, it feels more tender and has a better taste. I do not recommend it to anyone that hasn't eaten a rare steak before because it definitely can hurt your stomach. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's another thing, too, is like, I don't know, maybe parasites and stuff. But, I mean, you do you. If that's what you like, um, that's, that's fine, man. That's... What the hell? When... That looks like... I mean, it looks fancy it looks nice but geez how what wait that's pounds pounds to dollars i'm telling you it's even worse in dollars it's forty four thousand dollars a month dude like how Ow. It's a two bed, two bath apartment for $44,000 a month. Excuse me. Bueller. Uh, my grandmother used to make cannibal sandwiches, fresh ground beef, that they ground that day, rolled into a small ball with a sliver of raw onion in the center and sprinkled seasons. What? That sounds wild, dude. Like, wow. Like, just from a, like, I, 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 more from like a clean, like cleanliness and like, uh, like microbes and stuff in it type of thing. I mean, like, I'm not knocking or putting down like anything i'm just like you you normally you kind of cook the meat to sort of like make sure it's yeah it's like kind of proper for you to eat and stuff type of thing so to, i i didn't know people like kind of did that that's kind of wild 
I'm still a medium on stakes. I mean, medium for me is fine. Like, I don't mind sort of on the rarer side. But yeah, it's... I just... I'll kind of eat it any, any way, but I don't go like super, super, super rare. <clears throat> I think my dad kind of likes it really rare. Almost like sort of purplish in the middle. Which I, 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 I might have had steaks that were sort of like that, but I honestly can't remember. How much money do you people make a month? You'd be a billionaire in the States. Sorry, Butterfingers. That's wild. DJ, check this place out. It's, it's funny that the, the website is called Right Move, and it's like... Dude, it's, yeah, that's, it's, yeah, there's nothing there. It's, it's a one room. It's like, it's like a big closet. <laughs> that's wild. Hold on. What is this? 1170. Let me try this again. Let me do this conversion. That's 13. Oh seven. That's thirteen oh seven. That's uh one thousand three hundred dollars for this. Wow. That's that's a one room. That's that's a big closet. That has like you know, a little stove and it has a sink in it and stuff, but yeah, the bed comes down. Just like Raspy was talking about, like the bed comes down. And it's sort of like into a closet type of thing. Oh, here's the, the washer and dryer. Where does that stack though? Is that downstairs, right? I see some stairs here. That's on another level. So that's your room. But I think the laundry's in a different area of this apartment building. But yeah, that bed definitely goes up into this. Like almost like a. I don't know what you want to call it. Some sort of a drawer, big uh, thing here. <clears throat> What's up, Zion Black? Purplish is called blue. Rue. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Hope you're doing well tonight. Blows people mind when you say that. That's wild, dude. I'll never insult anyone that eats their steak anyway. You enjoy it the way you enjoy it, except well done. That's shoe leather. Yeah, that's what, how my wife my wife eats it. And my dad says the same thing. He's like, that's leather you're eating. I've eaten my steak pretty much every which way, except like super duper rare. And I enjoy it pretty much every which way. But yeah, I start to think that like... You know, well done's a bit bit too much. <clears throat> um, Latino, so in our defense, we eat we like to eat fried steak a lot, which is very thin, which cooks really quick and easy, right? Actually, glad I didn't get a place at uni there. It's different, but really good as well. Uh, fried steak is different and delicious. I'm hungry now. Ugh, butt hungry now. But hungry. Raspy says butt hungry. I love how Raspy just chimes in every once in a while when when butt spot says something funny. But hungry, yep. Where is he at? Isn't he up here now? I don't think I ever ate a steak until until you moved to the states. Really, dude? You, um, I recently had birria tacos, birria vampiros for the first time. They were so good. They were so good, bro. No lie. I was like, wow. Jen Jen, um, who's Mexican, actually told me to try them and recommended them to me. And they were so good. The white utilities might be in the bathroom or in a shared room with the other apartments. 
That's what I'm wondering, DJ. Medium New York strip is my favorite so far. I can't afford filet mignon. Filet mignon is good, but it depends. Some people like other steaks because they have the fat on them and the fat produces, you know, juices and flavor and stuff. So filet mignon is known as like one of the really great steaks because it's tender and it's just a nice piece of meat. But some people prefer other pieces of steak because they have the fat and stuff on it that you can like take off, but it adds flavor and whatnot. Cooked liver, oh, similar to fried steak. Did I say the thing? I don't think I did. Uh, I'll cook liver similar to fried steak. My wife actually likes uh, likes liver. I've I've never eaten it myself, but my wife does like it. So purple ish is called blue. So is blue is so is a rare steak actually blue and not purple? Zion Black. I'm curious. What are your thoughts? Let me know if you're still there. <clears throat> uh, what do you want? Tell me about this rocket. This roof is coming. Can we borrow the tiny Bracco? Yeah, do that one. No one needs to hear my nonsense anyway. I want to hear your nonsense. I like it when you say butt hungry. Five bedroom apartment for 216,667 pounds per month, anyone? Bro, are houses that expensive that like you can't just... I, like I'm confused. People are living in apartments that are five bedrooms and $216,000 per month. Like, I... how? See, everybody likes your nonsense. I thought filet mignon was good because it gets wrapped in bacon. You can do that. I mean, a traditional, if you go to, if you go to a restaurant, you're not going to get, if you order filet mignon, you're not going to get a steak wrapped in bacon. Only if it was some sort of specialty entree that like says it's wrapped in bacon, but you would never get like, I've never had a steak wrapped in bacon before at like a steakhouse or something. Blue steak is the best steak? What about blue waffles? Is the Wagyu steak really that good to justify the price? I have no idea. I don't think I've ever had it before. It's supposed to be because it's very marbleized with fat like in the meat and stuff. Like just how I spoke about having fat provides flavor and stuff. Wagyu steak is supposed to have like that sort of... um sort of littered all throughout the the meat so it's like i think you're always getting a very tender flavorful piece of you know bite of steak is it worth it i think that's subjective you know maybe if you've got the the money for it maybe it is but yeah it's too expensive for the average person who's gonna pay 100 bucks for a steak or whatever <clears throat> everything is so much better with bacon true agree you had that once and it was amazing? Did you really? I would easily eat that. If it's so rare, it's purplish, then that's called blue. Blue is about as rare as it gets without taking a bite off the damn cow. I think, Zion, I think that's exactly what, um, what Murig likes and enjoys, basically. <clears throat> he said, basically, don't really... So, M Murig, he said, basically, pass it over a candle is how he sort of... Um, described how he likes it cooked zion so mirig you just made me think of the part in the movie um gangs of new york have you ever seen that movie where he puts the steak on the on the like pan and then he he immediately it like cooks for like two seconds and then he immediately swaps it to the other side and then that cooks for like two seconds and then he puts it on the plate and he's just like, let's eat. <laughs> I always found that scene to be quite interesting when I watched that movie. Have a great stream, Calf. Time for bed for me. Yo, Jeffrey, have a great rest of your night, buddy. Thanks so much for being here, man. Seriously, much love, D-Broski. 
Uh, I appreciate you sharing your time with us here, man. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night and a wonderful rest. And I hope your weekend goes excellent, eh, brother? Take care, dude. I will see you again next time, okay, bud? So to buy that five-bedroom apartment, it's 60 million pounds? What? That's ridiculous. How? What about Blue Angels? <laughs> I'd eat them. DJ says I'd eat them. Don't do Blue Angels, kids. I don't even know what that means, but now you got me interested. Now I got to look it up. Wagyu is delicious, but I think it's overhyped. <clears throat> it might be. People think it's great, right? It's, of course, it's going to be uh, going to be overhyped and stuff. I totally eat a $500 steak if I could afford it. But if I got $500, that that's gun money. <laughs> that's money for guns and ammo. Well, then you could just go hunt something and then you could have lots of lots of meat to eat, right? Knock off its horn, knock its horns off, wipe its butt and warm it with a lighter. Done. Dunsky. Thank you, Jeffrey. That's London for you. I know they have places over a hundred million and that's just for residential property. That's wild, bro. Like why? Do I have to ask this dude about if Rufus is coming? Or just tell me about this rocket? Like, I don't remember what the correct... Okay, I think you have to ask him about it. How much money do you, an average person, make in London? Not that much. <laughs> yeah, that sounds absolutely wild, bro. Probably 50k a year. And that's in, in pounds. That's... How? How can you justify that? Even the apartment that was just a, a hole in the wall is like too expensive at 50k pounds a year. Blue Angels lightning ones lighting one's own gas on fire. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right. I get it now. All gas, no brakes. You can't kill things that don't deserve it. My wife and I have a pact. If stuff hits the fan, she'll kill it. I'll clean it. Okay. Good enough pact. I respect that. I'm not, I'm not any type of hunter myself. So I just, uh, I was just kind of going with the flow of like what we were talking about. And I thought, Hey, you know, if you buy, if you buy a gun, you, you might actually, it's like, it's like teach a man to fish type of thing. It's like if you got money and you bought a gun, well then instead of buying a steak, you could actually go hunt maybe with the gun. You know what I mean? It's sort of like teach a man the fish type of thing. That old saying, give a man a fish, he eats for a day, teach him the fish and he, you know, you can feed him a lifetime type of thing. Um, so I figured like, Hey, yeah, if you, you could buy a steak and eat once, or you could buy a gun and you could potentially eat multiple times if you, uh, you went hunting and stuff. <clears throat> UK average is probably 20k. Jeez. Yeah, how the hell can you, dude, the houses are more than you or the, the apartments are more than you make a a month. In a whole year. Per month is more than you make in a whole year. I'm quite the avid hunter myself. I enjoy wild game. I mean I've I've had it. It's it's an interesting kind of acquired taste, I think. But um I know like deer around in, in the New England area. I think there's like a, a plethora of deer and stuff that, that people will hunt um, because there's sort of like an overpopulation and they often run out in front of cars and, and stuff and create accidents and things. But yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't hunt myself, but I have, I think I have tried like, what is it? Uh, what do they call that? your meat i forget it's not mutton right what do they call that but I've, I've tried it like once at least 
Now I feel like I'm corrupt in calf. Well, venison. Yes, venison. So I'm, I'm dumb. <clears throat> See, I can't, I can't even remember the name of the meat. Venison. <laughs> that's how, that's how freaking good I am. <laughs> Yeah, you're corrupting me, Raspy. Mutton is goat. You know what's good is 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 um What is it? Uh What is it? Goat goat's milk cheese or whatever the hell? My brain is like so bad at thinking when I'm streaming. I don't know why that is, but my brain just shuts off. Goat cheese. Goat cheese? Goat cheese. All right. Thanks, Raspy, for redeeming calf think. I think it's goat cheese, right? <clears throat> That's good stuff on a on a good salad. I like salad with uh like a balsamic vinegar and maybe some walnuts. Maybe some blueberries or something. Goat cheese. Good stuff. But yeah, I think I've had venison like at least once. It's not something I've eaten a lot of because I usually don't have like access to it and stuff. But yeah, it's sort of it's a little chewier and gamier, I guess is the term they use. And uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't even know what to say. Uh, the only place I know charges that much is New York and it's for commercial building, not a house. I mean, yeah, New York is expensive, but yeah, not that expensive. It just, that seems wild and really off the charts. Yeah, I agree, Butterfingers. I, I don't know what to say either. That's just wildly crazy, crazy off the charts pricing. That's that, that type of apartment. I quite, I can't understand how somebody could possibly live in those conditions. It's absolutely horrible, man. I don't think I've ever found something I don't like except olives. <laughs> I'm not like a huge olive person, honestly. They're okay. I don't eat them very often. The only place I, I really kind of like olives is on a pizza. On a pizza, I think olives are pretty good. Like a veggie pizza or something. But otherwise, not, not really my thing. My brother really likes olives, but then he, like, he likes that sort of Mediterranean, like, you know, like Mediterranean plate of like olives and different things. Like, not really my thing. Sometimes I get bison burgers and they always had a very, very gamey taste and smell. Bison, I, I wanted to try bison. I want to try alligator. Never tried that. Like I'll try something, but yeah, eating it all the time type of thing. Probably not. But then again, there are certain areas that would probably that eat that stuff a lot more. You know, if you were in Louisiana, it's more like might be more of a way of life than, you know, where I'm at. Massachusetts is very expensive too. It can be. If you're in the city, for sure. Um, in like Boston and stuff. Yep. You get your pizza with everything, no fish, no olives, extra pineapple. My man, I love pineapple. I'm a pineapple on pizza person all day. I really enjoy Hawaiian pizza. And not a lot of people will get it. So when I go to like a party or something that gets a Hawaiian pizza, I'm like, Yes, I love it. Or sometimes I'll get one on occasion. If I'm able to, I might get a pineapple or a Hawaiian pizza and I'm just like, yes, I love it. Gamey flavor seems to be linked to age. Older deer seem to taste more gamey. Oh, really? So a younger would have a less gamey taste than an older one. Interesting. Never knew that or heard that before. Hmm. I really love uh, pepperoni, onions, and, and like peppers, green peppers on pizza. I think that's a great combination. <laughs> Aniv, is that a, that's a Stachio emote. No, it's a Ruya emote. I thought it was Stachio's cat. 
I knew I liked this group, Team Pineapple. <laughs> I mean, everybody can have their preference, you know? Butterfingers also likes pineapple on pizza. Everybody has their preference. I'm not going to knock anybody's personal preference because it's subjective, you know? Everybody's taste buds are different. Personally, I like pineapple on pizza, you know? And I'm not going to... I know people love to rouse the whole game of like, dude, pineapple on pizza, if you like it, and you're bad. Or if you don't like it, you're bad. And it's like, who cares? People can like what they like, not like what they like, what they don't like, and blah, blah, blah. You know, who am I to freaking tell somebody else what the hell they eat? <laughs> I got better things to worry about than what the hell <laughs> Joe Schmo's eating or freaking Jane Fonda's eating. You know, I don't give a crap. You finally caught something? Let's go, Butterfingers. GG, dude. Got yourself a Metapod. Let's go. Favorite pizza is pepperoni, pineapple, onions, and green peppers. Oh, dude, that's actually... It's pretty much exactly what I just said, except for throw pineapple on there. <clears throat> See, I've never thrown pineapple just like... As a topping. Like, I'll have pineapple on a Hawaiian pizza, but I've never, like, said... Okay, I'm going to have like a combination pizza or something, but then throw pineapple on there, you know? N not that it wouldn't be good. It's just I've never done it. You know, I've never like I'm, I'm the type of person who always sort of gets the same thing and sort of sticks with like what I know I like type of thing. And I don't venture out too much. It's weird, but it's like if I'm paying money, I want to make sure I'm getting something that I know I love because I don't want to like have buyer's remorse. So it's like, you know, I oftentimes don't venture out and get something different. It's like, I'll get the same old, same old that's like trustworthy and I know I love it and I'm going to enjoy it. But I bet if I was to get that combination, which is the same combination that I like with pineapple on it, I would probably like it. I'm just too scaredy to actually do it. Uh, well, I'm bad. What about it? Yeah, you like it bad. You like it naughty. Um, all right. I don't know why the hell I just said that. <laughs> I don't know what I say sometimes or why I do things. I just don't quite understand myself anymore. This is my life. Yes. Thank you. Raspy, thank you so much for your contribution to the Soul Blazer first playthrough challenge. I appreciate that a lot. Do 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 Then I'm bad. The Chinese restaurant waitress thought so. <laughs> you tech too many crab legs. Eating all the damn crab legs. I've loved my whole I've lived my whole life. Wait, I've loved my whole life Hawaiian pizza. And in the last 10 years, people started this controversy about it. Yeah, it just became like a thing, like the meme on. <clears throat> Suddenly people started rising up and saying if you like it, you're bad. I don't believe it. I don't eat pizza without pineapple. I don't care what kind of pizza it is, barbecue chicken pizza, let's put some pineapple on it. That's an interesting way to go about it. I don't think that's a bad way to go about it. I actually think that would be kind of cool to have a barbecue chicken pizza with pineapple on it. But it would take somebody else having to order it for me to try it and then go, damn, this is good stuff. But I would definitely try it. I would definitely try it. That's the only problem. Oh, wait, I need to go out front. That's where they talk. And then Shara pulls me back in and she's like, I think Palmer's stealing the, uh, stealing the plane. They're wrong. Yeah, you don't need that type of negativity in your life, Dr. Butterfingers. <laughs> Raspy's like... <laughs> Having said that, Neapolitan margarita pizza is my absolute favorite. Dope, man. I like you. <laughs> Salute, sir. I like you, too. Yeah, I'd definitely try it. No joke. I'd try it. Sounds like an interesting combo. Like barbecue chicken pizza with like some legit barbecue sauce on there. Throw some pineapple on it. Interesting flavors. 
I'm all, I'm all for it. I'd give it a go. Like I said, it probably takes somebody else having to order it for me to actually try it and see if I like it. You want to take the sky away from me too? You seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. Ready to get to bed? I'm anticipating a long day tomorrow. Thanks for the stream, Calf and Chat. Appreciate y'all. Good night. Yo, Raspy, take care, sweetie, all right? Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Uh, I appreciate you being here and sharing some time with us tonight. Always lovely to have you here. Have a great rest of your night. Wonderful sleep and have a great weekend as well. Hope it's not too long of a day for you tomorrow and you're able to uh, chill out, relax, have some time to yourself and, you know, just enjoy the weekend. So, um, hope it's not too busy. I think Palmer's going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? I'm head of the space program. You're also heading out, dude? I know worries, DJ. Thank you as well, buddy. I hope you also have a great weekend, a great rest. And uh, yeah, enjoy yourself, bud. Thanks so much for being here, sharing some time with us. And uh, thank you for all your modding duties and setting up those uh, commands as well, bud. Appreciate you, dude. Cheers to you too, bud. Uh, I understand Italians invented pizza, but things can improve. Hell yeah, they can. You know, doesn't have to be the same old way, but... I definitely love the traditional, you know, cheese or pepperoni pizza. I, I, I just love pizza, man. Can we just say like just pizza in general? Like I love pizza. Don't matter pretty much which way you do it. I just love pizza. <laughs> just give me pizza. Just shovel it into my pie hole. I'm cool with that. Yo, go 10. What's going on, buddy? Welcome on in, dude. Hope you're doing well tonight, man. Great to have you here. Always a pleasure, dude. How goes it? How goes it, friend? Should be a universal feeling. Exactly. You love FF7? Same, dude. Big same, brother. Uh, such a good game. And I haven't played it in a while, and I wanted to do something a little different. Um, <clears throat> I've been playing so many NES games recently that I was like... I kind of want to have a, a change. I want to change from like the same old, same old that I've been doing, like all these NES games. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to play some Final Fantasy VII tonight. I think I'm going to do it. And uh, I I'm kind of glad I did because I'm enjoying it, man. I'm just hanging out. We had some great people come through tonight. I, I was a little apprehensive because... I've been doing the whole like retro NES thing for like many, many streams lately and going to like moving from the NES stuff that I was primarily doing to like playing a, you know, an RPG from PlayStation was sort of like a little bit of a leap. And I was like, damn, it sort of makes you a little apprehensive and it's sort of like, you know, I hope people will come out and like hang out and share some time when I'm like doing something a little different. But actually, people came through and hung out and was like chilling. And I'm like super happy and I'm glad I did it now. Especially your man, Sid. Sid's, Sid's no joke, man. He's a character. Breeze, thank you so much for your contribution to the Soul Blazer first playthrough challenge. I heckin' appreciate it so much. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming through. I was lurking a bit in your Tyson stream. Yo, thanks a lot, Goten. I appreciate that, man. What did you think, man? Um, I, I finally did it though. The last stream I had, I don't know if which one you were here for, because I did like three of them, I think for that, that game, I finally finished it on the third one, but I beat dream on Wednesday, which was the third stream I had. I beat him like crazily. I couldn't believe it. And then I moved on to Kid Icarus and then we played through the whole of Kid Icarus that night. And I went to bed at like 3am and I was so tired the next day, but, um, yeah, I appreciate you lurking though, man. Appreciate the the love and support there. <clears throat> I've been told that Sid should be my father. We act similar. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. <coughs> Chill. How is Artem? Fine. He's okay? Yeah. Poor kid. <laughs> 
uh retro is retro it's it's true it's true i i do consider this game to be retro but yeah it's just it's tough to do something a little different because you you think people might you know uh have a different pers perspective or you know perception and and maybe uh might might go somewhere else or do something else or something so it's, it's just it's, it's streamer thoughts in your head you know you always want to do something that people will enjoy and have fun with and come hang out with you and some people won't change up their their uh what they play too much you know as a result of that some people will really stick to like the same old same old or or they speed run a game over and over again because they enjoy it and they want to get a better time and everything i that's true um but also because it, it gets very consistent you know it gets very consistent uh with with viewership and people really like to watch some people really like to watch the same thing over and over again and they won't watch something else i might be able to just knock this dude out with like death blows and stuff <clears throat> thank you go 10 though yeah it was a it was a crazy fight with mr dream but i i actually finished it up and was able to uh to do it and when i heard grunt say that he actually didn't finish that fight and and kind of moved on from punch out i was very surprised i thought he finished it for sure i'll be honest with you i'm having more fun hanging out with you in the chat than the game itself i never played ff sim so i'm indifferent towards it gotcha no that's really cool man and that's the way i would sort of love to have it is like you're more here for e like a combination of myself and the other people and the game because the game is always sort of a switch up type thing being a variety streamer i never kind of do like the same old thing all the time i'm always changing because i like i'll play one game and when i beat it i move on to another game and so there's not really much consistency with sort of like what i'm playing and so to know that like people are here more for me and the, and the other individuals than like the particular game is like awesome because you're never gonna see like the same old game <clears throat> but most people do enjoy final fantasy 7 so i would i would sort of expect that people would want to see this but um but somebody did mention that like i forget oh it was in tetsuo's chat earlier today that uh, she will vow said like that people play the same old rep rpg sort of over and over again like Final Fantasy VI, seven, you know, and some of the other Final Fantasies and like Chrono Trigger and, and stuff like that. And it's like, well, those are beloved games. So of course people are going to want to play them and stuff. But yeah, I, I've always done a game as sort of background fodder as opposed to like the social aspect. Like I love getting to chat with everybody and hang out in the game to me personally was always like something to do while i'm like hanging out and chatting and socializing with everybody whereas some people the game is the front runner and the chat is more there to watch them perform in the game type of thing which is fine uh different channels run different ways and stuff you know Hey, Merig. Oats. Oats. Fuck you, Oats. Fuck you, Oats. Fuck you, Oats. I love FF7. But I've enjoyed my time chatting and listening. FF7 is the bonus. FF7 was the reason I found your channel. That's dope, Merg. That's actually really dope, man, honestly. Because <clears throat> that's what it's all about, honestly. For me, personally. Um, everybody's different. Maybe some people are here for the gameplay. And a lot of people will do that. They come for certain games and then they won't come for other games. And that's understandable. There are those people that, that watch for the game more. And then they get into the social aspect. But it's like... Once you move on to another game, then, you know, they, they'll, they'll probably come back at a time where you're playing something that they really like again. And that happens. It's, it's all a revolving door type of thing, but 
to, to find those individuals that really love to be with you and hang out with you and your community and the other people, no matter what you're playing is like, you know, it is really freaking amazing and really awesome to find those types of individuals, man. Seriously, that is, that really va helps to validate an individual, a streamer, because this is so much of a head game. It's seriously so much of a head game to, uh, to do this stuff on a daily basis and the, the constant sort of ride of viewership and everything and numbers and metrics and stats and, and all this stuff and whether or not your chat is moving or your chat isn't moving. And it's like, are people going to like what I'm doing? There's, there's so much worry and anxiety around like streaming and stuff and wanting to be successful and wanting to have fun and be enjoyable and put your best, your, your best self forward and everything. When I tune into, for example, Oats, I expect Metroid, but when I tune to your stream, it's to hang out. Oh, that's cool, man. I can appreciate that. You detest Chrono. You really, you don't like Chrono Trigger? You, you're like one of the few individuals that I've, I've ever, um, had say that they don't like Chrono Trigger. I, myself, I, I love it. I adore it. I think it's a really great game, but, um... I'm curious what your feelings are towards it. If you if you don't like it, what's in particular? If there's something that you don't like um, about it, or something that causes you to not like it, I absolutely absolutely it. I've stopped watching it. At least it was getting in my head, and then I wasn't acting like myself. Merig, that is absolutely from a streamer perspective. Like, turn off all your metrics. Like it. it the best one of the best pieces of advice that I could give any streamer is turn off all your metrics now turn them off and stop worrying about it and don't think about it and do your best if you ever see any numbers like do your best to not let it get in the way of your mentals and you will live a, a much better life for it you will sleep much better at night for it um you, you're just gonna be a whole lot better in general because of it seriously i used to have all of my stuff on right there i could see it i could see the numbers go bloop 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 you know you would get a raid and it would go bloop and then it would go bloop, 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 as people would like uh scurry out you know and that beats you up you really start to get in your own head and it, you it's like you try to like you're like what could i do to like make people stay and hang out and it's like and not leave it's just you really start to freaking kill yourself oh it's all good dude like i understand um i i i'm the same way i don't talk about myself in other people's streams and stuff because of the you know the unwritten laws of you know, streaming and being a streamer and talking about yourself and other people's channels and everything. Talk about an emotional roller coaster. It is. Seriously, it is. But I think the, the people that be do it best uh, are the ones that, uh, that just don't pay attention to anything about that stuff. Just try to try to be you. Just try to have fun. Enjoy your time with the people here. Um, and the people that aren't here, screw them. Like... It's not, not your deal. Nothing for you to worry about. Just enjoy those people that are here. The, anybody who's here hanging out and, you know, sharing their time with me here, I sincerely appreciate each and every individual. Whether or not you're active in chat or you're just lurking, I hope you're enjoying yourself and having fun and enjoying your time here. Because you could be anywhere else. You could literally be at any other channel doing anything else but you're here so thank you for being a part of this this occasion this stream this uh you know what we're doing here so that's that's all it boils down to uh nothing about chrono got me i didn't like the story the characters the music none of it really wow so interesting do you do you like any of the other ones like like do you like ff6 or ff4 like ff5 like um, is there any other ones that really didn't grasp you in any sort of way? I'm curious. I, I think the music in, in Chrono Trigger is like one of the best on the SNES. That soundtrack. 
absolutely is amazing in my opinion, but um, I, that's just my opinion and that's a subjective thing. So I'm curious how you feel about like any, any of the other like sort of like mega hit RPGs that people tend to, to enjoy. Uh, let me save here. <clears throat> Being part of management for years in my mind was always programmed to watch numbers, so when I was looking at the analytics, it turned into a job. It's far more important to cherish the friendships and connections you make. Agree. Big agree. Big agree. And and every... Well, I don't say everybody, but, you know, a lot of people want to be successful. I want to be successful. I want to, you know, continue to grow in, in, in viewership and in followership and, you know, all that stuff, but... Yeah, at the end of the day, I just want to enjoy my time here with who's here and uh, not worry about all the numbers and everything um, that go along with it. Because, yeah, it'll, it'll eat you up, man. Yeah, I, the, the, the funny part is, is the, the metrics are good and it's good that they provide them to us. Because it gives you something to see and if you use it effectively like it might be able to help you but having it cause you worry and anxiety is not the intended thing for it but it is something that definitely can happen as a result of you looking at those unfortunately because like you said you do start to look at it in a in a different way you know with different glasses and stuff you know it's like and then that those great metrics that we write suddenly become like a, a worry to you like you said it kind of becomes like a job and it's uh not the way it should be this is a hobby this is fun this is a this is a chill out spot you own every ff and have been a jrpg freak since 92 okay all right so, so you generally enjoy all the others, but, um, wait, do I, how much do I have? But, uh, that just Chrono Trigger in particular is kind of the one standout. Okay, I have 60,000. That's more than enough. I'll just buy the Lifetime Pass, which I think you should be able to do at this point. It's the first time you come through that you don't have, like, enough gill. So really, um, yeah, Chrono Trigger is just the one sound out. Okay, that's cool. Just curious making conversation you know um yeah i personally I, I think it's a great game I, I enjoyed the gameplay uh back when i played it when i was like a teen and then the soundtrack like i could listen to the soundtrack over and over i think it's really great but you know it's all suggest subjective i can you know appreciate that not everybody's going to enjoy it like i do and that's perfectly fine i'm cool with that uh, I've never finished Chrono. I love it and played it several times, but I haven't found a reason to finish it. Oh, well, there's a, yeah, there's there's also like a bunch of different endings to it and stuff too. Wait, where do I have to go here? Oh, I, I wait. I'm supposed to go event? No, it's like the arcade one. Is it this one? Yeah. No. Wait. Where is he? Wait. Am I supposed to be here? I'm supposed to be here. Maybe I didn't talk to what's his name correctly? I think I'm just messing up. <laughs> Is he over here? Is he here? Okay, so the keystone is... Okay. Alright, I was just messing up. <clears throat> I knew something was, was up here. I was like, I know... I know I talked to him. I just didn't know if I talked to him the right way. But there's multiple endings to Chrono is the thing. I've only gotten like, I don't even know, maybe two or three. 
three out of them or I don't even know I never did all of them it just varying times basically at which you go and fight the, the final boss but I know I've gotten like technically what is like the best ending Tetsuo thank you so much for hanging out buddy Appreciate you her lurking about and being with us. But the best ending basically has you go um, through the game and then you have to start a new game plus. And then at the very beginning of the game, you would go... Um, use the locket at the very beginning to like go straight to, to Lavos and like go fight him then or something when it's just like you and, and the princess Marl so it's I think it's like a two person fight versus the final boss so it's like really hard <clears throat> I've done that one your soft spot is secret of mana See, I, I love I love mana the game but then at the end is when you do all that grinding for the... And I mentioned this earlier, but you do all the fighting, grinding for the uh, the magic is when it gets repetitive and tough. You grind up all the magic to get it to like level 9. All of them. It's usually like you need them all to be level 9 in order to, uh, you know, fight the final boss and defeat him and stuff or something like that. Otherwise, I, I love the game. I think it's great. And I think that one has a really good soundtrack too. And then Secret of Evermore is a, a nice little change of pace, which is a really, really good game and fun game if you stick through it. It's just different. It, I, for some people, I think it was very awkward and, and too different. And some people probably didn't see their way through it. Falling asleep and sneezing at work. <laughs> yeah, that's a Doom guy. That's, um, I forget. Is that Fugue? One of Fugue's emotes? Yeah, it's Fugue. Yep. Usually don't grind magic except healing. Don't you need to have it all the way up in order to like... To to beat the final boss? Like, I don't remember, but I, I thought you did. Did I get the stone? <laughs> I'm like talking. <clears throat> I think I got it. Yeah, he gives it to you. You just have to, literally, you just have to lose that fight, and then you're like, you're all set. You don't have to level up the magic to beat the final boss. I thought you did. Why did I think you did have to do that? So now we're going to go back to the station. We're going to try to leave, but the trolley is broken. And then we're going to get... Uh, We're going to get the keystone stolen from us. But you at Butt Spot. Yep. Butt Spot's a little lovely person. <laughs> Dude, I still got this. It's like, looks like an egg roll, but it's got apples inside. the um the the mana i forget what it is but you yeah you have to have that one specific magic that when you have it you can actually hit and attack you or i should say attack and hit the the mana dragon at the end but all it really does is it extends the length of the the buff on your sword to be able to hit him Otherwise, you have to keep casting the magic over and over. But eventually, your magic will run out. 
unless you've got like a whole bunch of um I forget what they call them in that game for the for the MP what is that why is that there whose is that No, but I was thinking of, um, what I was thinking of, Merig, was the, there's like a, I forget what they call it, like a jelly or something, or is it honey, or I forget what they call it, the, the thing that, um, restores your MP in that game. No, we're talking about Secret of Mana. You know why I play over there now? Because look at the screen. It looks like I'm looking at the game. If you look at the screen, if I'm looking this way, I'm looking away from the game. When I was playing over here, I'd be looking away from what the game is on the left side. Yeah, but I put it over here so that when I'm looking at the game, I'm looking at the game how they're viewing me as a viewer. So my viewers see me looking towards the game on their screen. That's why I did that. I used to actually play my game on my left monitor over here. So you would see me like this. I'd be playing my game and chat would see the game and then see me looking off this way. So it's like I'm looking off the screen and I'm playing the game and I thought that looked weird. So I changed it. So I'm over here. What? Put my camera on the, on the left side. I don't want to do that. I like it the way it is. My son's here. My family came home and I was past 12 o'clock and he decided to pull his chair in and be like, I'm going to sit here and watch you dad. Yeah, Magic Walnut. Okay, that's what it was. I couldn't remember uh, what what it is. I knew there was uh, something. I just couldn't remember what it was called. I was like, I knew there was some sort of jelly or something. I couldn't remember the, the items. Hey, I wipe my hands. You think I would give my controller Cheeto fingers? Never. Royal Jam does uh, full HBMP. See, I knew there was like some jams and jellies and <laughs> all the, the items are like, yeah, walnuts and I forget. It's been a while since I actually played that and I haven't played it on stream to actually beat it. It's been forever since I actually played it and beat it, but it's a fun game. <clears throat> Damn, it's getting late. I, I, it looks like I might not make that, um, that goal that I had to reach the, uh, the, the 1.5 K roll up. Unfortunately, that's okay though. I don't have any hard feelings about it. I don't know. Right here it says I have 1450. I don't know why it says that. Okay, never mind. Apparently, I already did. I don't know. <laughs> 
if I I refreshed my page and now it says 1.5k. Interesting. I don't know where I got. I don't know. I don't know. Numbers on Twitch are weird. <laughs> I don't think I got another follow, so maybe, I don't know. Number Numbers on Twitch are, are funky. Sometimes they fluctuate. I have no idea. Maybe that's not actually there. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> well, thank, thanks, Merrick. Thanks, man. No, seriously, thank you. Uh, it, I don't know why, why it says that. I, I don't think it should have, but... Apparently it does, and I'm cool with that. Whatever. We reached the 1.5k roll up. Technically, I only have 1,450, but Twitch has this weird way of like rolling up. Once you once you reach over the thousand mark, whenever you reach 50, you roll up to the next. So it's like when you get 1050, you roll up to 1.1, and then once you get 1150 you roll up to 1.2 so right now i have 1450 so it rolls up to 1.5 <laughs> technically you're still under 1.5 but it just like shows 1.5 <laughs> it's just funky it's weird the way it does that but it just looks better i think that's why they do it you know Yeah, it's cool, though. I mean, obviously, everybody likes bigger numbers, you know? Sort of looks better. <coughs> do, 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 do. No, I never got, um... I never tried to get Barrett. I know you can, but you got to do like all this certain things, certain decisions you make. You have to like choose Barrett or do certain ways. It's funky, but I don't know all of the ways to get Barrett, Barrett like all the different decisions. I don't remember if I ever got Aerith. I might have. I think Tifa's maybe the most common result. I'm getting tired though. It's almost one. I can feel it. It's like. I've been streaming for like what? Oh, I shouldn't look actually. Oh, five, five and a half hours. Makes sense. I started at like seven ish. What now, legendary hero? I'm glad I made more progress in this, though, because I do want to finish this out, and I, I have every intention of working my way through to Final Fantasy VIII, and then nine, and then ten, because I've already done four, five, and six. And those are the ones I want to do is 4 through 10. My favorites. I've already done Chrono Trigger on stream. I still have to do Secret of Mana and Secret of Evermore. Oh, Soul Blazer. Once we reach that challenge, I'm going to do Soul Blazer, which I'm look highly looking forward to. Tetsuo, don't fall asleep, okay? Just do enough sneezing to keep yourself awake. I got a whole bunch of emotes to add to BTTV now of different expressions. I'm still looking forward to it. It's going to be dope. I love this music. This music's the best. <clears throat> if that is the list you're working on, I'll be back 100%. Yeah, like I said, Mirig, if you, if you use exclamation mark list... 
in the chat, you'll pull up the list of like, of different, you know, games that I have upcoming and you'll see Secret of Mana and Secret of Evermore on that list. Um, there's a bunch of NES stuff, some SNES stuff, but I mean, it's not all encompassing. It's just stuff that like, I thought that I, I want to play and then maybe some stuff that other people have recommended as well. I think there's also a, a Zelda ROM hack on there. Um, yeah, that, that list is obviously going to continue to do grow and also, you know, as I work my way through it, I'll add more things and because I definitely want to, um, you know, play a whole bunch of different things. I have access to tons of stuff, so either on Steam or elsewhere, so um yeah yo merrick thank you so much for your contribution to the soul blazer first playthrough challenge man appreciate that a lot bud x uh 10 is your favorite game of all time really i really enjoyed it when i played it back when i was like shoot i don't know i don't know if i was still a teen at that time or maybe like early 20s i actually really really like enjoyed that game like i think i beat it but then again, I can't remember I beat it, so I'm kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> I can't remember. Yes, we're all aware of the the laughing scene in, in 10. It is, it is a meme. But yeah, man, I, I can't wait to play through 10 again. This is a jam. But yeah, first I got to make my way through eight and nine and then I'll do 10. Where did he go? Was it battle? Chocobo we went in. Kind of like tough to tell which one. <laughs> okay, this is where he runs around and then he comes out and he chokes it. This is the final one. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. <clears throat> Goomba Gal, thank you so much for your contribution as well, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. Dude, Tetsuo, you made a new emote? Oh my gosh, Tetsuo Boogie. Dope, man. I like it. Every time he speed runs a game, he sort of like gets inspired to create an emote from it. That's cool, though. I like the way you did you did the boogie like that. That always interests me how people do like something moving like that. Did you do that yourself? Because I find that you usually make your own emotes, I think, right? Oh, it probably is actually. Yeah, my son basically said, isn't that one image that's just flipped like repeatedly? Like it's just a gif of like one image, but like flipped and then it just keeps repeating. You actually commissioned somebody to make some emotes and a new overlay. Oh shoot. That's dope, man. But you did make, okay, but you did make that one, but you commissioned somebody to make some emotes and a new overlay. overlay. Sick, bro. That sounds like a Vani thing almost. I know Vani does overlays and stuff. I'm not saying it's him, but that was like the first, kind of the first person I thought of, but I, I don't know that he does emotes though. I know he does overlays. But that's cool though. You heard speedrun, you tossed the follow? Dude, GG's man. Hitting up my dude, Tetsuo. He's, he's wonderful. I absolutely tossed a fall butt at Tet butt, butt-o. 
You want to spice it up? Nice, buddy. At Tet Butt O. Yeah, Tetsuo is great, man. He's a he's a close friend. He's a genuine, awesome dude. Uh, I highly highly recommend, you know, him and and what he's doing. He's he's really cool. He's a sweetie pie. He's he's one of the good ones. He's one of the genuine, like, uh, really nice, very very good and uh, wonderful individuals that's on this platform. Very very close and dear friend. All right, let me get this. Likewise, dude. Love you too, man. Okay, Temple of Ancients. Shall we get going? I want to go. I'm going for sure. Of course you are. So then I got to put Nanaki. Yep. I did catch. I did keep it. I started it off like that. So when you can, when you get red 13, when you get red 13, when you get red 13 in, um, the lab at Shinra headquarters and you can name him. I always forget to name him his like true name. And this time around, I remembered and I was like, I'm going to name him Nanaki. I didn't get her. I could probably go back and get her. I think you can get her at any time. You just have to go walk into a forest and she'll just appear, I think. But I think you have to get her before like the end of this one, maybe or something. I think there is like a, a, a cutoff. But she'll show up if you go into the forest area. Like any forest area. Oh, you. See? Calling out Dr. Butterfingers with, th with that particular sound. I got it down now, shiny. Shiny Zenny. Got it down, Zenny. Oh, snap. You got Moonfall? You're right, before disc two. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think this is, yeah, it says station. <clears throat> yeah, I thought it was before, you have to do it before uh, disc one, or disc two. Um, while you're still on disc one, you have to get it at that point. And then, uh, if you don't, you will, you're plumb out of luck. I was checking out tweets and saw the BDA tacos. I want to try them now. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, they were dope, dude. I tried to get 20 likes on it. I really wanted to get to the 20 likes on Twitter to um, to get a little traction on the tweet. And I said, if I get 20 likes, I'll release the video because um, I have a video of me eating it as like a reaction. But I didn't get the 20 likes, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm just not that popular. Like I've got over 500 followers, but I just never get that many likes most of the time. You dropped your like just now? Thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. It's it's worth a shot, you know? I said, hey, if I get... Oh, shoot. She's, she's all messed up. She's... Okay, I need to... I forgot I didn't equip her. She's like really bad, dude. Dude, thank you guys so much, man. I, you know, sometimes you try. You're like, hey, man, if I could just get 20 likes, I'll release something for you guys. And it's like you try, but sometimes I can I can only get like over 10 likes or something. And then it sort of fizzles out. Thank you guys so much, though. Sincerely, I appreciate it, man. All the all the love and support means the, means the world, dude. Uh, I got to equip her. She's so bare bones. Look at her. I haven't used her like all normally Aerith was always growing up. She was always an integral part of my party, no matter what, even though I knew what was going to happen. I 
always used her. In this playthrough, I didn't use her at all. I mean, she still levels up along with you guys, but just not at the same rate. But she has like nothing, you know, she still got the guard stick and the Titan bangle because I haven't used her at all. <clears throat> so she's hurting for uh, some good, some good weapons and some good armor here. There's no glitch. The Yuffie glitch. Yeah, just like you can bring her back from the dead, right? All right, I'm going to put this one. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so heckin' much, man. You guys... You guys are too good to me tonight, man. Oh, whoops. Um... But the thing is, is, like, I know she's gonna go out of the party, too, so I need to make sure to, like, sort of take all of her stuff before... before the end fight is another thing. Or give her stuff that, like, you don't mind sort of losing. Because she's just gonna... I think she takes it all. I don't think it goes back into your inventory what she has on her. It basically just takes her out of your party and whatever she has on her now becomes like, um, just like out of your inventory. <clears throat> if I remember correctly. I think people do sort of take stuff out of her, off of her. Your go-to party was Cloud, Tifa, and Sid? Nice, man. Yeah, I... See, I always would, um, yo, Jaeger, what's going on, man? Welcome on in, dude. It's great to have you here. How's everything going? Been a while? No worries, man. It's great to have you here, dude. I appreciate you coming through now and, and sharing some time with us and, uh, and being here, man. No worries about the, the time, you know, the last time you were here or anything like that. Thanks for coming through tonight, dude. Yo, GG's Butterfingers, catching the star me. Been a rough week for me, but I'm glad to be back. Aw, oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry it's been a rough week, dude. Hopefully, you know, things like that hopefully come and go. So I hope next week is a better week for you, dude. But, you know, hopefully, you know, this stream here and, and the people here can help you, you know, lift you up a little bit. Help you feel a little bit better, man. You know. Life is a roller coaster. Bad times come and go, but, uh, you know, hopefully things will be looking up for you, man. Seriously. I wish you all the best, dude. Recently just got the guide to this game as reading material because I already know this game in and out. Dude, that's actually a really cool collectible, though, Jaeger, right? That's a dope collectible. I remember seeing that back in the day. The, uh, the old, what was it, Brady Games? The old Brady Games um, guides and stuff? That's cool, dude. That's a dope collectible. Even if you know the game in and out, like, that's cool. Wait, wait, stop. Stop. <laughs> um, I don't know what I want to put on her. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, Brady and Prima. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I thought it was Brady. I can remember the name Brady for some reason, but yeah, Prima guides as well. Thank you, Tetsuo, as well, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Seriously, though. Jaeger, hopefully the stream is a little bit of a spite from the, the outside world and, and, and all that garbage, dude. So let's chill out. Let's have a good time. I do have a prize possession at home that needs graded yet. Wait, what do you got? Oh, don't go over there. All right, so... Oh, yeah, Yuffie. True. Versus books? Had the best guys, especially for this game? I don't remember that particular... That particular name. Versus books. A sealed mint classic series Metroid for net? What? What? Dude! That sounds freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, man. I love Nestroid. Like, I know everybody gives it crap, and I understand it has its, uh, it has its faults and everything. 
but I do love me some Nestroid. And it is, I had a good talk with a long time friend and got some stuff sorted out. Good man. And I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know what was going on. If there was some stuff between you guys, but damn man, I'm, I'm glad that you guys got it sorted out and hopefully, you know, you guys will be better for it. It sucks when things come between you like that and, um, cause you pain and, and stress and anxiety, man. <clears throat> you have picks, dude. I actually really want to see it. Seriously. That sounds awesome. That's got to be so rare, dude. What? Oh, the map there. It's like the only, the only way to really see it is you got to like, I mean, you can sort of see it, but it's like really tough on this screen. Dude, a mint still sealed copy of Nestroid. I wonder how much that goes for. Maybe I should go try to get Yuffie. Well, I had a great relationship with my butt. It was just stuff in my personal life and online BS and he helped me get... Oh, okay, 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 okay. I misunderstood. I thought maybe something had become between you guys or something, but I misunderstood that he just kind of like... You just had a good talk with him and he helped you to like work out what, what was... uh what the problem was which wasn't between you two gotcha that's good man to have somebody in your corner honestly i'm glad you were able to do that and um it's always nice to have a good friend like that seriously somebody that you can that you can like you know share those those thoughts and feelings with and like somebody who will take the time to listen to you man seriously i mean if if not them like you know, I always suggest myself or, you know, somebody else, if they're willing to listen, like, you know, my door is always open and stuff like that, um, to help out or, you know, you could have a place in the discord or something where people sort of like talk that sort of stuff out, you know, just like, I, you know, depending, like some people don't like to share, you know, publicly or anything like that, but, but I'm glad that you and your friend were able to do that, man. Having to like carry that weight yourself and everything is just can be too can be too tough. I know, but I forget and then I want to make sure I did. Um, I could probably go here. <coughs> yeah, everyone should have that one friend that you can always turn to. I told you, she's super easy to get. Like, she she's gonna pop out real quick. Thank you, Merig. I can't wait to see it, man. Seriously. And just be sure to check out the roles and social channel. But otherwise, you know, make yourself at home. Do whatever you want to do there. Like, it's your place to kind of, you know, hang out, chill, um, and, and, and check out as you please. But the only one I, I recommend is the roles and social channel. There's some stuff in there that you can add and remove yourself. And you can... Um, yeah, as you see fit, basically. I talk with Calf and a couple others when I'm having troubles. So right about that. Yeah, me and Tetsuo sometimes uh, we'll we'll we definitely like check on each other and like see how we're doing and um, and if you know we're having go we're going through some things or whatever, like you know, DMs are open, my ears open for him, and likewise, I know, um, you know, if I'm having something that he's he's willing to listen as well. So yeah, it's always nice to have somebody in your court, man, for sure. It's always people who have been there through their fair share of BS in life that understand what it's like better. I've heard the saying that the people you cut out of your life weren't meant for you. And I had cut out some people in my life. Yep. I mean, you, you, you kind of got to do that sometimes, <clears throat> unfortunately. Um... It, it's a sad fact of life sometimes because of the fact that like if that is causing you your mental health and yourself like dragging you down and causing you pain and strife and anxiety that like you might be better off kind of like like you said cutting those lines and just sort of like you know just saying goodbye just for your own mental and, and, and health 
mental health and well-being seriously and that's something that people learn in the in the streaming space is like even from a uh, like a, a, a viewer standpoint too if somebody's like being a nuisance in your chat and that type of stuff like you're better off just like cutting that off and like you know banning that person as opposed to like putting up with them and letting them sort of like melt down you and how you're feeling and then potentially your chat as well it's like i'm just sort of equating that to to similar experiences of like diff something different but you know same sort of situation it's like sometimes you just gotta like draw that line and just say okay like for your own mental health and well-being that like you just say okay that's enough and just you know i'm done with this like i need to go be better somewhere else without you unfortunately because you know it's just not gonna change <clears throat> i'm glad i found your stream i needed a group of people like this dude i'm glad you're here too because we all need a good group around us i think you know and it's good to have a good group with you man and um always great to have another person who's who has that same sort of mentality man who wants to to have you know love and positivity and inspiration and uh and all those great things around them man one hana yeah one hana if i remember correctly i kind of like how the way to get yuffie is basically blow her off you can't be direct with her exactly yeah my son already said he's like i think i think you have to use not interested right because yeah she really wants your attention and she's really like let's go one more time and if you say all right then she kind of like beats you up and takes your stuff and, and, and is gone or whatever <clears throat> but if you say not interested you're she's just like what no no come and, yeah, and she starts to like keep coming at you <laughs> Niv. yo and Niv, thanks for the raid dude <laughs> that's great that's really great man <laughs> Freaking love a Niv, man. Dude, a Niv's raiding. Yeah, way to spoil it, a Niv. Dude, he just announced the raid. Are you scared of me? Petrified. Thinking of running away? Stay and fight. Fight, I said. Wait. I'm trying to think. You're pretty scared of me, huh? Just as I thought. What do you expect with my skills? Good luck to you guys too. If you feel up though, we can go another Seal round later. Material, pants grab. <laughs> Yo, CFB, what's up, dude? Steal this material, Yuffie pants grab. <laughs> Good to see you, man. How's everything going, bud? <laughs> How was your sleep, dude? You went to bed earlier, didn't you? If I remember correctly. Um I'm going to leave. I mean it. Yeah, I think it's... I, th I think it's go ahead, right? She's gone. What was... Oh, wait, no. It wasn't go ahead. Oops. Yeah, at like 2 p.m. Yeah, I thought that's what... Yeah. Because I know you're... Like, I don't want to say your sleep schedule is all messed up, but you have your own unique sleep schedule, I'll say. Um, and I remember I was in your Discord, and I, I thought I remember you said, yes, because, okay, I remember now. Because you, I saw you in Nev's stream. I saw you in Nev's stream. And then you said, you said, because I got, I, I was like in there, and I saw you said like that, you were gonna go to bed you just wanted to drop an alert and then i was in your discord and i saw you kind of kicking about before you ended up actually going to bed and then yeah i figured you must have went to bed and got your sleep <laughs> it is 100 <100%. laughs> percent yo belly what's going on bell welcome on in it's great to have you all here man i did get a new haircut yep yeah i get one every once in a while you know it's just, it's just, I, I just end up, like, I always shave the sides and whatnot. But every once in a while, when this gets a little too long, then I just end up shaving this on, like, the, the longest attachment. But then it's, 
it just I just wait for it to grow back. Nothing special. Just a little cleanup. Um, no, I, I mean, you, you know, you got your own thing going on CFB. Like you, you kind of do as you please and everything. So, you know, you're kind of like allowed to have it be messed up, I guess, because you, you sort of do, you know, how you see fit and everything. I'm sort of at the at the whim of like work and everything. So it's like, no matter what, if I go to bed at 3 a.m., I got to be up at freaking eight so I can go to work and whatnot. And it's like, crap. <clears throat> Especially the other night when I actually did go to bed at 3 a.m. Because I, I did a nine hour stream, basically. I finished up Punch Out. This was Wednesday night. I finished up Punch Out. And then I did Kid Icarus. And I went through the whole game of Kid Icarus and beat that. And went to bed at like 3 a.m. And woke up the next day at freaking 8. Like, it sucked. <laughs> uh... No, no worries, Jaeger. Don't worry about it, dude. Yeah, everything is tricky. I forgot myself, honestly. I thought that was the right choice. Not interested, petrified. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, I messed it up. There's no big deal. She'll come back. Very tidy. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate that. Yeah, I, I do try to uh, get it nice and tidy for a little, for a little bit. <clears throat> no matter how it looks, I like it to look pretty good. You need a haircut so bad? Nah, you look sexy enough, bro. But thank you, Belly. You you said it looks good. Thank you so much. Uh, I do remember you have you have till the Temple of Ancients to get her. Is it Temple of Ancients? Because we were saying disc one. Like I think it's by the end of disc one. Which wait, Temple of the no, not Temple of the Ancients. That's um. That's the whatever village of the ancient Zerds. I forget what it's called. Uh, I love that music in that place, but I forget the name of it. Mutant power of choice being able to lock a hair length. Oh, imagine it's like X-Men power. Like just, just uh, lock in where it's at. I would love that actually. That would be a dope freaking mutant power. I mean, technically sort of useless but still i would like to be able to just like not have to get a haircut again although i do enjoy getting a haircut for whatever reason that is it just feels good damn it all i'm gonna say got my son next to me um and the earliest you can get her is right after midgore zolom yeah 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 because once you come out the other side where the eagle's tower or whatever it is is um yeah that's where usually you can start to get her grogginess is hard for sure i felt like crap thursday morning but then i got some decent sleep thursday night so i didn't feel so bad uh not interested fort condor yeah 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 i haven't gotten this far in ff7 i do love this ff i love it as well this is kind of like one of my all-time favorites. And I haven't played it in forever, so I was like, you know what? I've been doing so much retro NES games. I need to do something different. So um, let's do some Final Fantasy VII as kind of a change-up. And sort of recharge my batteries for like um, accepting the sort of repetitiveness and, and hard challenge that NES games are. You just have to re-encounter her again. Yes. Yep. You just got to go find her. She's in any forest, basically. I think you can do this anywhere. You have a time frame that you have to do it like before the, the end of the first disc. So at any point in time, you can just go to a forest and, and start a battle. And randomly, she'll just appear. And then you beat her up. And then you do this. But yep. <clears throat> Why, thank you, streamer. Is that another one? Oh my gosh, dude. My man's doing up all the emotes. <laughs> the bottom looks kind of choppy. That's all I'll say. But if you smoothed it out, I don't know. Would it look better with it smoothed out? But I like it. Ah. When you get past the Temple of the Ancients to make it to Bone Village, I don't think there's a means to backtrack because you don't get the high wind. Oh, okay. That's true. That's true. I think you're right about that. So if you do go through the Temple of the Ancients, you can't really go back to 
like a forest area. I think you might you might technically be right about that. All I care is that my beard never stops growing. <laughs> You got uh, one of those big bushy beards, huh? A great big bushy beard. <laughs> My time has come. Have a great rest of the night. Yo, no worries, Butterfingers. Take care, buddy. Have a great rest of your night and a wonderful sleep, friend. I uh, appreciate you being here, man. Always a pleasure to have you here, dude. You're such a such a wonderful individual to have in the chat. Take care, man. Uh, have a great weekend as well, man. All the best, dude. Which explains how the earliest is outside butt beard when? Which explains how the earliest is outside the swamp because there's forest past Fort Condor and before Junin. Yes. Yep. Yeah, there's those those are the first forests I know that I, I can go and get her. I've just been putting it off. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna get her, but I guess maybe I will. Uh, I forget. No, wrong one. See, I had her at that point. I should have... <laughs> Calf beard? Imagine? Matt, dude, I can't. It's so bad. I'm so patchy. Wait, wrong. I'm wicked, like, it doesn't come in thick enough. Like, I can do a must mustache, but beard is like, is rough for me. I've never been one to have like that full natural look. Like, even this is like one, no, this isn't quite one week. Because I shaved, I think, Saturday. So this is like almost one week of growth here. Yeah, we got it now. <laughs> I'll be able to do it this next time. It would look good on me, you think? Think? I don't have like... Oh, they're kind of hurting right now. Um, I'm going to use... Oh, once it gets... Yeah, true. Aerith is about... But I was going to say I can just use this. Dude, I don't know, man. <clears throat> Beard is tough for me. That's a tough one. I could see that or rep some mutton chops. I could probably do the mutton chops. That one I might be able to do as well. Either that or the mustache or the or the both. Why did I say mustache? Mustache. <laughs> Muttons. I could do the. I could do this, and then the must. And I could also do like a. What do you call this thing? I forget what you call this thing. The the. When it's long enough, it'll cover the patches, you think? Does it blend in really nice? Soul patch. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not a goatee. Uh, a soul patch. They call this little, little right under the lip thing. This one. The soul patch. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> You like the Aerith in the remake? She's so sweet, dude. The whole game is like really sweet. CFB, did you ever try it yet? Because I know we both bought it that first Friday when it came out. But I don't recall if I had seen you ever playing it yet. Is it just sitting in your inventory or your, your uh, Steam library at the moment? Damn it. Yeah, right under the lower lip is the soul patch. Uh, the remake, uh, FF7R. <clears throat> I know we both bought it at that first Friday when it dropped on Steam. 
And then I don't recall if I had ever seen you uh, give it a shot yet. You've got so many things, it's like... <laughs> you've got uh, quite the library. Oh, shoot. Jaeger, nice. Nice catch, Jaeger. So I got it originally on PS4 when it came out and got like eight chapters in or something off stream and not lost interest. Bought it again when you did on Steam. Streamed it a couple times, but wasn't feeling it. Having a hard time getting it. Okay. All right. I... That's cool, man. I just didn't know if you had even, um, had even streamed it or not. I don't recall if I had ever seen you stream it. I know you did like a whole bunch of like different spooky games and, and then you were doing clone hero. Um, maybe even some, some sub picks as well. Like you, I know you're sort of like. Uh, playing a bunch of different stuff, but yeah, I, I didn't recall if I'd ever seen you actually give it uh, a go after you bought it. But I also, I don't think I knew that you had already purchased it on PS4 and I'd played through like a whole bunch of it initially. Uh, I didn't beat it yet. I started it and I think I'm right around where you go to Shinra headquarters. So I did play through quite a bit of it, but I haven't... Uh, no, I didn't finish it yet. You're sitting at over 500 on Steam? Wow, Merig. Like, I, I need to get more hard drive space. Like, I can't fit more. Like, I had to unload some stuff in order to put FF7R on my Steam library because it was a lot. And, um... Yeah. That one was big for me. That one was big for me. Yeah, it's a big game. Yep, it's a big game. And uh, dude, the problem, but the really the problem is, is that I'm working with a 500 gig solid state drive that when I purchased, I never meant to have for storing like a bunch of games and things or anything at all, really. It was, I built this machine for work purposes only. And now it's like a gaming PC as well. And so obviously 500 is nothing. And I really need to invest in like, you know, a nice big, whatever, one terabyte or something or more hard drive and just like plop that in there. Um, you know, to, to really up my game. Yo, stovetop, what's going on? Welcome on in, man. How's everything going, dude? It's great to have you here. Thanks for the good luck. I appreciate that a lot, bud. Uh, let me see. Do, do, do mine now, says Jaeger. 500 on Steam's a lot, dude. That's a lot. People keep saying it's awesome, though. Like, I enjoyed it, dude. I will say, CFB, that for FF7R, the first stream that I did of it, I was smiling the whole time. I was absolutely in love and like in heaven. I adored it. It that that faded after I played a couple streams of it, but man, that first stream was oh, I loved it. I like how I finally got all the summon DLC for the game on PS5. Did you really? Damn man, GG's on getting all that, bud. I still have a lot to do in it, I think. Even just besides like the regular story like there's you know you can do all like the um the, the the battles in the vr stuff to get summons and all that stuff like there's there's a lot of like different things that i still need to do but story wise i'm sort of getting farther in i think i've done quite a bit but yeah, i just don't recall how much there actually is in that whole entire game because they do make a lot out of a little there should have offered that for the PS4 when I got the first class edition. Oh, damn. The final option is Let's Hurry. Okay, thank you, Jaeger. Uh, not as big as Red Dead Redemption 2. Is that one's even bigger? Damn, man. I need to get a two terabyte Fire Cuda for my PS5 now that you reminded me. Hey. Nice that I could remind you, man. 
petrified. Uh, it was neat to be back in that world, but I started to find issue with the side quests and NPCs and stuff. Yeah, the, the side quests are tedious. I don't recall if you have to do them or not. I think you might have to in order to proceed for some of them, but yeah, they do get a little tedious. It's like, yeah, go run over here, go kill some guys, go back over there, do something else, and and all this stuff, and it's like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I was just trying to take it all in and immerse myself. Yo, TKK, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in, man. Great to have you here. How's everything going, dude? You enjoying that coffee, bud? Hope you're enjoying that coffee, dude. <laughs> Just a little sip. Just a little sip. Oh, I messed up my box. All right, that's good enough. <clears throat> uh, I need a storage upgrade as well. 500 SSD, two terabyte disk is not enough. Seriously. Yeah, I, I need to get like a nice big, I don't know, two terabyte or something because my 500 is not, not pulling weight no more. PS4 version was 30 FPS max and that drives me nutters. <laughs> yeah, you need the quality, right? You need that good quality. Side quests are actually main quests. Are they really? That game is massive. It kind of is, dude. Seriously. Um, it's That's right. Oh, and then you say, let's hurry. I remember this one because she wants to tell you her name and then you just walk off and she's like, wait, you, I haven't even told you my name. Yep, that one I knew. I'm Yuffie, good to meet you. They lost me at find these cats. <laughs> that's true though. They that, see that's some of the stuff is like, yeah, find the cats. And it's like, Okay, I'm a mercenary who's in soldier, but yeah, let me find these cats for you. I agree, Zion. It is a bit much. Uh, let me save first. <laughs> now that I've got her in my party here. Did that work, stovetop? I don't recall hearing it. Okay, my son said it worked. 1 1:30 a.m. and my 13-year-old son's next to me. Did work? Okay, good, good. Just wanted to check. I was like, I was either gonna refund you or do it myself if it didn't. I don't recall hearing it, but I'll, I I thought I heard something and I was like looking over here, and then I saw it and I was like, wait, did that work? Uh, the Happy Turtle themes are great, but I think that is in the U the Yuffie DLC. Oh, I still have to do that. I haven't done any of the Yuffie DLC. So once I st stop over here, where, where am I? Hold on. I do need to go to the Temple of the Ancients, but if I want to do the Yuffie side quest, can I do it at any time? Or do I have to do the, the Wutai side quest now? I can just go back there at any point in time, I think. Pretty sure. Now that I have her, I think anytime I step off right here is when it's going to start. It actually, yeah, you can do the Wutai side quest at any time. Yeah, <clears throat> I thought that's correct, but you have to actually get her. You have a time. I have done that, but yeah, you have to go back into, um, for the for the posters, my son's asking about the posters thing. You have to go back into Midgard during like the I think during the final raid. There's one that you need to find. I think that's in Shinra headquarters if I remember correctly. Or or wait, no, 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 no. I think the first time you're in Shinra headquarters, you can get that, but if you didn't, you can get it. The only other time to get it, I think is the second time you go in or something like that. I forget. I forget what's...
Yuffie's father go to his one of the events in Wutai. Yep. You need her to trigger the event. Yes. But as soon as you step off, like on the beach, it's like all of a sudden, I forget. I think you walk across. There's a certain point where you're walking towards Wutai and like I, I, something happens. She like, you pass out. She like causes you to pass out or something. You wake up. All your materia is gone and she's she's gone and then you have to travel the wutai without her and then that's when the whole thing goes down that's when it all goes down i think you can even get her in this forest if you if you're running towards this um, Temple of the Ancients and you happen to get in a random fight here, I think you can actually run into her right here because it doesn't matter what forest. Any forest can do it. Catch bear ass. I wonder if anybody liked my um my going live notification. I didn't really have anybody mention it. But it actually said What was it? Some what does it say? So, click this link or click this for CBT. <laughs> That's what it was. This is the Temple of the Ancients. I know, I feel it. The knowledge of the ancients flowing. You could become one with the planet, but you're stopping it with the strength of will. For the future? For us? But you're uneasy? But happy? Because I'm here? I'm sorry, I don't understand. I want to go inside. Just a random dude. He fell on the ground. Yes, you are working, Lord Malachite. Was there something wrong, Lord Malachite? Um, you actually trained a Paras in Pokemon Blue as my, my cut slave? Wait, for real? Not a bad Pokemon, but it's Gen 1's version of Aeron. Ah, okay. How long you plan on going tonight? Uh, I don't know exactly, Obsessive. Not quite sure. Why? What's up? A little bit more. I'm chilling. I was gonna, I was probably gonna close up shop a little earlier, but, um... I don't know. At this point, I'm just kind of chilling. Oh, oh, LCG's up. Oh, gosh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to say hi to LCG real quick. LCG says, good morning from Southampton. That was, that was two minutes ago, actually. Funny enough. <clears throat> Black materia. Just seeing if you'll be playing when I wake up for work in the morning. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to stay up that late. I was actually going to finish up. Actually, I was, before I entered this, I was going to um, finish up. But I decided to like keep going a little bit more. I had a couple people that just stopped in recently, so I figured um, if people are still interested, I, I might just stay on a little longer. Lord Malachite, is your uh, is your internet acting up? Sounds like you've caught a second wind. Oh, like. 
I don't want to say I've caught a second wind because I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling tired in my eyes and stuff. Like I know I need to go to bed, but at the same time I'm sort of fighting it a little bit. But I don't like to do that because <clears throat> I know in my throat too. The longer I stream, the more I clear my throat and my throat gets raspy and I try to combat that by drinking water, but it never fully helps because I'm always, this is the only time when I'm like talking constantly. Otherwise throughout the day, it's like, I don't really say like a ton of things. All right, I have this individual open in two different tabs. <clears throat> so I think I'm okay with that. I only need the one, thanks. All right, back to it. You're wrong. The promised land isn't like what you imagined, and I'm not going to help. Either way, there was no way Shinra could have won. Black materia, bruh. Keep going for the people. For the people. <laughs> is it sang, sing, or sang song? You know, I always said it as sang, like almost like S E N G or S A N G. I never said it as like sing or song. I actually don't really know what the proper pronunciation is. It's like the way I always used to call, like, I think, I think technically Cecil in, in Final Fantasy IV would be, should be Cecil, right? But I always call them Cecil. I don't know. And then like Marley in Chrono Trigger, it's like, is it Marl? Marley? I think I always call her Marley or I don't know, Marl. I don't know. What about, um, um, in, in, in Final Fantasy four, is his name Locke? Is it Loki? <laughs> I think I used to call him Loki. Like, I don't know. Names in RPGs are funky, bro. Got logged out of Twitch and my password wasn't working. I had to make a new password and empty my cache and cookies been filling around them. Around an hour, maybe two. Jeez, Lord Malachi. Well, that sucks, man. I'm sorry that happened, but it, you appear to be back. I've been talking to my longtime friend. He suggested I drop Chrome and get Brave Browser, and I got VPN. Can't be too careful. Jeez. Yeah, something appears maybe was up, Lord Malachi, but you, you appear to be back. It's definitely saying. Wow. See, that's the first I've ever heard like a definitive answer for that. I always called them like. Yeah, like saying. Yeah. <clears throat> so I, I think I was saying it right. I've heard people call him Sung. I know for FF6, it's definitely Lock Cole. Yeah, I always call them Loki. <laughs> like L O K I, like Loki. Like, bro, Loki. His name's Lock. Sangs with your enemy, the Turks, but I've known him since we were little. That's kind of interesting that like Sang and Aerith have this relation. Yeah, relationship is the word. Um, going back to when they were kids and stuff. There's some history there. That's really neat. There's a, not a lot of people I can say that about. In fact, there are probably only a handful of people in the world who really know me. Low-key coleslaw. <laughs> I think it's sort of a big brother, little sister thing. I think you're right. Honestly, they're friends. You know, it wasn't... Although... Doesn't he have feelings for... Who's the one that he has feelings? Doesn't he have feelings for, for her? But it is really more of like a... A, a brother-sister type thing. In FF10, it's Titus, not Titus. I, 
I could see that. But I think I always call them ti Titus. No, I think it's Ion's right. I'm Titus makes sense. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I always call him Titus. See, it's like like I don't know. Unless you literally hear one of the creators like call them by their name, everybody's just gonna like say whatever the heck works for them. <laughs> I hear rain, so that means oats oh, cheating. True and if true. Square said so. See, that's the thing. If there's like a definitive answer from the company, then legit, like, you know. Elena has feelings for him, but he has feelings for Aerith. That's right. I forgot how the triangle goes here, but. Wait, there's nothing over here, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to think because there's some, some different ways that you can. And then you go over here. <clears throat> Bro, chill. I'm playing. Don't backseat me. What were you going to do? Yeah, but what does that matter? My son said, wouldn't, wouldn't he just be a Japanese trans like translation and not an American one? I was like, that wouldn't matter though. Isn't it here? Am I wrong? I am wrong. Tidus, square said it. Tidus, like the comedian Christopher Tidus. Wait, is that a joke? I don't even remember if there is a Christopher. How do you how do you say his name? Is his name said Titus? I got a like from James Arnold Taylor on his Xanarkin video before he disabled comments. Wait, for real? Ribbon is in this area. Ribbon is. Wait. Hold up. Okay, that one. All right. I'm I'm just trying to... Alright. I think you do need to go up here. <clears throat> His is spelled Titus. Alright, you can't go... Hey, bro. The button was, like, legit held down. Like, I couldn't even press it. It was really weird. You, ca you can go through there. And I'm going to go through there. But you go up here first. Because you're going to go back down. But apparently, everyone is arguing about the original scene with uh, Titus laughing. And I guess James was forced to disable comments. <laughs> People will argue about the dumbest things. And you know what? The great part about it is that the people that make the videos want you to freaking comment. And it doesn't matter if you're arguing. That just boosts the algorithm for them. If you like the, the video, that boosts the algorithm. If you share the video, that boosts the algorithm. If you comment on the video, that boosts the algorithm. So it's like, go argue over my video all you want. I guess he didn't like it too much, so he disabled the comments, but it was probably helping him out. Y'all want to argue over some dumb stuff on my video? Go for it. You're just boosting the algorithm for me, and I love it. Okay, I'm going to reap all the benefits, and I, I enjoy it. All I get is bots saying, like, saying dumb things on my videos. then again I don't make really specialized videos too much I just post my uh my VODs let me rest Vidral I want to save my game 
Oh, it says I won't be able to go back. Which I don't think matters. Should be alright in here. So now you come up here. You're gonna go down here. Grab this. Oh, he broke out. Too bad, Jaeger. Come back here, you little. Why, you little. Dad, have you been using moisturizer? Your hands are so soft. Whoa. trying to think how do you get down there to get that I'm just trying to can't really picture it at this point but maybe this loops around rocket punch it's the stupid thing the button it keeps like messing up i should put counter materia put chocomog and then put put the counter attack on um redemption yo gg's not catching the diglet man I have trying. I've got some good stuff. I don't remember where you get that. It's on a beach somewhere. <clears throat> oh yeah, I have to get it. He's talking about, um, what's it called? I forget the name of it is, but there's one enemy skill that does like big defense. It gives you your magic defense and your um, physical defense shields up, which is really, really good to get. But I don't remember when's the, the like first time that you can get it. Mighty Guard, yeah. You're freaking vibing with this soundtrack? This this soundtrack is hella dope, stoved up. This soundtrack is one of my favorites. Okay, so... Okay, this is how you... Okay, I, I knew it like sort of loops back around. <clears throat> the beach plugs? The beach butts. Yes, the beach butts. There we go. Luck plus. Wish my 10 year old would get into FF7. He did, however, play Super Metro for the first time this past weekend. Made it to Ice Beam without any guidance. Yo, GG's. GG's to your 10 year old, Merrick. That's hella dope, man. Um, my 13 year old has, like, played some SM and some uh, Metroid Dread. I don't think he's beaten either one. I you beat Super Metroid? What about A Link to the Past? You beat Link to the Past? Good boy. But he didn't beat Dread yet. Um. Wait. Oh no, not the frogs. Yeah, but the frogs are the worst, dude. Oh, I hate the frogs. <clears throat> I'm glad you're vibing to the soundtrack though, Stovetop, because, man, I love it. 
I've actually listened to this soundtrack like while I was working because it's just so good. I can listen to it on repeat. Learn Frog Song. You can't get into FF games, but the music is top tier. Yeah, that's fine, man. If it's uh, not not your, you know, not your favorite game of choice or anything. It's great that you can enjoy the music though, because I do think the the soundtracks were done very very well. I think uh, they put a lot of thought and heart into the music that they made for these. You have to use uh, Yuffie's manipulate material. Yeah. You have to you have to have something some way to um, be able to you know. <laughs> For lack of a better term, manipulate them so that you can do the move, the Mighty Guard move on yourself. Because they're not going to do it for you. Now teach... Teach him how to do Mach Ball and he'll have a lot more fun. <laughs> Mach Ball is not a terribly hard thing to do. In my opinion. I found doing Alcatraz to be a tougher move. Now I don't. I think Alcatraz is easy, but um, at the time, Alcatraz, well, I learned it on another character. Uh, but at the time, I found Mach Ball to be very easy to learn, and then Alcatraz was tough. Better gamer than I am. Took me forever to be ALTTP as an adult. It's not an like an easy game, but... Once you know it and get through it, there's there's a path to it all. There's a, there's a method to that madness, but <clears throat> it's uh it's getting there and learning it that's the thing. But it's it's very they were pretty good about progression in that game, although it is sort of open a bit. They definitely have a, a thought to how you're supposed to do things. Jeez, man, can you seriously just like stop? So annoying. You can barely do Moon Mach Ball and Moonfall yourself. Moonfall. Moonfall is another one that I didn't have a ton of uh, hard time with. Like I'm pretty good doing Moonfall. Like I, all the tricks I'm pretty good with, but I just I, I don't speed run the game terribly well. <laughs> Hook that kiddo up with a rando. Well, that he would have to play on my computer, and he doesn't play on my computer a ton. Although it would be interesting to see him go at a rando at some point. CFB is the one, I mentioned this earlier, but like how we used to do races um, in my Discord or on my channel, we would do weekly Friday races. CFB's the one that brought up the fact of bringing those back because he used to participate in those with me. And doing one like once a month on like a Wednesday, he's the one who, who had the thought to bring those back. He actually had a Papega, because I used to call Papega Fridays. Um, Papega Fridays would be the day that we would do the rando races. He actually had started to make this emote, which was the Papega base emote. And it was, but it was Ganondorf. It was Ganon from ALTTP. Uh, it was his face as the Pepega face. It was pretty cool. I don't think he ever finished it, but it looked really good where he had it. He did a, a lot of good work on it. how the gang have the specific from forms in ff7 remake do they really i don't think i've gotten that far yet Aerith has her bow and cloud has a mini buster sword strap Does, i don't think i saw that yet i don't remember seeing that short hop mock ball is harder to do 
but to do but normal mock ball is pretty easy once you learn to roll your thumb forward as you touch the ground yes so normally i i can't do like a short hop mock ball i find that really hard but normal mock ball i'll i'll jump really high and then i'll come down and i can do it like easily yeah just don't bounce and i was just practicing the alcatraz escape it's it wasn't easy to do at first it wasn't intuitive but once i saw a video and i sort of learned how to do it i, I can get it easy every time I want to do the stutter taps shine spark i can do it but i, I i'm not consistent with it anymore i got alcatraz before mock ball really merrick See, that's interesting everybody has their different you know what they do better i think i did i think i did mock ball before alcatraz let me just get this sound out of here. The sound is annoying. There. You can do a three tap shine spark. Damn, that's nice, dude. Stutter two can get you almost anything in SM. Stutter three is main street missiles and the and the, the like. Yeah. <clears throat> I I think. Well, he said like afterwards. He fixed it. Um, I think you need a stutter three tap or, or something like that for, um, when you're in Norfair to do the shine spark, where's the lava rising part? Like as soon as you come down into Norfair, you go to the right, you go through the door, you do a power bomb and you go down, you grab the two power bombs from the enemy that you kill with the power bomb that you used and then you have to do like a like a stutter two or three tap right there like i can't do that one i can't do that i've never been able to do that i had a pretty solid one-on-one -on -one conversation with Sefi last night i've got some serious help on some some tag yo that's dope mary Sefi's definitely got the the chops he's got the skills i mean him emmett oats the uh, you know ruya uh um, uh, a real cu uh, cutie, like the like. They're they're all really great at that game. Can't seem to kill Dragon with the Shine Spark. Doing it isn't the hard part, but I can't get past the setup right to angle the Shine Spark. Oh yeah, I I've <clears throat> I've definitely killed Dragon with Shine Spark. It's not terribly hard, and I've been able. I can I used to be able to consistently do the Shine Spark at the bottom there in Dragon's lair basically so yeah I've, I've been able to do it but just not as good as like they do it you know they have a very specific way of doing it that's like the fastest way oftentimes i would struggle to get it done but i would definitely get it done just take me longer than them horizontal is best aim for the neck yep true true stuff top aim for the butt also true butt spot <laughs> I'm gra I'm 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 gonna if you give me a moment I'm gonna grab that I'm gonna grab that and put that in the Discord. If anybody wants to see that, I'm gonna throw that in the Discord. The the butt spot response there. That's a good one. Aw. LCG can't join. I threw that in the Discord. If anybody's interested and not in the Discord, there's the link. Uh, do, 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 do I have to jump and D-pad aim? Because that was the tough part. I spin jump, then break spin with an angle. Then press jump with the direction. Um, so what? I think what I do is i would get the i would get the like what do you call it like shine spark ready not shine spark but i would get the the speed ready press you know you press down you get the you get the suit ready Sh uh spin jump up and then you and then you have to press 
like not diagonal but i would press up and then left and then push the jump button to go to the to horizontal that's how i would do it so it's like you need to push up and to the left or up and to the right because i've done like up works to break the spin as well okay so maybe that's what i'm doing that breaks the spin because i would do up and then direction and then press jump to shine spark so if i wanted to shine spark left i would spin jump up into the air and then up left jump because i've done like i've done um ocean fly before in my runs I, I was actually able to do ocean fly and i would have to get the shine spark in the room before and then i'd have to have the door open already i would run get the shine spark ready like suit shined up jump through the door to where moat is i would jump in the air throw a super and then shine spark immediately after the super and if i did it right which didn't work all the time the super would hit the door and I just fly right through. No, let me go back. Um, I think I used to be able to do a short hop mock ball a few years back, but I can't do it now. Yeah, it's tough. I, I can never really do a short hop. One of these days I'll have to give the Final Fantasy games a go. They're good games, dude. Lord Malachite, especially for me personally, all the ones between four and ten are my personal favorites i've never played anything but again i've never played anything before four and after ten pretty much except for a little bit of ten two but uh, most people don't like that one lava spark yes lava spark merrick that's what i was talking about fast pillars yep closed door top shelf stutter th uh three fake four tap Yikes. Yeah, it's that's a tough one. I've never been able to do it. It's very tight. Oh, closed door. Okay, if the door is closed, then you don't open it. Because you get a little bit of extra wiggle room there if you actually open the door and stand with your back sort of half into it. <clears throat> Top shelf stutter. Three, uh, so a three... I don't know. I kind of didn't understand that. <laughs> or at least I'm having a hard time understanding it. Steffi has a strong musical background, so I picked his brain. He was counting out loud. Never thought to do that with my drumming background. Oh. Interesting. He's got he's got the chops though, so he probably does it all in his head most of the time. But whatever works for you. I mean, if you if you can keep a beat like a like a metronome type, that might work for you. Especially if you got a drumming background. Up works to break the spin. I want to watch you run it sometime. Who, me, Merig? I haven't run it in forever. I actually ran Dread more than I ran Super Metroid. But I might play like an SMZ3 or something at some point. Because uh, I have a charity stream coming up in two weeks. So I might run like an SMZ3, maybe a crowd control or something. You gotta start the wind up somehow then pick your direction ocean fly requires you to break spin and start the wind up as well similar idea gotcha yeah i just i don't know how i was able to do it but i've been able to do it but yeah i would just shoot that super and then almost immediately shine spark across and sometimes i would bonk sometimes i actually got through and 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 made it I do love shine sparking over the water to the wreck ship outer air. Come to find out the best way to hop over the platforms without grapple beam is to disable speed booster and high jump. Correct. Yeah. That's why, like, that's why, um, when they run, what is it? PRKD, like, they get across it very easily. But if you were to try to do it while you had, you know, those things turned on, yeah, you're going to have a harder time. You get enough speed to get the correct height you need. The speed booster actually slows you down. Yes. Very true. My Twitch name doesn't match my Discord name. On Twitch, it is Lord Malachite, but on Discord, it is Lord... <laughs> I mean, I can take out the space. That's fine. 
I don't mind doing that if uh, <laughs> or if you're just memeing. I do like the names to match though, so I usually update the nickname so that people know who they're talking to. It's too weird when you don't know who the hell you're talking to and you're like, oh, you're Lord Malachite? Like, oh, I didn't know because your name's like White Dragon 69420 or something like, like, huh? Uh, for fast pillars, if you do closed door, then uh, it's a three stutter release dash through the door then repress as you enter the next room it acts as the fourth tap shortens your distance and then lets you top shelf the fast pillar spark oh so it's like because i know some people i think can get it like obviously top runners can get it where you don't fall down but then there's some people that get it literally right before you're about to fall off like you kind of do fall off but you press down as you're falling off and you get the the suit and then you just jump back up and then you shine spark over but some people don't have to um do that fall off you know when you lose that like a couple seconds or something top shelf is when you do it without falling off gotcha that's what okay that's what i thought you meant <clears throat> that lets you top shelf yep yeah, see, the lingo, for me, I never caught on with all the lingo of, like, even the rooms. People talk about the rooms, and they're like, oh, yeah, this room. And I'm like, okay, what room is that? Like, I never even got the rooms. Like, <laughs> it just went way over my head a lot. Just found it amusing rule. <laughs> yeah, I just, I think it just makes it easier, Lord Malachi, for when people are interacting, you know? To make sure you know who you're talking to and stuff. Um, come to find out, my buddy uh, Carefree Bomb also has a, a similar rule for his Discord as well. For the same reason, basically. But um, I didn't know it until later I found out. I was like, oh, dude, I have that same rule. I didn't know we had so many knowledgeable uh, Super Metroid runners here. That's pretty much what I started off on on Twitch doing was um, I played Fall Guys. I had no mic, no cam, and then I started to do Super Metroid speedruns. <laughs> not very well, mind you, but I did grind my time down to a sub hour. But even that's not really great. My uh, Metroid Dread time was much better at a sub 130, and I know I could have done even better than that. But I said. I didn't want to pursue it any longer. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm cool with the sub 130, even though I know I could have done, uh, you know, maybe, um, like lower, lower, um, sub 120s or something like that, mid, mid 20s. CWJ is, uh, only necessary if you don't have speed booster. Uh, let me wait. What did he say up here? I missed. I think I missed what was said up here. I do love shy smoking water because you get enough speed to get the correct type. Uh, though frame hopping over the water to the missile in the middle of the room is very tough. I did it only once. Oh, I feel shine sparking forward is just easier. But if that frame perfect dash hop would was easier, I would stick with it. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever been able to get the uh, the CWJ for that the moat section. But yeah, it's only necessary if you don't have speed booster. Yep. Because if you have speed booster, then you can just you can just do like um, a quick moat shine spark, and then you can do like a you know a quick. Uh, like shine spark over to the door after mo essentially final fantasy 7 yep what's up stoic welcome on in man great to have you here dude how's everything going you know the badoons sound for when someone makes a bad joke play that in your head for the wall jump off the pillar helps time it wait really like how like what do you mean like uh, 
I'm curious how how you uh, how you set that up with the badoons. Hola, muchachos. Hola to you, Stoic. Super glad I found this. <laughs> yup, super glad I found this community. <laughs> yeah, we're a great group, man. Uh, for the second jump, the first jump has to be pretty perfect. Right before the water. Dude, I did see the new baby skip. It's bonkers, dude. It's nuts. I was watching, like, I, when I found out about it, that Stachio found it. Um, I heard about it, and then I went to Emmett's Discord, and I saw the video of Stachio. No, it was the video of Zos doing it. Um, and I watched that, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. Here we go. Like, this is going to be the new meta right here. And so, yeah, sure enough, that night, it's like, Oats is grinding it. Zost is grinding it. Emmett's grinding it. You know, everybody's grinding it. Like, new meta. And everybody's trying to come up with new ways to, like, make it through without getting grabbed. Just doing, like, a real quick, like, two jump, I think it is. Or, like, a three, a three jump, te technically, with the last jump. But, yeah, tough stuff. Bonk the door, shoot it, then run in. Normalize your speed. Yeah, I, I've never been able to get the CWJ. I'm making a sandwich. Hell yeah, dude. What what you get on your sandwich? You're doing good? Nice, Stoic. Glad to hear it, bud. Sashio Skip is sick. I hyped to try and learn it. Have you seen the three jump one? Wait, do they have a three? Is, is there like a legit three jump one now? Looks like it's going to be easier to learn than the old skip. It kind of does look easier, doesn't it? First jump is blind. Yikes. Pepperoni and cheese. Okay. 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 I see you, Stoic. Pepperoni and cheese sandwiches. Let's go. Ketchup and mayo. My man. You accidentally pulled off a CWJ last week. Let's go. GG's. There's a three jump where you arm pump like a mad person to get through. <laughs> no way. That's wild. But their arm pumps like at the top tier, those arm pumps are nuts, dude. I swear it's like turbo arm pumping. It's like, like how do they do that? <laughs> I didn't know that though. I, I saw Oates was trying to practice like a three jump and he couldn't get it. He kept getting caught. As you do the jump up, the, the baby comes up real quick on you and it grabs you like as you're uh, transitioning through and then you get you get hugged. But that's wild that somebody actually got the three. It's going to be it. People are going to be really pushing that, though. I mean, that's the new meta. People are going to be going wild for that. That's, that's crazy stovetop. I had no idea, man. Last I saw, he was attempting it, but it was like a no-go. He couldn't find a, a viable way to do it. You make a pretty good cheesesteak? Philly cheesesteak? Let's go, Jaeger. Dude, Philly cheesesteak's bomb. Making me hungry right now. You have a link to Zosti doing the super stachio skip if I may post a link? Go for it. Yeah, man. You also make a pepperoni sandwich? Okay. Okay. Damn, man. Y'all making me hungry. Why? Y'all talking about these sandwiches and everything. Oh, there he is. He's back. He's back. Sephiroth is here. <clears throat> uh, do, do, do. I think Oats and Zos arm pump faster than Turbo. They might. They might, dude. Hold on. I'm going to pull that up just so I can, so we can watch. It's not safe for runs. Oh yeah. I will. Nobody's going to attempt it. You know, realistically, if you, if you're on a world record pace, are you really going to try to like do a three, a three jump run and ruin it? You know, nobody's going to do that. Maybe if, if it's like not a great pace, they're going to try it, but yeah, nobody's going to try to ruin a great run by by attempting something that's as difficult at this point as that. 
Uh, let me see. Ugh, my mouse is being like funky. Let me do this. And let me do this. All right, let me. Wow. Wow. I wonder if that was the first one. That's so close. I can't believe he did it. Madman. Absolute madman. So that was a 21. I think it said there at the, uh, somebody put it in the chat, but yeah. Oh, 21.51. So I think the previous wasn't the previous, um, like record was like 2205. I want to say something like that. If I remember correctly. Like a 2205. <clears throat> That's awesome. They know I'm getting better. Yeah, they're not just going to let you let you grab it for nothing. Yeah, very, very close. Very close to getting hugged. Your fastest is a five jump normal with 2619. Oh, yeah, five, five seconds is five seconds in the in the uh, the the speed running world, you know? Damn. That's amazing. Damn. It's wild. I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. That game has just become so, uh, so fine tuned at this point. And there's, I mean, but they're still learning new things all the time. So it's, it's amazing. You hope it doesn't get remade. You can't remake perfection. <laughs> you know, like I, I, I agree that like, I, I don't know. I see both sides. Like I would love for them to remake just because I love the game and I'd love to play like an updated version of it. But at the same time, I also understand people being like, man, just like, but that that original game is always still there. You know what I mean? They could remake it and the original would still be there. And then you, I, I don't know. I I could see both sides though. It's like you you could ruin perfection type of thing. I I just, I would play it. Personally, if they remade it, I, I would play it. Just to see how it is at least. Be the next Dimit, the next all-star runner, the next Charles. Yeah, man. I mean, these guys came out of like nowhere and uh, started doing their thing. You feel like you've entered so late. It is what it is. Everybody starts at their own particular time. I mean, look at these. Some of them had already been running this game for years and years when uh, a lot of people came up. Did I get the ribbon? I think... I think you get the ribbon in the clock part, Jaeger. I think that's coming up next. I love watching Imminent and Charles. Yeah, they're great dudes. Imminent and Charles are great dudes. Chill vibes. I like what they're doing. 
you got the trident mind source luck plus material but i didn't catch if you got the ribbon so the ribbon uh may i give a suggestion merg my goal is to get placed above the 1,000th place on speed run, then start shooting for sub one hour. <clears throat> gotcha. Yeah, I've got like a 5725, which is not great, but I was <laughs> I was fine with it. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna keep you know going at it like crazy. I didn't really care to keep grinding it, grinding it, grinding it. I was like, whatever. I'm cool with that. speed running's like never been a huge thing for me i i enjoyed it while i did it but it just gets to be a big anxiety thing and keep trying keep trying keep trying and just playing the same thing all the time i get i get um get, i don't know bored or just whatever i don't know i just like doing my thing tweak my room and turn my desk from L shape to C shape. That's dope, dude. How how is it fitting in the room? Does it vibe better? Is it like nicer? Let me see. Toasty. Toasty. Let's see. Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe. Oh, wait, I already, I already did that. Oh my gosh, he's he's doing the thing. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so I did save this up, right? I know I did, but I always have to check one more time because my anxiety. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. That's about enough fun for me tonight. Throw some, throw some tunage on. Very late one. Do, 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 do. Ah, oh, fight me, fight me, bot. Yeah, I have two laptops connected to two TVs. Yo, that's dope, man. Nice looking, uh, nice looking up upgrade. So, so like, damn, man. So whatever you're, you're broadcasting on the laptops gets put up on to each one of the TVs. That's cool. And no idea. Adam Sandler was as old as he is. He was all the way back in the late eighties with the wedding singer. Dude, he's, yeah, he's getting up there. I mean, none of us are getting much younger. <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's up there. I, a graded nine plus classic series Metroid has sold for five digits. I got to look at that pic, dude. I can't do it right now, but I, I look forward to looking at it. And when I do, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Nine plus classic series. I sold for five digits. 
But damn, imagine parting with it. Your ending stream unfollowed, dude. Unsubbed, blocked, reported. <laughs> Yo, my pleasure, Stovetop. My pleasure, everybody. Thank you all for being here tonight. I sincerely appreciate it. It's been a heck of a heck of an awesome time. Heck of a wild wow ride. Uh, we had some wonderful people come through. We hit the, uh, as far as I know, we're still at the 1.5k roll up uh, that we hit tonight while on stream, which is great. Um, love that. That's freaking amazing. What a great accomplishment. So it was a good stream overall, man. Had a great time chilling, talking with everybody, hanging out. Um, vibing we met some new people murig is the new person who came through and, and is enjoying the vibes loving the scene and uh I'm, I'm so glad to have you here and so uh yeah it's just been a great great freaking stream man for sure love it <clears throat> we didn't get any raids tonight but that's quite all right kept the vibes still high had great time with the people that were here and we had a lot of wonderful people come through tonight so it's all good I had so much raid love last time that it's like, <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't, or I should say I'm not surprised I didn't get any raids this time because they all came through last stream. <laughs> I keep getting younger every day. Why? Just the other day I was told I was acting like a five-year-old. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. I like it, Lord Malachi. Good one. <laughs> Good to see uh, things are still going well for you, Caffeine. Thank you, Jaeger, man. Yeah, and no, it's honestly, things have seriously been looking a whole lot better and feeling a whole lot better. Um, and I'm just enjoying and having fun. And like, I think things have been fun for everybody, not just for me, but I think for, for the, the, the people that have been watching and the people that are in the chat and hanging out. And like, um, I think everybody's been enjoying themselves. So I appreciate y'all sharing your time with me and uh hanging out tonight my brain's a little fried because it is 2 30 a.m and i have been streaming for i don't know how long um should say here right uh seven hours seven and a half hours so yeah my brain's a little fried man i haven't been streaming that late for a long time and when i do uh yeah gets a little crazy but here is the link to my socials once again um that one link will take you to uh, my Discord, my Twitter, my Instagram, Hover, YouTube, TikTok, all of them. So check that out. Um, follow and subscribe on on those if you if you want to. Uh, I'd love to have you guys, you know, be in those various locations, especially in the Discord and. Uh, on Twitter. Um, those are two of the best places to keep in touch and, and keep up with what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. basis. Um, I do share a lot of things in those two particular locations, so hit those up. Uh, but yeah, thank you. thanks again, everybody, for being here. I really do appreciate it. Yo, Trees, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well, buddy. It's currently 7.30 a.m. here. Golly, Stoic. Yeah, it's 2.30 for me, man. You're five ahead of me. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Well, okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah. But again, thank you everybody. Hit up that link for the socials. Let's, uh, trees. I apologize, but we were just finishing up and, and getting ready to raid out. I appreciate you coming through buddy. Much love broski. Did a quick uh, quest of Sea of Thieves earlier. Sweet, man. How did it go? The internet never ends. It's true. It's true. Uh, I hope to see you back next time. All right, dude. All right, everybody. Thanks again. I can't say thank you enough, but uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, we did a gold shores run and got whomped 
on by a level five Reaper when doing first part of Athena. Well, I guess better luck next time, right? You'll get it next time. I don't know much about Sea of Thieves, so I'm not quite sure how it could go next time. If you'll still meet like another level five Reaper or if it'll be different. Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess the, the best I can do is wish you better luck next time. And, uh, all server instances. Okay. So it could be different next time. So, so I guess you hopefully better, you'll have a better run next time of it. Right. That's all I can say. Sometimes we are the level five Reaper. <laughs> Creeper. Reaper. Uh, all right. <laughs> I gotta go. It's so late. Oh, uh, it's been far too long. Almost seven hours, seven and a half hours. Uh, thanks again, everybody. Much love to you all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. Love yourself and love others. And I'll see you all again next time. Uh, again, socials link is right here. <clears throat> um, I'll be back again on Monday, normal schedule, exclamation mark schedule, but, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, uh, schedule. There's the schedule. Copy that read message above. Whether you're subbed or unsubbed, there is a version for you. Copy everything to the right of arrow, including the slash me, and we'll take that along on the raid. Uh, but yeah, have a great rest of your weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Uh, you know, get your mental health in line. Hopefully I can get some rest because I need it. But I'll see you all again on uh, Monday next week. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.